Hello there, mortals. Uh, I am Jensen. Unfortunately, in this playthrough of Hydraenea, I've broken chat. So for this episode, chat's not going to be in the top left-hand corner as it usually is. However, I am still going to be playing the game. I'll just be responding to chat as if, uh, you know, it is actually there. So don't worry, it is actually there. We'll fire straight into the game right here. And we'll see what we had to work with. We left it at a pretty good place yesterday. Don't know why we left it at night time. Let's go ahead and teabag ourselves right here. Wonder wonderful. What time is you? It is 1 p.m. where I am. Or morning in Hydraenea. Really depends on where you look. Okay, so it looks like we've got a lot of automation set up. I think we had roughly four machines by the end of the last playthrough. Yep, it definitely seems to be the way that we were going. Excellent. Uh, this might actually be our ticket out of Ember Cradle, by the way. We might actually be able to leave this godforsaken cursed ass hellhole. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I'll see how much money we've got, because we can definitely buy more land rights. Uh, we'll take this over to this right here, and we'll see how heavy it is. That is 17,000 buckery boosts right there. By the way, that's how much we made at the end of the last session. Well, not in total, but it's the net profit. That is so good. That is so, so good. Okay, so we'll take this money. I think we'll exchange it for a little bit of money, right? We want to go up here and we want to exchange it for money. And the whole world is now just opened up for us. We can now buy land rights. We can now buy uh, tier two tools, which means we could probably actually get some better automation set up somewhere else. But we are going to need more Cloutium to get tier two machinery. So to get the tier two automation, we're going to need just a lot more ores than we have right here. Obviously, we're pretty much good for money at this point, but... Ah, oh, real shame, eh? Real shame. Real shame we still have to wait for the Cloutium. So we are kind of still stuck at Emma Cradle. We could potentially go and start setting up automation at a different place. That would be a really, really good idea. Oh, we've actually got more money in the back of the truck right there. Whoops. Okay, so we have a total of... Drum roll, please. It did a backflip. 23,758 bucks. Isn't that absolutely insane? That is crazy. I actually don't know what to spend this on. I literally don't know what to spend it on. Okay, wonderful. We still have the truck it here with all the, the weird buckets and weird angles. Let's actually see how much clouding we have. Wait, why is this still a, a crucible in furnace? Uh, let's go into town. We'll buy one more auto smelting what's my doodle, and then we'll put it on there before we kind of like double down on looking at the clouding, I think. Okay, we'll drive all the way through here. We're going all the way to the city. We're going all the way to the city, and we're going to see what we can't buy. I think we've actually opened up so many doors right now. Like, we can now dive into agriculture. We can actually get the logic repair system set up as well. That's going to cost around about 20k, which we now have. Oops, just hit somebody with the truck. Oh, well, sucks to be them. Ah, oh, looks like they're fine. Okie dokie. So we were getting ourselves an auto smelter, which is in the other store. We'll take our money right here. And we will buy ourselves another smelter. There it is. Let's put this in the bucket. Okay, we are one grand poorer. But we still have so much money. Oh my days. That is so much money. Alright, uh, give me a sec. Um, let me just make sure chat hasn't broken again. Because I am a little bit suspicious that the recording software I have is kind of busted. Nope, looks fine. Okay, good. Alright, let's uh, bust in here. Actually, how's the volume? Spotify's probably a little bit too loud, isn't it? Okay, good. That's a little bit better. Now we can actually hear all the satisfying dits and doots of the game itself. Wonderful. Okay, so I we'll go ahead something. and drive this all the way back home. Pasta, hello there, Luca. How are we today? I, I don't know what you're asking for. I don't think we can cook pasta in this game, but unfortunately, it is what it is. I'm going to... Uh, chat's broken, by the way. Chat's unfortunately broken in the top left-hand corner, so I'm going to have to read out literally everybody's messages as they say it. Which is it. probably going to be a little bit strange, given that I jump from topic to topic anyway, but it should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, we'll take this money over here, and we'll leave it in the truck, and we'll kind of finish off the last of the automation that we were setting up over here with this auto smelter. Right uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. I don't think any Cloutium is on its way, so let's go ahead and put that down. We'll go find our building hammer right here. The balding mode? Uh, fortune favors the ball. I don't, <laughs> don't know what you're talking about, but... Uh, you know, balling is a good thing sometimes. Let's get that off the pot. Uh -huh. We'll uh -huh. drop this somewhere. Hopefully the Cloutium won't fall through the map by the time we put this down. Good. Wonderful. 
And let's go ahead and pour this into here. Never mind, that is the useless stuff. I don't know why I even bothered making this. Yuck, big yuck on that. Uh, let's just throw this kind of like anywhere on the dirt because that's where it belongs. And we'll go ahead and look at our actual Cloutium Splice, which is right here. Any coming in? Nope, all gold. So we need about 400, I think, to get the next few machines. We only have 25 kilos of this stuff. A little bit of a shame. Scott's World, what were your thoughts on Jevil? Uh, still the same as last time. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the sketch that you made in the Discord, which you can find down in the description of this video below. The sketch you put on the Discord, very, very cool. I think I mentioned uh, you, you need a sharper pencil to really drive home the schizophrenic um, acid trip vibe that I think you were going for. Other than that, really, really good. Loved it. Juju, hard. I died 10 times in total. Oh, you, uh, no, not fighting uh, a jebel, I don't think. There's been a sketch of a couple of the enemies posted in my Discord recently. You can go and see them, actually. I just posted a new channel in the Discord, too, for, like, fan art and art chat and stuff like that. Okay, I'm actually going to go to Ice Helm, and we're going to see how much the Tier 2 machines will cost us in terms of ore. We've obviously got more than enough money to set us through basically the year, I would say. And by the time we get back to uh, home, I'm pretty sure we'll have even more money to spend. 20 grand, that's insane. Uh, you know what? We should probably actually invest in a better truck. Because this one is not cutting the cheese, is it? I don't smell that nice stinky cheese that we want. Okay, it, it, it kind of gets up there, but it's like a... It's like a gross Colby or something like that. A gross Colby cheese. Also, I know nothing about cheese. Uh, Scottswell, what about Peatley? I don't even know what Peatley looks like. I was impressed by the drawing, but I don't, I don't know what he looks like, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, we'll come out here and we'll take our money because we know that we're going to buy these uh, two little icon things anyway. And we're going to jump down here for some nice free vertigo. Whee! There we go. Nice. I am a little motion sick. That always gets me. That fall always gets me. All right, let's jump through here. I am not seeing a hell of a lot to be put down here. We could actually buy the land of this area, but we're going to need tier two to tier three tools to kind of use it in the first place. Oops, that's not what we want. There we go, in the bucket. So we're going to need one, th oh my God, 1000 iron and 150 clautium just for a, I think that's a thumper. I think it's a thumper. And a grinder is going to take 200 clautium and 600, no, that's tier three, uh, 500 iron, 50. Okay, so we need 200 clautium to get a full set of automation with the tier two machines. And once we get, once we get 200 kilos of cloudium, we can move to Mildew's Aquifer. Scott's World sent the reference I based the, uh, the drawing on. That's cool. That's cool. I'll take a look at it after the stream. 2,300 bucks made no dent in our money. Absolutely zero dent. Uh, now that I'm here, actually, we could probably start looking around at the other things that we might want to buy, because there are a bunch of things that we probably want to buy, like perhaps some of these tools. A tier two pickaxe might be pretty cool. Let's get a tier two pickaxe for fun, and we'll also get a tier two shovel if they have one. Yep, good. Tier two shovel. Excellent. And we'll balance the uh, pickaxe on its, on its end right there. Really, really satisfying. We'll buy all of this as well as a pallet so that we can move it all in one go. Unfortunately, we can't really run with this pallet. Okay, good. That is an acceptable price. Let's start loading everything up. Uh, something there, something there. Uh, we'll put the shovel right, right here. Or not. And we'll take this pickaxe and we'll dump it right there. It doesn't want to sit on its end, though. All right, we can lift everything now, which is actually really, really good. Juju, sticky cheese? What do you mean by that? Uh, the, the, it wasn't cutting the cheese. The truck isn't cutting the cheese. I thought you said Team Fortress 2. No, no, I did not say Team Fortress 2. It was definitely Jevil, what we're talking about. All right, uh, so once we get to the end here, I'm going to drop off these little schematics, I suppose they're called, and then we'll kind of take the rest of the pallet up the elevator and we'll see what else we can buy because we can now get a bunch of stuff. We can get three agile carts, which would be awesome to start stockpiling a bunch of pipes and stuff on. We can have a, a cart per pipe, which would be really, really cool. And we could also think about maybe getting an upgraded truck Okay, T2 right there, and another T2 right here. Wunderbar. Uh, these are tier 1s. We're probably not going to be using these so much anymore. Unless we want to just absolutely maximize the amount of automation that we have to kind of get core stone faster. Maybe. That might actually be the play. It might be the play. It might be what we do. 
Now, I was a little late streaming today. I am going to be streaming a long stream today, and the reason for that is I have to go maybe like two-thirds of the way through. I have to drive my uh, girlfriend, my yintzit, I have to drive her to an appointment, which is fine. I don't mind doing that, but it's going to take me away from the stream for a little bit. So maybe we'll get a lot of automation set up, and I'll just kind of position myself in front of the automation that we have so you guys can satisfyingly watch all of the uh, little ores and stuff drop into the into the furnaces. Hello, I'm here again. Yes, hello, King of Spiders. How are we today? Goldie Sinclair, Megalovoni, uh, and Doom is a banger. It is, isn't it? That was uh, Jeff Plays Guitar does that. Jeffrey Day, he is a really good musician. He's done a lot of soundtracks as well. I think he's done uh, Majora's Mask. He did one really good one in Bloodborne. I think it was the first bo boss fight in Bloodborne. He did that. It's great how he's, how he's done it. Where's our money? Did we actually leave our money downstairs and not put it in the... That was so silly of us. Z30, Yinset, does she know you call her that? She does, now that I've bought her a desktop. She got her first desktop because I bought her one. Uh, which is almost exclusively used for her to uh, manage her finances and play, I kid you not, The Sims 2, The Sims 3, and The Sims 4. She can't play The Sims 1 because it's actually too hard for her, which is really, really funny. Um, I actually fired it up on a virtual machine recently, and good god, it is really difficult to play The Sims 1. Very, very, very difficult to actually get a character to not starve to death on that. Oh, she did? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since then, her Steam name has basically been Yintset, and uh, every time she's gone online, Yintset. King of Spiders, this time I dropped in early. Uh, that's not what I did. I dropped in late. <laughs> I was too busy trying to set up the chat function on my YouTube streaming software, and I've lost chat as a consequence. It's a little bit of a shame. By the way, you come to movie night? That we, She's organizing? Of course I am! She uh, she organized it because I told her how to organize it. Usually, when it comes to like organizing a movie night with friends, the best way of doing it is basically to say, okay, these are the times that I am going to be hosting the movie night. Let's take a vote on the most people that can come, and when people do actually vote on it, everyone tends to like pick a certain time, usually the lowest common denominator, and they just make it work. Uh, we're pretty low on fuel on this bad boy right here, so now would probably be a good time to just buy another truck outright. Juju, I forgot I expect you to die home sweet home, but I think it doesn't have a theme. Yeah, actually, I expect you to die one and three had really, really good theme songs. King of Spiders, wait, I just requested streaming access. Can you teach me how to set up mic and chat? No, 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 no. I am not giving anybody else streaming access to my streams. No, 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 no. That is a big no, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll come all the way into this town. We're going to spend some of this money on a little bit of vehicular efficiency. I'm going to see whether or not the pallet works on the back of the, the quad bike before we do anything else. Because if it does, that might actually be the go. Right, there's our money right here. Uh, this is what we want to buy first. 650 buckery booze. Boop. There we go. We own it. We purchased the hydro quad. I just got an achievement for it. Wonderful. Let's see if the pallet will go on the back. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. But we'll see. We'll see anyway. Huh? 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 Oh, that didn't work. Okay, maybe on this side? I'm kind of trying to counterbalance it with the pickaxe and shovel, maybe? No? Like that? No? Okay, maybe a little bit further forward. We need to get a, a lot better leverage here, I think. Let's get on top of this bad boy. And then we'll just kind of drop it right here, I think. Boop. All right, let's see if this actually sticks. It does not. Okay, the quad is virtually useless, unless you're just transporting yourself, I think. King of Spiders? No, I mean, like, for my channel, not for yours. Like, the first time you try stream, you need to ask YouTube or something. Do you? I just basically went live, and that was it. Uh, you got to get YouTube to give you a stream URL. That's basically the long and short of what I know about YouTube. C30, the King of Spiders, there are plenty of tutorials online to how to set up your channel. Yeah, there are, actually. He is absolutely spot on. That is very good advice. Very, very good advice. Uh, Harris Heller is a really good resource, actually, if you want to stream for the first time. I saw a couple of months ago he released a video on how to stream for the first time, which is quite funny because he's been given this advice for a good, like, four or five years. I love Harris Heller. I didn't realize until recently either he was a uh, friend of a friend of mine, uh, Epic Flying Horse. They used to play PUBG together. Small world, huh? Tiny, tiny world. Tiny world. He even remembers Epic Flying Horse. I dropped in one of the streams just to, like, verify Epic Flying Horse's claim, and, uh, yes, it's true. They do it. They do the do together. Okay, I got the big yellow one this time. Uh, what did we name it in the last playthrough? Was it Lofty? 
I think it was Lofty. We should probably go with Lofty. Because I think Bob the Builder's truck is a uh, a yellow a yellow burner, right? Okay, we're going to need to go to sleep soon, I think. I was just wondering where our schematics were, but it's probably best if we just leave them in Ice Helm so we don't get mixed up and uh, lose them. Okay, uh, coming around this rock right here. I'm hitting a bunch of stuff, unfortunately. And we're in. We probably want to get rid of all of this crap here, these uh, furnaces. Honestly, we probably don't even need all of these big dits of... These big dits of cement either, to be quite frank. All right, let's do a sleep. We'll do a sleep so that we can actually see, because the mining helmet, it just doesn't cut anything. All right, there we go. We jumped over ourselves. Pretty impressive, gotta be said. Okay, now that we've done that, we can take a pretty thorough look at our production right here. Okay, I can actually see that one of the filters over here has broken. Let's look for the repair kit that we should have. Did we drop it downstairs? That was silly. Why'd we do that? Is it down here? Where is the repair kit we bought? We did buy one. Okay, I don't see it here. We're probably gonna have to buy another one. Maybe we ran out of repairs. I'm certain we had one though. It's okay, we've got like, what, like a hundred thousand bucks we don't actually need to kind of count pennies at this point. All right, let's uh, go over here. We'll buy a couple of the repair kits. We could probably actually do with setting up the auto, auto repair things for the logic as well. So maybe we'll do that next before we start thinking about other land rights. Might be a really, really good idea. Okay, I'll dump this in the back of the truck so we don't lose it. And I'm going to go back, get the repair kit. We'll set up our... We'll set up our logic circuits. I think that's going to be next best priority. we got to do this, right? I was considering putting... Oh, the sorting system's still on. That's good to see. Okay, we'll repair, repair that one, and I'll see how much repair the others have left. Like, this one here is 22%. That one is 44 Okay. I'm happy with that, actually. Uh, let's... Let's price this up. So we're going to need a few pieces. We're going to need to go into town, and we're going to need to buy a bunch of logic stuff. We're going to need individual circuits for each one of the water filters so that we don't waste a bunch of wrenches. And I think that's going to be it. I think that's literally going to be it. So we'll kind of leave the sorting system on while we go and price this up, and hopefully we'll generate some more Cloutium Interim. We could get a few more machines and plug them in, but at this point, I think we'll just kind of... We'll check out the logic circuits before we actually commit to that. All right, we're doing a bit of a break dance. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this game never fails to amaze me with its amazing physics engine. Happy Ninja is cool can of beans. Here? No idea. Sorry, I'm going to dip for a bit. We'll be back later. That's fine, Z. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Okay, let's uh, go ahead here. I'm going to get out of the habit of reading people's chat messages that aren't to me. How does that sound? Answer my question. Ah, uh, he's gone. He's gone. I, th I think you may have uh, scared him off with your um, insistence that he may know about a, uh, a degenerate furry. As Turkey Tom would say, I think. that's I, I'm pretty sure that's where I heard about Shapo. Okay, so we're in here. We don't want to be here specifically. We actually want to go up this road right here. I think this is the first time, by the way, we're taking a look at the logic circuits in a stream. Boop. There we go. Knock that guy out of the way. And we're in. I'll take this pallet on the back of the truck and I'll stick it on the sail uh, till right over here so that we can start dropping a bunch of cool stuff on it. Now, we're going to have to think about how we set this up. We're going to need... I have quite a few elbows, I think. We're going to need a lever. Outputs a logic value of one or zero. Yep, we're probably going to need five of those bad boys. We're also going to need a few of these things over here. A logic durability reader. That's a necessity. We're going to need five of those. And we're also going to need five logic spanner hurling units. All right, let's get the uh, pallet. We'll bring it over here and we'll start stacking up the things that we actually need. I'll make sure that we brought the money as well. Yep, we did. <laughs> it was just floating in the back of the car. Okay, so five of these bad boys, huh? minimum. Huh? Huh? I don't know where to put them, if not on the pickaxe and shovel. Let's stick these on the back of the truck so we don't lose them. Here. And, of course, we'll get the other one right. I've lost it. Oh, right here. Good. Found it. Found it! Okay, let's drop that right there. And let's start loading up this pallet right here. Boop. One, two. Oh, it doesn't stack. 
Yes, it does. Okay, that's strange. Uh, three and four. Huh? huh? Whoops. And five. Boop. There we go. So we'll go over here and we'll buy this because I'm pretty sure we actually need to own it before huh? it... Huh? Oops, forgot about the money. We need to own it before we actually stick it on the pallet. Maybe that's how it stops clipping. Okay, let's see if that's... Huh? Whoops. Huh? Damn it. Forgot to buy. All right, good. Huh? No, I don't uh -huh. actually think it works uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. Okay, that's going to get a little bit obnoxious. Maybe we just back the truck in and just one by one stick it on the back of the truck here. We're going to have to back this bad boy up a long way. Right, this way. Turn over here and we'll back it up this way here. Okay, good. We'll just move them one by one. I think Those that's probably going to be the best be option, right? Colors, no, actually, if we get a cart, we can stack them in really, really easy. Uh, Juju, I forgot to say that Shapo is a guy and dates boys, but he acts like a girl, which I'm not against, Jensen. Okay, uh, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. I'm not really a very judgmental person either. Usually when people do something weird or cringe, I kind of understand exactly why they've done it, because I've got a, a little bit of an interest in psychology, and it, I just automatically justify it with the, maybe like past experiences or education. Some TNT down here. We actually want the money, don't we? And we're going to go down here. And we are going to buy ourselves a brand new... I think Agile Cart would be the one. No. Fast Cart. We don't want the Agile Cart. It turns well, but it's not very fast. And we got to basically go cross-country distances with this thing. All right, we'll dump that in there. And we want... Not an Agile, a Fast right here. Okay, we'll put that there. Boop. We'll put the money in the back of this bad boy, and let's take this thing all the way up here. So this thing always moves about as fast as you can sprint, which is just awesome for crossing long distances with a, a big pile of things. We're definitely going to be using this Agile cart a lot in this playthrough, I think. And we're probably even going to want to uh, stack a bunch of stuff onto multiple Agile carts too. So now that we've done that, we'll take this money, we'll dump it in the back here. I don't think you can stick the Agile cart on the truck, but I think that's a future problem. Alright, so everything should clip through on here, perfect. The pallet did not function as we wanted it to, unfortunately. We are going to keep it on the back of the truck, just in case we ever need it again, but I don't think we will end up using it much because of its downsides. Those lights can be all sorts of colours. That's nice. Alright, so now we need Spanner Hurtler units, which are about a grand and a half each. Four and five for all of the water filters. I've tried to Good. Now we need before. some wiring, which is all shocking. the way over here. Boop. There we go. Uh, we're going to need a few straights. How many, though? So if... Okay, so if we need... We need two elbows per circuit. We need a straight, and we need a T. And we also need some levers. So we'll need five T's, T cables. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're also going to need five straights and then, by my count, ten elbows. Four and five. And then ten elbow bows. One and two and three and four. A lot of elbows. Five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. You'll see what I mean when I am going to be uh, putting all this together. Okay, I think that's basically everything that isn't the lever. Oh, we also need a... What are they Cable called? Where forget. are they? It's not a logic valve hook. It's not a logic flip-flop hook. It is a logic flip hook. We need one of those bad boys right there. So let's get our cart. And we will sprint with uh, record speed over here. And we'll start dumping. Five of these bad boys right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Because uh, how this functions is when the durability reader is going to read the durability and see a zero... This thing is basically going to tell the spanner hurtler unit, engage and then stop, rather than this one, which would be engage, stop, engage, stop, engage, stop indefinitely, or this one, which is going to be engage, 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 engage. Excellent. And we also don't want one of these bad boys uh, because we want the durability to tick down to zero before we actually use a spanner hurtler unit. Good, so this should cost us a pretty penny right here. Way less than I thought it would be, actually. Wowee! Okay, let's try and stick this on the back of the truck, but I won't be too cut up if it doesn't actually go on there. Oh, no way! Yes! Oh, the carts are fantastic. Let's grab our money. I'm not going to leave this here. Someone might pinch it. 
Wowee! Shapo fights Kiwi Farms. That's silly. I don't know why anybody would go against Kiwi Farms. They're basically the, um, the organized equivalent of Anonymous these days. I'm pretty sure that's the third time I've hit this guy in this stream so far. Juju, you've made an accomplishment. You got rich as hell vibes. I know, right? I've, I've got this huge golden scepter swinging between my legs, uh, which I'm actually concealing with my um, heart spotty underwear, as you can see right here. There is a big, a big danger dangler swinging between the legs and it's encrusted in gold. Why did I say that? Ooh, no one wants to think about a crusty... Ugh. Ugh. Don't anyone picture it. Don't anyone picture what that could possibly mean. And don't anyone picture uh, something that gold could also be that isn't actually gold. All right, I'm going to back this truck up here. We are going to get in the cars. We're going to walk this bad boy to where we need it. All the way over here. Oh, bugger. Another one's broken. That's fine. We'll fix it. All right, we'll just uh, drop this here in the water. That's probably really, really good for all of these... Uh, pieces of machinery right here. Now, we actually want these to be sideways. We want them facing inwards like this. We also want the durability readers to be set up about the same way as well. Probably want these facing the other way, actually, or at least facing upside down so we can read how many spanners are actually in the damn thing. Like, uh, that. That, that would actually be a lot better. I think we can drop spanners into that and it will still go... Yeah, it definitely takes them in. So, this one has four spanner hurtling units. That's actually really annoying. It's upside down, so I can't really see it. Let's go ahead and just flip it over. We'll just look from the other side and we'll put a platform so that we can specifically look at this bad boy from the other side. Uh, that's not what we need. We need a spanner hurtling unit over here now. Touching that thing right there. And this one right here goes on the other side on this water hook. Right there. We can see from this side, which is quite nice. And also, this one right here can go right here. Now, this may be a little bit confusing initially, but there is going to be a purpose for it. We are going to need a bunch of our crap now, basically. We can need this here logic durability reader, which will go this, no, this way right here. And we want it to face that way so that we can actually kind of read it as well off of the clock. And this one right here can go right there. Um, what the hell, man? I'm looking up. <laughs> no, no, don't. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Uh, let's get all of the crap in here that we don't actually want out of the cart. Okay, we'll put that there. And let's get some on the other side over here now, too. One right there. Don't really think we need to turn it around. It's probably not necessary. Because these are the last ones that are going to be serviced, I think. Okay, now these bad boys are going to be reading in the durability of these water filters here. And now we need the swip swap pipes, I think. Where are they? Where do we put them? Ah, oh, they're hooks. So we do need the straights right here. Uh, we are going to have to put them one block away right here. We're going to put this one right here. And another one of these bad boys can go right here. I'm confident that I got exactly enough to actually make these circuits, but not much more. Uh, we also may have to move it because the bridge might actually be blocking a lot of the pieces that we need to place. Let's actually see really quickly. We need a lever. Where are the levers? Do we buy the levers? Oh, maybe we do have to go back. Oh, well, we can go back. It's, it's no skin off my nose. All right, let's put that there. And we'll also line in some of these elbows right here. And this one right here can go right next to it. Right there. And this one can go in between those two that I already huh? placed. Right there. Great. Juju, oh hell no, never add R34 with anything. My eyes. I hope you didn't just look up uh, the thing I was talking about with the golden swinger between the <laughs> between the legs. King of Spiders, another medium plays intensely. Uh, please don't curse me. I don't need curses in this playthrough anymore. We have already kind of uncursed everything that we have here. Uh, this has to plug into there. Wait, why have we got... Those are the wrong things we want to plug into. We want to plug into that one right there with an elbow. We also want to plug into this one just over here. Nope, that's way too far away. Good, right there. Now we want to hook the elbows in to here. Good, and another one can go in front of it. And another one here can go behind it. Right there, good. Now the T intersection... I think we may have cocked this up a little bit. 
But I think it's going to be absolutely fine. I think we can also walk between these if we stick a, a straight hook on top of here. Let's actually test that out first. We may need to do that. Uh, we don't have any straights, do we? Okay, let's just use one of these and... There's, there's no harm in just taking one off if we haven't set it up yet. Yeah, okay, we can walk through there. That's good. Wonderful. Uh, we will put this back where it belongs. Oops, there we go. Uh, I don't like how it's oriented. Yep, that's better. And let's... Uh, I don't like the colours of the cables mismatching. I don't mind if they're, like, misaligned, but I don't like the, the actual colours mis uh, misaligned. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and plug that in like that, and then we're supposed to stick the levers on the other side of that, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. King of spiders? I mean like another medium in the medium of water? Oh, do you mean like uh, a, a different kind of like type of circuit? Yeah, that's uh, that's logic. We're, we're getting into logic stuff because we can actually afford to do so. Uh, but unfortunately, we have completely forgotten to get levers. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We want to grab this and we also need to plug in all of these with some straight cables too. And we'll say have to plug those two in. Let's do that before we forget. Uh, put that in like that. Excellent. And this one here can also go into the other one there. Good. Okay, so I think that maybe we should stick this hook right here on the side in case it actually blocks our egress through because we do actually need to get through these pipes here to be able to load up the Spanner hurtlers. Spanner hurtling units. Okay, we'll get one of these on here, facing outwards, so that we know what it is at a glance. Another one here. And we're missing one. I was certain we got five. I was I was damn certain we got five of them. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's under the cart. Good! I remember when I first discovered Yinsen's channel, 11 out of 10 content. The King of Spiders, flattery will not get you far in life, but it will get you a lot of thank yous. That is, that is basically a guarantee that you can find in life. Flattery will always get you flattery in return. Oh, it feels nice. Thank you for the endorphins. Juju, you don't take this wrong. I saw it on YouTube. You make my ball jump. <laughs> pardon? I beg your pardon, good sir. That is, that is, that is some, that is some sentence you've said there. Okay, so we still need five straight cables and we need five levers. So let's go ahead and get this car back on the back of the tractor. And we'll go ahead and... Whoops! We don't want this wooden cart. This one's yucky. This is storing all of our crap tier pipes. Where is our cart? Where did I put it? Uh, let's sleep so we can actually see it at daytime. I jumped myself. Very cash money. Alright. Uh, still looking around. Where the hell is it? Did I leave it in the water or something? Where's the cart gone? Oh no, is it down the hole? Please don't tell me it's down the hole. No, it's not. Uh, we can actually unplug this hole because What's-His-Face despawned, unfortunately. We're going to have to trap somebody else. Uh, we're also not generating anything while everything's down, so we might want to manually repair one of the little dude. Oh, there it is. It's right next to the goddamn truck. Oh, my days. That was probably the stupidest thing I've... Where to go? Oh, it just kind of respawned back here. That's strange. Maybe it couldn't clip into the actual truck itself, so it just refused to do so. Uh, let's try and go, like, here, maybe? Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, technically it should be falling off the back, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. The King of Spiders, do you have two monitors? I always see you looking at something else to re-chat. I do have two monitors, and I want three. I would actually rather chat just be up in its in its own huge monitor way up there rather than down here. Uh, this is where I monitor all of my recording software live so that I know if something goes wrong. And also I can see if I've accidentally left myself uh, in big face so that... <laughs> You know, you guys can't really see anything, which would be a real shame if I recorded an entire episode of that, which I've done. So uh, that, that's kind of why I monitor myself at the side here. <sighs> it's very smart. If you want to start streaming yourself, you're probably going to need a second monitor. Fortunately, you can get like an old burner. If you have a university in your area, they have an IT department. It's likely they've got like hundreds of monitors that they're looking to dispose of. And if you live in New Zealand, that costs money. So you can actually offer to just take a few of them off off their hands for free. And uh, they don't have to pay for the disposal of those perfectly good monitors. Uh, that's what I did. I studied a Bachelor's of IT. And when I found out that they were trying to throw a bunch of monitors out, I went and uh, I snatched a couple up opportunistically. All right, we're going to need a lever or a button. No, we're going to need a lever. We want these things constantly on. Two and three. Whoops, don't want that one. And four, and we're gonna need five of these bad boys, and we need five straights as well, don't we? Like, uh, Buddy Holly. I think. 
<laughs> God, that is an old reference. Where are the cables? There they are. Okay, I was in the wrong area. They're insisting that I buy stuff, which I am trying to do. Marketing is a little bit heavy-handed, though. Three and four and five. And this should be the entire logic system basically set up for Ember Cradle so that we don't really need to worry about repairs short mm -hmm. of buying up a absolute hell of a lot of the spanners. Okay, we'll get some of these right here. We'll drop them in the bucket. There we go. Great. Let's put this on the cart for the ease of convenience. And then we will come and we'll drop this cart uh, right in the back of the truck right here. Goldie Sinclair, read the King of Spiders messages. I, I did. I did. Violently clicks donate to Jensen. I think you have a lot of monies coming in now. Thank you, dear King of Spiders. I don't think so, though, to be honest. I've got alerts set up, so it, it should, like, pop up if somebody, like, subscribes or donates or something like that. Okay. Oh, no! I've lost control and we had a violent accident. Oh, no. I hope that wasn't the donation that you guys were talking about. Whiplash and pain. Because that wouldn't be an ideal... Wouldn't be an ideal, uh... Wouldn't be an ideal gift at all. Now it's a little bit sarcastic. Aw. Mean. Mean. One person's donated, by the way. Uh, one person gave me a super chat, and I, it literally gave me so many endorphins. It made me all giddy and a, a little bit shaky. Very nice. It's nice to be financially validated every now and then, but also at the same time, it's nice to hang out sometimes. Just hang out without any expectations of money, which is pretty much my whole premise of streaming. I think that's why people like my channel so much. I'm not, like, trying to... You know, trying to get money out of people left, right, and center, like uh, Pokimane or anyone like that. Can't really tell you anyone other than Pokimane. I'm pretty sure she's the uh, she's the only one that I can bring to example right now. Okay, we've hooked up this entire bad boy. Uh, we're going to stick these levers on now. One there, and we're also going to stick one here. Very good. And we'll start putting a bunch over here too. Turn it around so it fits. One there, and also one here. And one right there. Very good. And Spider, sorry. Oh, wait, when you said you used to stream on Twitch, were you jump scared by donations? Was there someone else? No, no, that was... I had the donations volume turned up to like 300%, so this air horn would play in my head every time someone donated. It scared the ever-loving hell out of me. There's actually a little bit of a clip on YouTube of somebody abusing the donate button, if you want to see it. It's called... Uh, so, uh, someone finds the donate button or something like that. You'll find it on my channel if you just search for it. I wore a suit and I played Payday 2 and somebody actually donated because they saw me playing it well. Right, so now that we've done all that, we need the spanners that we can actually see whether or not the setup is working. We'll use this magnifying glass, see on here, 29. So there should be a bunch of spanner hurtling units in here. Damn it, we can't actually see without getting into the water, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got four. So if we turn this bad boy on, it should read this as 0%, and then it should just start throwing spanners in there. So we'll actually take all of our money. We'll go ahead and we'll buy a bunch of spanners to try and test this out. Juju, I'm telling the truth. What? Reader's message. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? King of spiders? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it, it almost gave me a heart attack a couple of times, so I had to lower the volume, but uh, the novelty never wore off. Gotta be said, never wore off. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple of these spanners right here. We're gonna probably get another cart full of these bad boys, because we need a lot of them for the kind of setup that we've just got going on here. Okay, good. Also, big W for me getting literally exactly enough for everything that we just stuck on the logic circuits. Because they're expensive, you kind of have to do count... You have, you have to count pennies when you're pricing up a logic circuit. All right. So I'll uh, put some spanners in here, and if it functions, I'll tell you exactly how it works. Uh, we want to jump that, actually, and we want to drop it in here. So, oh, perfect. So how this is working, right, is when you are looking at one of these things through a magnifying glass, you'll actually see the durability right beside the glass itself, right? You see the 28, that's its durability and percentage. When this dips to zero, this thing right here will identify exactly how much um, durability it's got. It's not actually displaying how much durability it's got. We probably need a hook to be able to do that, which is just more money. We don't need to do that if we've got this magnifying glass. But the durability will tick down. And when this thing sees that this machine in front of it, because this thing is pointing directly at this machine in the next block, when it sees that this durability has gone to zero, it will send a little uh, dude saying, hey, zero, up the circuit right here, and it'll go down here, through this here on and off gate. So this on and off gate will basically tell the rest of the circuit past here and not back into this. 
uh, basically enable, then disable. Which filters down through this T-junction right here into the spanner hurtling unit, which is going to basically use a spanner at whatever block it's pointing at. So if we pointed this at the first one over here, or if we just had one of these logic readers looking at the first one over there, and it filtered through and it did the, uh, okay, whatever this is going to do, turn it on and off, and it reads, what, like five spanner hurtling units in sequence, it will activate every single one of these, which is a waste of spanners, a massive waste of spanners. We don't actually want that whatsoever. So I've got five individual circuits to kind of fill up and um, go as we will. So this one here is probably going to need the most circuits because this one right here, this filter right here, is going to be the fastest degrading water filter unit right here. It's at 15% uh, right now. So we can actually just take some spanners right here. We'll take them all the way over here. We fill up the spanner hurtling unit by throwing, by dropping the spanners into there. I'll grab some more. We'll drop it down here. This is also why we needed walkway access into here. We'll go ahead and get this uh, durability reader. And when this filter gets to zero, this thing will use the spanner hurtling unit, and the number on the side will go to, t to nine. King Spiders, I feel like subbing on all ten of my accounts. Wow, that is a lot of accounts. King Spiders, what is your opinion on Gen Alpha? Are they screwed over, or do you think they still have a chance? Oh no, I actually think that they are completely buggered, to be quite honest. I think that... Millennials had it real easy because they had to ease their way into a world with the internet where everybody can talk to each other at any instance and the internet was quite crude. I think Zoomers have really kind of perfected using the internet socially, but Gen A, they're going to really struggle in the real world, I, I think, especially the iPad babies. I think there's, there's going to be massive spikes of autism diagnoses when... Gen A starts hitting around about 10 or 11 years old because then they'll be expected to kind of like go out into the world, join sports clubs, do a bunch of stuff by their millennial parents or Zoom parents. One of those two. Un unfortunately, I think that's, that's just the way that the internet is, um, is going to force the world to go on. And it's going to be really hard when they become teenagers to differentiate be between what's real in the real world and what's AI. Because in a few years, people are going to start realizing that you can get massive ad generation just by having AIs pump out fake news stories with fake pictures everywhere, fake information, fake sources that they made up and then posted on a different platform under a different fake website. It's going to be really, really hard to verify information in the, in the real world, in the future, in the very near future. As, a, and as an extremely early gen alpha, you could call me a zelfa, I totally agree that they are totaled. You gotta go out, you gotta go join some clubs, you gotta go do something that's a little bit social. I'm also sitting here and I'm talking, waiting for the uh, 7 on that magnifying glass to go to zero so that you can see exactly what the spanner hurtling unit does. It's very good. We've automated all of the repairs on this entire machine, and because we've got five water filters purifying the water at 20% purification, that's 100% purification, none of the machines down south are actually going to take damage. So now this is the only place it takes damage, and we've completely automated the repairing of it. Yeah, they're buggered, honestly. Um, it's going to be really, really hard for them to tell kind of reality from fiction. I touch grass and socialize at the mall with friends three times a week. That is perfect. Do that. Do that. In fact, increase that. Increase that to five and you'll be sorted for the future. In fact, you'll probably actually be in the top 5% of the world that actually does go out and understands the purpose of social elements. Juju, my sister's eating purified spicy salt. I don't know why and where she got that crap. That's just MSG. You've just described MSG. That's in most foods these days. That's going to be really hard to differentiate as well because when people no longer care about the awareness of the purity of the things that they eat or the, the news that they receive, legislation is going to change to kind of alleviate a lot of companies to legally be able to put out fake crap. Like McDonald's will literally just have a, a burger eventually that comes out of a tube and one piece is moulded into a burger and then you basically microwave that for 30 seconds and boom, you've got a Big Mac. That'll, that's, that's the future of McDonald's. Probably in about 10, 15 years. King Spiders, other times that my friends can't go out, I'm making videos and playing Spider Heck Wave Survival, trying to beat my high score of 55, which is 2% of players have. <laughs> oh, here we are. We're at 1% uh, durability on this. We're at 0%. There we go. This thing has read the durability, was at zero, and it sent a little signal through, well, it's always sending a signal through here, but when it hits zero, it sends the signal saying, hey, it's at zero. This thing right here knows that at zero, it needs to flick on and then off, 
So what it's done is it's put a uh, little dupe through the spanner hurtling unit. It's used a spanner on this. It's repaired it fully. And now the circuit will go again when it is at 0%. Because this thing will not repeat unless it's at 0%. So that is completely fully automated. We didn't even need to hit these levers, by the way. Uh, we can, however, turn these levers off. Whoops. To kind of like... Yeah, we can turn that off eventually. Once we actually figure out what we kind of want to send through with these levers, we can turn them off. I don't know how to do the lever stuff. I don't know how to do all of the multiplication, subtraction, addition, stuff like that. But I know how to set up a very, very crude repair system that basically manages an entire infrastructure's um, infrastructure, essentially. I am a sweat at spider heck. Do not PvP me unless you all want to lose in two seconds from my skill with all weapons. Man... I was that way with Battlefield 3 and then I chilled out with age. <laughs> I was really, really competitive with Battlefield 3. I uh, got nationally ranked a bunch of times as well. Accidentally too. I just used to go over to a friend's house and play Battlefield 3 uh, multiplayer over a, over a, basically a 12 pack of beers or ciders or whatever I felt like drinking at the time. We'd get drunk, we'd uh, play a bunch of Battlefield and we'd accidentally become <laughs> nationally ranked every now and then because we got so damn good at the game. Uh, I was a... A medic main and I had the skill where I could pull out my defibs revive somebody just boof revive somebody uh, and then immediately pull out my Steyr Aug A3 an assault rifle and right before I put the defibs away before somebody could even get up on the server side I had my gun out and I was ready to gun someone down at long range with the uh, the original fire of the AUG or at close range with the underbarrel shotgun on the AUG that I had. We were lethal. We were a lethal combination. Uh, my buddy was an engineer main, so we never ran out of ammo. We also never ran out of health. I was also very slippery. I was very hard to actually hit. This is all on PlayStation 2. King of Spiders. In fact, I'm going to play Spider Heck right now and watch your stream at the same time. Z30, boo. Ah! No! Not a jump scare! Uh, let's go ahead and sleep so that it's not so spooky and dark for when Z30 jump scares us again. That is such a good skill. It, it was a really good skill. It was a really good skill. I can kind of do that as well now, but at the same time, like, I was motivated just by having lots and lots of fun by one, with one of my best friends at a game we both absolutely adored over a couple of drinks, which always increases fun. So we, we were just always motivated to be doing it anyway. All right, good. We fully automated this. Uh, we need to fill up all of these logic units right here. So uh, that's going to be four. That's going to be eight. Uh, they can hold 20 spanners at a time. They can hold uh, 20 spanners at a time. So we're going to need four spanner uh, packs per little item right here. So that's going to be four, eight. Uh, we need probably like two in that one, three in that one. So that's five, 13. Then we're going to need another two, 15. We need 15 units. Uh, let's go under here. Uh, I was actually looking for the cart, but I have moved it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's grab this agile card and we'll go ahead and we'll get... 15 repair kits, which a lot of people would probably say is overkill, but there's no such thing as overkill when you're setting up infrastructure. Oh, we only got three grand at this point, though. Although, we only have three grand after setting up an entire logic circuit. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and halfway, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen! How much is it going to cost? Ooh. Oh, no way. We can, aff we can afford it. Oh, this is fantastic. We had just enough money, by the way, with that $23,000. We had just enough money to set up this entire infrastructure of free repairs, basically. I, by the way, I have no idea what spider kick is. Is that like a... Is that like a killer with fire, but competitive multiplayer? I have no idea. Okay, we'll go again. We'll fill up this last one here. We can probably get ourselves a staircase, just so we don't have to jump over here. I'm gonna drop that there. It's full! Good. Uh, I'll drop that on top of here. Boop. There we go, it's gone. And I'll drop another one right there. Boop. Uh, that's at 12, so let's go ahead and put two more in there if we can. I think, I don't think we can put another two in here though. Oh, good, we can actually fill them up fully. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and stick that in there, so that's two. Eleven, actually, there's eleven. I forgot about the rest of them that I stuck in there. Okay, let's uh, put that back on the cart. We'll actually move it closer to these other ones right here. And let's go ahead and drop these ones into this bad boy right here. Boop. And this one here. Probably could have just put four full ones in this and the one spear in the other one because now we have to take this one and stick it in 
This one right here. Which we have to... No. Oh, no, we don't have to jump into it. Oh, we can literally just pick it up and swerve it in. Okay, we need one more repair kit. I'm pretty sure we can actually afford it as well, which is pretty good. Uh, Z30 physics? Yeah, 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 yeah. Physics. Okay. Let's go gambling five night funk. Oh, Friday Night Funkin'. I have no idea what that game is like. I've never played it. Gambling for Friday Night Funkin' has just been released, so everybody, alert, alert. Gambling is now available in a, uh, what are they? It's like Dance Dance Revolution, isn't it? But you don't actually get to dance. You just have to press keyboard keys. That's basically it, right? All right, let's go ahead and drop this bad boy into that right there. Good, we've got one spanner left, which we probably want to use on this last one here, because we've probably used one. No, we have not. Okay, now, so, here's something really, really cool. We can actually get a conveyor system to... To kind of like go around this in sequence and if we just drop a lot of these repair kits on the conveyor system we are going to be able to basically auto repair all of these and then auto fill up all of these spanner hurtling units which is awesome c30 16 big boxes fits in a small slot what does that even mean z30 omfg lethal company gambling is so much fun taking an item worth 10 bucks to be worth 3,000 bucks is amazing i have not seen Anything in Lethal Company, I did 35 episodes of that with the Epic Flying Horse, by the way. I have not seen anything in Epic Flying Company since the, like, since the last massive update that came out. And it is a massive update. The, uh, lots and lots of enemies have been added, moons have been added, loot's been added. I've completely missed all of it. Okay, we actually have a lot of items over here that I'm going to take them. We're just going to go ahead and sprint over here, and we're going to drop them at the end of this conveyor belt right there. We're going to cut all of the gems that we haven't already cut. And we're going to drop this bucket back down here, hopefully, right where it was. Good. How many gems have we got? Let's see. Let's find out. Whoa! Okay. Look at that! That is insane. Wow. So we've probably actually got one of every gem. We probably need to set up a sorting system for the gems at some point, too, because that's a lot of loose items. Juju, no, it's a short turn into, an, into a, a Friday Night's Funkin' mod. Still have no idea how it works. I'm, st I'm still pretty sure it's like Dance Dance Revolution, where the arrow keys kind of like, they just fly all over the screen. You've got to hit them in sequence, right? But instead of stamping on a gigantic dance pad and getting real sweaty and then giving up because you're really sweaty and you didn't, you didn't realize that you would be so sweaty when you actually started uh, doing all the dancing, that uh, you, you just kind of give up and everyone else gives up as well because they get really sweaty and uh, no one likes to do cardio. And I understand the premise of the game, but at the same time, it's still cardio and no one actually likes to do cardio. C30, the 16 boxing things, referring to you putting the repair boxes in the order repair. It looks stupid that you can fit so many into such a small slot. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually perfect. It's actually amazing that so many fits into a small slot. Because this is the choke of late game. Repairing all of your units becomes the choke of late game. And this unit right here is basically how to bypass all of the headaches of late game. It's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Did you use the control company mod so that you can become the monsters? Uh, I've already got it. I've, I've already played 35 episodes of the of the game on my channel with Epic Flying Horse. Actually, Z, uh, do you want to play it with with Epic Flying Horse and I? We're always happy to get, like, another person in there. Duos is really, really fun and all, but... Lethal Company needs the hectic element of lots of people alive. It's, it's got to be said. Uh, we've got lots and lots of gold being poured out. Let's go ahead and see what we've got after we just... Okay. Let's not look at the number. I'm assuming at least 15 grand. From the time it took us to set up that entire auto repair system, I think we've got about, around about 15 grand. Oh my god, it's more. We've got 20 grand again in less than an hour. That is insane. That is insane. Bet 20k? Oh no. You Actually, you were closer. You were way closer. Okay, uh, we'll drop that back in there because we don't really want to redeem that just yet. So we're waiting on Cloutium. Let's see how much Cloutium we've got for now. We should have a, a lot. We've got 32 kilos, which is bugger all, actually. That's nowhere near as much as we actually want. We are going to expand out all of this garbage down here. I think we're going to expand. That's got to be what we do, right? We've got to expand. So let's go ahead and grab our tier 2 shovel and we'll just make an absolute mess of the underground so that we can just mash a bunch more machines downstairs. Where do we put it? Back of the truck, right? Yep, there it is. Okay. We'll grab this tier 2 shovel, and now we're going to start busting. We're going to start busting through like a famous rapper. Um, you know the one, right? Buster. 
We all, we all know who the famous rapper is, right? That's right. Tech Nine, the Buster himself. No, I'm totally kidding. It's obviously Buster Rhymes. Uh, let's just dig this out. This is actually a lot more effective. In fact, since we got 20 grand, do we want to start playing with some explosives? Shovel. Juju, I'm on a tablet and I don't have a computer, just a Nintendo. It's worth investing in. It is, it is actually definitely worth the investment. Like, if you're one of those people that goes to work and you have a really physical, demanding, tiring job, then definitely get a console because you can just hit a button when you get home and immediately there's some form of entertainment for you to unwind to. But if you're going to be doing literally anything but that, or you're an office worker of some sort, definitely get a PC. It, it's, it just pays for itself so quickly, especially when you start getting into like graphic design and stuff like that. It's such a good skill to have. In fact, that's actually one thing that I think that... We mentioned that Generation Alpha is probably going to be buggered for the future. I feel like they're going to be a lot of really, really good animators and graphic designers. They come out of Generation Alpha, which may or may not be a good thing because, you know, AI is also progressing at an alarming rate. Uh, art may be basically automated out of a job at some point. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double production in this area right here. Then we are going to... Uh, basically go and scope out some other land masses so that we can uh, kind of see what else we have to work with. Maybe after that we'll think about, after we've got a game plan or where else we're going to put all of our crap, we are going to start building a house. We actually do want a house here. We want something to kind of like go to sleep to and wake up to. We want something to be proud to. We want a miner's hut, basically. Uh, Goldie, uh, remember I'm 10, I'm a child. Okay, uh, good awareness. Very, very good awareness. But definitely in the future, think about getting a, a desktop or something like that. Like a really, really powerful one as well. With the savings you get when you're like 12 or 13, take that $5,000 that you'll you'll have in your bank account and just buy a, uh, buy a really powerful PC that won't be re made redundant in three years' time. Cap. Cap. Z30, don't say your age on the internet. Yeah, uh, maybe that is a good idea, honestly. It's good advice. Anywhere else, somebody might take advantage of you. That is good advice, actually. We'll, we'll start enforcing that as a rule. Good good shout, Z. Good, good shout. Although he does... I, I'm not going to dox him fully, but he does work some type of security <laughs> on the internet. Uh, let's, let's take his advice whenever he gives it when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so we'll pipe in maybe, like, another four of these bad boys, which means we probably need to... Get out of the way, shovel. I'm going to put this on the conveyor belt. Let's, let's send it home. Bye-bye, shovel. It's going to end up in the gems bucket, too. That's going to be funny. Uh, I hope that we can actually fit four more conveyor belts down here. I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, just Sinclair, I know, but this is a safe place. It may... Yeah, that's the thing. Not everything is permanently a safe place. So uh, be aware of your surroundings on the internet, and you shouldn't have an issue. You shouldn't have an issue. Always, always be diligent. Okay. We'll mine all of this out, and we should be basically good to set up another fort. We'll get another few T-pipes, and I think we'll just stick with these crap tier ones, because we can afford to do so. And it doesn't really make a huge difference. It's, it, it, the speed makes no difference to us whatsoever. And it's also good knowing that we can actually shut this down whenever we want, because if we start getting a little bit of frame dip from any kind of like mechanical monstrosities from another dig site, we should be in the clear. Right, we'll start taking all of this out, and all of this can go. I think this is probably getting into four T-pipes worth of, of space territory here. Matt, we're actually making heaps and heaps of progress now that we've got some money. Huh? So much progress. Wowee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll always take Z's advice, unless it's obviously sarcastic, but that is obviously not sarcastic advice. Stranger Danger is literally not talked about enough in schools, so uh, it's it's just good advice to take in general. All right, uh, we'll bust this out a little bit more. We'll kind of clean up what we've already mined out, and then we will go and uh, get ourselves some tea pipes. And we'll see if we've got enough length here. Okay, I am happy with this. That's pretty good, actually. We'll put this here on the... No, we'll leave this down here, because that's probably the best place for it. We'll take this crap pickaxe. We'll put that on the conveyor belt so that we don't have to worry about it. And we should be good to go. Where is the shovel? Oh, it is actually in the bucket right at the end. That is so funny. That is so, so funny. Wow. That looks silly. Okay, let's get that just on the floor, I think. Uh, we'll go and get the cart here. We'll bring this downstairs, I think, would be the best option. Because we can always just put it on the conveyor belt, I think. And then we'll start 
hooking up all of the pipes that we need. All of these new machines that we're going to be uh, sticking in here. So all of the T-pipes, we need four of these bad boys. One, I'm not worried about pressure. Two, three. Do we have enough room? I think we just made enough room. Yeah, we just made enough room. Can we fit another one in here? Maybe. Uh, I mean, I'll mine out another little... Oh, no, we can't actually, because uh, this bit right here won't... Except any of these conveyor belts, unfortunately. So, now that we've got that, let's uh, go ahead and put the rest of the infrastructure in here. Uh, the game's hij hijacking my uh, my building menu. That's weird. All right, let's stick that there. And we'll stick another one beside it. Right here. Very cash money. And one right there. And another one right here. The build menu is actually surprisingly intuitive in this game. I know it looks really, really jank and a little bit fiddly. But it is very intuitive. I love it. It's, it's really easy to get the hang of once you actually know the controls. Oh, we have enough elbows too. Do we have enough straights? We don't have any straights. We're going to need uh, another four straights and another four of each machine, which we can actually definitely afford with just the iron that we have in our back pocket. And we'll generate more iron before we actually get the Clausium that we need for the tier two machines as well. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right, let's go ahead and do a sleep. Uh, we'll jump over ourselves while we sleep on our lucky Clausium. And then we'll go ahead and buy... Four straight pipes, and that's literally all of the crap tier pipes that we're going to need, I think, from now on. Then, we'll- oh, just look at that! Straight pipes! Hey! Nice! Good, one here. I don't think this is the cart that we actually wanted to fill up. Should be a couple more straights around the place, right? Um, there's a saw. We'll put that right next to our work area. We actually need to use this to cut ingots in half, by the way. That's why we bought that. We haven't done that at all, because we haven't been doing quests, but we will be doing quests this episode at some point. Okay, uh, let's take the cart right here over to town and we'll hopefully have enough money to buy two more straight pipes. We probably actually have enough spear left in the in the repair uh, section just over here to afford two more pipes. We could probably also get a, a firefly jar. How much have we got? 92 bucks. We can't actually afford both, I don't think. The fireflies, I think, are worth $48 if memory serves me right. And these are 22 buckery booze, so maybe we won't have enough. We'll kind of see how much we've got after we buy these, I suppose. We'll, we'll play it by ear. We've got just enough for the fireflies. Oh my god. I love the anger that we started with. That was exactly the right amount of money, right? Okay, we're going to get this jar right here. Boop. And let's buy it. Boop. Okay, we have spent all of our money. Look at this. Fireflies. It casts a little bit of light. I don't know if we can kind of like put it anywhere. All right, good. It's permanent. Let's put it downstairs for a, a nice little ethereal glow, I think. Uh, one just down here, so we've got something to work around. Good. A little bit of a friend down here. We've got a... We just bought a pet. Basically, we bought a pet. Z30, how are you so lucky? Stream luck, my dude. And I uncursed the game by burying somebody in this land in the last episode, so... You know. It is what it is. I, ca I can't... I can't tell you. I can't tell you. can't tell you just how great it is that I did this. Scott's World? Oh, nice! I got some basic automation done now. This game slaps, doesn't it? Are we all enjoying this game? I love this game so much. It's always scratch and itch, and I've been playing it uh, since a release in 2020. Every time I play it, there's just, like, something new to do as well. I paid 10 bucks for the DLC because it was on sale for the same summer sale. We're going to see that eventually as well. Scott's World, very fun. Yeah, I definitely agree. I definitely agree with that. Uh, we're not going to take this cart downstairs because uh, we don't really want to. We're just going to drop all of these things down into this egress hole that we made in the last episode. Here and here. Great! None of it got stuck in the grinder. Perfect. And we're going to stick this right there. This one right here. And this one right here. And this one right here. Uh, speaking of how lucky I am, we may actually run into a little bit of a problem with this conveyor belt. Or we may not. Oh, we need four more straight pipes, which means we need more money for these conveyor belts. Which means we also need conveyor belts. So we're actually going to take all the gold that we have and we're going to go sell it. We're going to go buy all of the stuff that we need. Let's do that right now. Uh, good. I wanted to make sure that the gold wasn't going to dip. All right, take your bets. How much is this going to cost? Juju, buddy is making a water slide with all the water down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I am. Or a uh, drown hole, which I, I I almost gave a bit of a spoiler. Let's take let's take bets. Let's take bets on, on what the gold costs. Let's take bets. 40k. Wow, that is a... <laughs> that is a mass overestimation, I would say. Last time we saw this, by the way, a little bit of a spoiler. Last time we saw this, we'd had the game running for about 
half an hour, I would say, with automation on, and we got about just under 20k. We got about 19k. 12k? Oh, you might actually be very close. I would probably say 9k. I would say 9k with what we've got already. All right, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. Da -da -da -da! 27,000 bucks! Oh my god, Juju, you're actually the closest. That is insane. That is more money than we started with. What? Oh, it's because we've got these automated repair systems, so there's no downtime. Oh, that feels so goddamn good. I love that so much. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, we're going to sell all of this money. That is insane, isn't it? That is an insane amount of money. I'm going to drop that right there. We'll go into town, and we'll buy up all of the conveyor belts that we need. We need four straight conveyor belts. Yippee! Yeah, good guess. Good guess. I don't think you would have based it on anything, because everybody else was way under... <laughs> But good, good guess. Uh, I'm going to sell this up here, actually. We'll get the pipes first, and then we'll kind of get that set up so we don't ever have to worry about the store again. Because we are not going to be adding anything more to the infrastructure of Ember Cradle. We are done with it. We are done with this cursed-ass place. I will buy a shiny it's done. Truck. Boom. 30 grand in the back pocket. Wow. Wowee. Or as the, uh, the golden man himself would say, Whoa. You know, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot would say that. Oh, he's not made of gold, is he? He's uh, kind of like furry. He's a furry. What am I talking about? All right, let's go ahead and grab all of these. We'll grab these pipes. And one more. Excellent. Sir, I cannot wait to never come back here again. Your breath stinks, and I am sick of your sexual... Uh, uh, come on. He, he does not care. It's time to leave this place in the dust. Ish. It's time to leave this place in the dust. Ish. We still need to rely on this place to generate our, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, it's not core stone, it's the other one. Uh, Clousium. We need to generate Clousium so that we can get tier two items. But here's the thing, right? We are going to go to a different place. We're going to set up some infrastructure, uh, somewhere else to generate Clousium as well. And we should have access to tier two ores real fast. And every other place is a lot deeper. So we should also be able to... Uh, basically generate tier 2 machines a lot easier because once we have the tier 2 machines we can start sticking them right at the bottom of those maps I also think that the tier 1 ores are going to be a little bit deeper than they are on Ember Cradle in any other place so we realistically could have probably uh, taken the cursed save that we had and we could have just used that and started fresh from that we didn't grab our money oh no the curses are coming back Unless we've got enough money here already. No. And this lady has a bunch of worthless crystals. We're not going to borrow, worry about that too much. Okay, wonderful. Let's back all the way out of here in our shirtless underwear haze that we drive in. We'll go back and get our money. I'm really, really glad that we invested in Lofty here. The, the brand new truck. Although it's a little bit jank to drive because it's a little bit faster. It is so much faster. That's the thing. It's so much faster. We actually go from A to B in an unacceptable speed. Okay, so where would we have left the money? Probably over here, right? I'm going to do a jackknife around this. Whoop. A pretty crap jackknife. We'll just leave this here. Sure, why not? And we'll go into the store right here. Boop. Grab our 30 grand. Boop. Whack it in the back. Nice! Okay, now that we've got this, uh, let's actually do what we were doing in the first place, which is go and buy those four conveyor belts. And then we can move on. We can absolutely move on. We will probably come back to Ember Cradle maybe once an episode just to top off all of the repair units but i think for a four hour flat stream we actually have enough repair units in those logic circuits to last us the entire stream so uh, we've generated a few chores for each stream at this point we are now going to be going back to each location we're going to be uh filling them up with auto repair units that's basically all we're going to be doing for the first like 10 minutes i would say of the of the streams one two and three and also for very cash money 880 nice Excellent. So we'll uh, drop this in the back right here. We'll try and reach these. We're actually... No, we can't reach them. Let's turn our wheels in the right way. We'll back it up so we can actually grab these bad boys and whack them in the back of the truck. Uh, let's actually... We'll go backwards because I think if we leave while going backwards, we actually end up in the back of the truck. There you go. A little bit of a pro tip for you there. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, I can't read that one out. I can't read that one out. I don't think that's advertiser friendly. Probably... For once, best we didn't have the chat in the corner for that one. 
Okay, let's go ahead and plug these in and we should be good to go once we get all of the machines from Ice Helm. In fact, no, let's actually plug these in first because we're closer to Ember Cradle than we are Ice Helm and we still have to exchange all the iron and everything like that. Okay, I'm gonna back this in like so. We probably need to start putting a cart on the back of this truck as well, just so we can start maybe transporting the goods a little bit easier. Okay, one conveyor, two conveyor, three conveyor, four. Huh? Huh? Okay, we probably shouldn't have put the conveyors in first because we actually need the pipes plugged in first. Oh, poos. Okay, we've blocked the hole, that's not good. I'm just gonna drop all these in here because I'm pretty sure I can reach them from down south. Oh, I think I just saw something break and then a uh, logic repair unit just fixed it, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. All right, everyone, plug your ears. We're down south again. Let's turn that bad boy around and let's try and get all of these other, oh, damn it. <laughs> all of these other pipes down here. Okay, good. And this one right here, one of these bad boys. We'll put that right there. And one more. We're also, now that we've polished off this entire uh, harvesting section that we've got made up, we're also going to go ahead and, is that facing the right way? No. We're gonna go ahead and plug all of these uh, leaks that we've kind of got around the place so that we can uh, increase the pressure for maximum efficiency. All right, one there, one there, and another one right here. And I'm gonna jump up onto the conveyor belt to grab this last one. Very good, wonderful. Now let's go and exchange all of our iron for all of the items that we need. So we need 400 iron per set of money generators. Uh, that's the iron, good. Did the iron just fall out somewhere? No idea, okay. Let's grab that bad boy and we'll stick it right here. Yep, that'll do the trick, I think. That'll definitely do the trick. So we need four sets of automation machines at 400 each. That is a total of 1,600 kilos that we need. And we have three, 3,000, which is almost double what we need. Good gravy. That gravy is good. That's good gravy. That's, that's piping hot gravy. That's really, really good gravy. Excellent. That's like, uh, that's like, that's like taking three sachets of that ready mixed gravy and sticking it in like one, one cup's worth of gravy. That is some, that is some thick gravy. That is exactly what you want to see. God, I love thick gravy. I love a gravy that you can chew on. That's my kind of gravy. What do we all think? Do we all think that, uh, like really chewy gravy is, is perfect? I'm definitely one of those guys. I know, it, it might not be a popular opinion, but I, I love sachets of gravy. I should probably uh, maybe try Bovril, if that's the case. It's basically gravy, but it's supposed to be like a, a drink. I've never had it before. I've never had Bovril. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a reaction to it and I'll stick it on Vimeo. You know, the, the platform that all of the uh, reaction streamers are, are flocking to these days. Good old Vimeo. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this here pallet and I'm going to Put our iron on it. We're gonna take it down with us. We're not gonna put it into the kind of input right there because we don't want it all the way at the bottom floor. We actually want to take it basically straight to the place we want to put all the machines onto so that we can put all the machines onto this pallet. Everybody get their free vertigo. There we go. Got my uh, got my little taste of vertigo right there. I hated that. I actually hated that. Maybe I should start taking the, uh, the lift a little bit better. All right, all right, we're almost there. There is a reason I've got this pallet. There is a reason. We've got our iron on it, which is pretty good. And I'm pretty sure we've also still got spare iron from the last kind of melding we were doing. No, we do not, okay. So we'll leave this pallet maybe at the end of this here anvil, because I'm pretty sure no machine can spawn on that. And we'll go ahead and we'll dump this into the receptacle below. What the hell? Uh, thank you. Do we? Not stick, okay, we didn't actually stick a tier one item on here. These are the tier ones, we'll put that on here. We'll move this over so we don't get it mixed up. There's a tier one, we'll stick that right beside it. So we need four of these things. We need four of these. Yo, you taking the piss? This is heaps of iron. What do you mean? I've got the right one on there, I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's tier one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's exactly what we need. Oh, it's not like too much, is it? It may actually be too much. Let's go ahead and just hit uh, this. Uh, huh? Huh? Can we maybe... Is there still iron in it, perhaps? Uh, no, there's not. A little bit strange. Okay, let's go ahead and 
Oh, we don't have any money here. We'll, we'll actually we'll check the store first before we kind of like double down on the fact that we have no money. Whoop. We'll jump over that. Because if we do have money here, we can buy a saw, which will allow us to cut the ingots in half. Maybe it is too big. That's that's probably the, the cause. It's probably got a big limit on it. Oh, hi there, friend. I didn't see you there. Creepy. No, we don't have any money here, unfortunately. Damn, we're going to have to go all the way back home. We're going to have to get a little bit of gold. Actually, we should have gold in the back of the truck. Unless we left it in the shop, which would really not be good at all. That would be really annoying. That would probably require a quad bike, actually. Maybe... We could probably actually leave the quad bike here at Ice Helm and we'll just use it to go back up. Don't go up! Oh, yes, we caught it. Nice. Okay, we're going up the lift and we're up. We'll see if the money is in the back of the car, which I probably don't think it actually is, realistically. No, it's not. We got the shovel in the back of the truck, though. Okay, we have to go back home real quickly. Get our money. I'm pretty sure we left it in the shop, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind that whatsoever. And we will then do our best to buy a saw. We'll probably actually just buy a saw from the shop. We'll leave the money back at home. Come over this hill right here. We'll uh, try not to total our car. Okay, we're caught in a breakdance loop, but we fixed it pretty quick. Very cash money right there. Very Gucci indeed. Whoa! <laughs> this thing's like the uh, the Hydroneer Tokyo Drift equivalent. Okay. <laughs> wow! Look at all the drifting. Crazy. Okay, and we are home. Let's dump that bad boy there. We probably could have left it in the road, realistically, but I didn't. I chose not to. Where is the money? Is it in here? No. <laughs> oh, no. Where is the money? I was certain we had... Wait, did we not sell our ingot? Maybe we didn't sell our ingot. Whoop. Where is the money? King of Spiders beat my high score 55 to 60. I have no idea what that means, but I am really, really happy for you or really sad that happened. One of those two. Okay, I'm just going to take the saw. Because I don't know where the money just went. I don't know if we sold the money. I don't know what happened to the money. Let's actually check to see if we just dumped it back into the furnace. We, maybe we did. Maybe we did that. How much is this worth? Uh, no, we lost the money, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. But oh well, you know what they say. Everything's temporary. All is, all is borrowed. Nothing is forever. There we go. We teabagged ourselves. The King of Spiders, it's good. Okay, I'm really happy for you then. I'm not very sorry that that, that, that happened. What the hell is our money? I'm, I'm certain we sold the ingot, didn't we? We had about 30 grand in our pocket. We didn't put it in a cart, did we? No, we didn't put it in that one. Did we put it in here? No. Well, that's weird. We've just lost 30,000 bucks. I'm checking the town. I'm checking the town. There's no small amount of money to just end up go missing. Actually, we don't, we don't actually need it. Gotta be said, we don't need that money. We don't need 30,000 bucks. It's real Bezos of me to say that, but we, we realistically do not need 30,000 buckery boos in our back pocket for this endeavor. Or even probably for the rest of the episode. Z30, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what's happened. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've lost 30,000 bucks, but at the same time, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. It's just money. It's just money. Uh, let's go ahead and get the saw to kind of like halve the ingot that we've got. I think it's way too heavy. Maybe it's got a cap of 10k that we can stick into the into the furnace. Uh, free vertigo! <laughs> Hate that so much. Oh my god, it actually made me a little bit motion sick. Oh well, it is what it is, right? Motion sickness is motion sickness. Okay, where is this ingot? This one right here. Let's sort it in half. Whoop. So this should be enough, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, good. So, we need four of these machines. I'm going to go ahead, stamp that. And then we're going to get another one of these. We are going to drop it straight back into the bucket. And we're going to stamp it again, because I know it just overwrites the uh, the machine there. And we're going to just mass put them on the pallet right at the end. Hopefully. If it doesn't stack, we're going to go all the way back home again and get a card. Which would be very obnoxious, but if we have to do it, we have to do it. Okay, good. And one more. Here we go! Here's the fourth. Great. So we got four of these machines right here. One. One. Uh. Oh no. Oh no, they're glitching out like crazy. Okay, let's try and put this down here then. Whoops. Uh, right here. Oh no! Okay, we have to go all the way back home and get a cart. 
Oh, let's just go to town. I think I may have left all the money in one of the buckets in town. Juju, one of them NPCs look like Lucky Luke, not gonna lie. I also have no idea who Lucky Luke is. Is that a Deltarune reference? <laughs> no idea. Oh, yes, elevator's here. Great. We just caught it, too. I think somebody hit the button right up here to get to their office, but, uh... We got it. We got it. Where the hell did the money go? It's not, like, floating in the back here, is it? No, it's, it's actually not. We've lost it. We've lost the money. What the hell is this? A stock market? What the hell for? Oh, this is where we put gems to be sold. That's actually a high price. That's a good price for gems. If only it made us any money whatsoever compared to all of the ludicrous amounts of gold that we're making. Did you know a movie character? Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, I didn't really realize that there were cameos in this game, but it's, it's good to know that Lucky Luke is, in fact, actually in this game. Uh, we'll go down over this hill right here. Dukes of Hazard style. Uh, remember that episode where they flip the car? And there's like that real violent crash and glass goes everywhere and 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 Bo Duke, he's like, oh no, I've, my pretty face, it gets covered in shards of glass and it's bleeding all over the place and it's irreparable. No! Man, that was a hell of an episode, wasn't it? That was a crazy one. The General Lee got all crushed because it had a racist flag on top of it. Man, that was a sad one, actually. That was a really, really sad episode of Dukes of Hazard that actually happened. It did actually happen. I'm not making this up, it happened. Uh, let's check the buckets in town, because we may have left 30,000 bucks somewhere around here. Maybe in here, in Conveyor Nation? I got the goods yeah, yeah, there it the is! Cash. Okay, we bought four conveyor belts with it. I knew that! I knew it. Alright, we'll drop that there, and we'll also go and get ourselves another cart with this money, I think, because we forgot to bring a cart back from home. It's just over here. I think we'll get a... I don't think the fast cart is really going to be for your business. worth it for the... Let's get an agile car for the back of the truck. I think that's going to be a really good idea. Because the car's... The, the, the truck is fast enough. Alright, so this one's a little bit faster to turn. It, it's a little bit slower, but I think that's a trade-off that we're absolutely going to be happy with. Alright, we'll come over here and we'll just hop into the back here, as is customary. Good. Believe it or not, that is a faster turning speed. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is actually a faster turning speed. Good, and we'll carry this bad boy all the way over to where we need it. I'm also going to hop out and get into the old truck right here, the old truck it that we are not going to be using anymore. There's some iron in the back of there. And we're just going to ram this into the car lot. Yeah, there we go. We're compartmentalizing all of our crap into one place that we just don't want to deal with ever again. Juju, my sister is hitting me very hard. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. I've got sisters as well, and unfortunately, there's not really much you can do with siblings. You know, they're, they're going to terrorize each other. Okay, let's go around here, because there's going to be a bridge on the other side of this agriculture town. We probably actually took the long way around. Man, this thing drifts like crazy. It's got a dump truck booty, and it just will not stop shaking it around. So where is this bridge? Not down there. Probably up here, right? Perfect. There it is. So this place is actually really close to the MILF's aquifer, which is right there. We've already got tier 2 pickaxes. We could probably actually go to the water access down there with a Cloudium pipe, or maybe even a tier 3 pipe, if we can get some uh, guild tokens. And then we should be basically in the clear. Alright, let's go ahead and put this on our back so we can... Probably don't need to take the money with us. We're only going to be putting machines on the back of this thing. Uh, the pallet is virtually useless. I think we just kind of leave it where it is. Oops. Uh, I'm getting off that. It's actually faster when you want to turn. It's faster to get off of it, look at it, and then just turn, do a 180. Okay, there's another little technique you can use to uh, play this game a lot faster. Some speedrunning strategies. I didn't get motion sickness that time. I'm pretty sure you guys did, though. Because I'm the one controlling the character. The technique, it turns out, is actually to look at the little dot in the middle of the screen right there. Did you want to come back in a bit to see the progress? Uh, uh, stream's not going anywhere. You are welcome to uh, leave for as long as you want. Uh -huh. Which is probably not something a streamer would ordinarily be saying, but I'm here to have fun. I'm here to actually enjoy myself. Uh, well, this is embarrassing. Okay, that's good. And one there. Good. And there's one more right here. Who's? And one more right here. Good. All right, let's get this on our back, and we will get this where it needs to go. The only time I get motion sickness is when I'm on a ferry. Damn, Z, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. I love boating so much. I've never... Oh! Oh, my God. I thought I just fell through the map. I've never really got motion sickness on a boat. I've got really, really good sea legs. But I know a lot of people do get motion sick on a boat. It's a very, very common one. 
Okay, good. And we'll take this bar of iron that we probably don't need to merge with that one right there. We'll dump it in here. And we'll manufacture this next item. We're actually going to go ahead and pick it up and put it on this cart because if we do what we were doing before, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's not going to function as... Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> well, it always gives me a heart attack when I'm here. Because you can actually fall through these grates right here, which is kind of why I try and jump over them with this anvil right here. You can fall through them. We're also picking up these, like, molten hot ingots with our bare hands. That is a, a real Chad move right there. Okay, this is the second one. We're going to stick this here. Good. Please don't fall off. Good. And grab this here. Bah. Excellent. We got two more to get, and then we are done with the automation of... Oh, is that the really, really big one? No. We don't have enough. Okay, let's drop this in there. Okay, good. We've got compartmentalized. We'll stamp that one. We'll put this one on the back of the cart right here. Please don't fall off. Excellent. And now we'll get our iron again. And we will dump this back into the pot. And we'll make another. Excellent. This is the last piece of automation that we need for Ember Cradle. We are done with that place. We are absolutely done with that place. We are going to set us up a house just to kind of like get a forward operating base there. And also maybe have somewhere to rest and relax in between the episodes. We're also going to want to put up kind of like a nice reception for the sorting system so that we kind of don't need to faff around looking at everything to know exactly how much stuff we have in our what's my doodles. We're probably going to get to uh, some kind of observer to tell us exactly how much weight is going to be in the crucibles. Or maybe we could just put some scales under the crucibles and jack it up by one lift. That might be a, another way we do it too. Okay, again, I'm going to be getting off and looking at this thing. All right, let's get crushed by this. And we are clear. Might be a wee while before we come back to Ice Helm, but it probably won't be too long. Got to be said. Probably won't be too long. Let's dip up here, and we'll see what we have to work with. All right, there's nothing up here, really. There's literally nothing to work with. We just have to get back into the truck and set this up, and we're good. We're good to go. Uh, here we go. We'll dump this in the back, and it's stuck. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go straight home. I love that volcano in the background. It's so cool. Right. Uh, let's just dip down here. Oh, no. Are we going to get stuck? No. We did the Dukes of Hazard again where we uh, basically just rolled the car over where we wanted to uh, park in the first place. Excellent. Wonderful. So let's go up here. Should be a bridge. Yep, we're on the right track. Excellent. We'll just kind of swerve a bunch. And we are good. Man, we've made progress. We've made so much progress in the last, like, maybe five, six hours that we've been playing this game. We fully automated. I don't think we have full... I don't think we have full kind of, like, efficiency of Ember Cradle, but we have enough for us to justify kind of, like, going to other areas. All right, good. We'll put that there. Let's start setting these bad boys up. This is a thumper. Put that right there. Another thumper, I think. Or we could get a, a yucky, mm -hmm. yucky one of these things. We're actually stuck, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm mm -hmm. trying to drop this thing. Mm -hmm. We can't. We actually have to set it up in front of us here. All right, we'll do that then. Is it facing the right way? Yes, it most certainly is. Okay, another thumper. Put that there. Another thumper. We'll put that there. And last thumper. We'll stick that right on the edge just over here. Excellent. And the reason I didn't want to put down the what's my doodles, the, um, the grinders yet, is because we need to stick some dirt up the bum bum of this place. Got a couple of tier two items over here. We'll get a shovel as well. This one will do. That's the tier one shovel. Do we want this? No, nah, let's actually get a tier two shovel. We can just buy another couple on our way to the other areas anyway. I think we're good. Uh, got a crouch to get through here apparently. Or not. Uh, have we just blocked ourselves off? Oh, poos, I think we did. Nope, we're good. Okay, we, we found a way. Let's get on the conveyor belt. We'll get some soil. And we will get off the conveyor belt, for God's sake. Let's put some dirt up the bum bum of this one, and we'll put some dirt up the bum bum of this one right here. Boop. Here we go. I'm just going to buff some dirt right in the bum of all of these here bumpers. They aren't on yet, which is uh, awesome. And we are pretty much done with this location. So I'm actually going to take this shovel. I'm going to put it there. The pickaxe we're actually also going to put on the conveyor belt. And the reason for that is we want to kind of like dig out a viewport, I suppose, to kind of look out at when we are home. All right, and one more grinder right here. Excellent. Turn these bad boys on. One, two, three, four. And production has been doubled. 
Yuck! Just dumped a crystal out of this one. That one's cursed. Okay, so we've got so many more resources that are now coming out of this area. Let's uh, kind of dip out of this location. I think we're done. We're done here. We're done here. We can build a house, but that's probably about all we need to do from this point in time. Let's take this iron ingot. We'll stick it back in the crucible right here. Boop. We'll check out our gold production. How much have we got? We have another 20 grand right here, and we've just doubled our output. My god, that is going to be an insane amount of money. This is just, this is also just a crap tier location that we're out as well. Right, let's go and think about building us a house. We'll get this here agile wooden cart right here, and maybe we'll just only get fast carts. This agile one kind of sucks. It's got increased turning speed, but it's slower to handle. Which is not actually good because we can just look away from the cart and reinteract with it, and that's basically probably going to be the fastest method of turning, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and jump off of this here lackluster ramp. Very lackluster. Very, very bad. I did not like that jump, Sam. I am. Did not like it whatsoever. Okay, uh, so we are pretty close to the home furnishings. I'm going to. I think we're. Pretty good on platforms. Gotta be said, we're pretty good on platforms. Oop, keep turning the wheels the wrong way. Let's let's just leave the truck here. We'll only use this here cart to kind of load up all of the materials we want. So, we want a 3x4 house again. What's that? Tools and equipment? That's the wrong side. We want to come over here. I'm actually going to take this cart. I'm going to drop it in the ocean. I think that's going to be a good idea. And the reason I'm going to drop it in the ocean is because it sucks. We want a fast cart. This thing is absolutely just god-awful. Huh? Huh? There you go. Drop it in that cesspool right there. With that sunken ship. Excellent. Yuck! I hate that thing. Gross. And it only took me five minutes to decide as well. Let's go ahead and grab this here. Coins. King of Spiders, are you putting on music? Because I hear it. Yes, yes, yes. I am putting on music. There's a little bit of music on. It's only available in the stream. Uh, we are listening to a Data Remembers most recent album. You're welcome. That's the name of the stream. It's not a... I'm not, I'm not saying you're welcome. But you are welcome. You are welcome for the... Uh, a day to remember. All right, the fast one, we'll drop that here. We'll immediately buy it as well. Uh, we'll drop this on there. Let's take this cart. Uh, I didn't do the thing I said I was just gonna do. We want to kind of like face ourselves towards where we want to look while the cart is in between us and our target. And that's how we turn, basically. That's how we make big turns. Like we're gonna do the same thing as soon as we get to the entrance over here. Boop. And boop. there we go, we've turned. Very easy. So we are going to need it is going to be a 4x3 house, I've decided. It is going to be a standard uh, pitch roof. Z30, nah, it's a good vibe having that music play quietly in the background. Yeah, I thought as much. I, I definitely think that people really like my music, and I'm pretty happy to just stick it on. Uh, let's stick it in here. Okay, we just became a slight bit richer. I don't know how much money that was, but it was definitely money. Uh, let's go ahead and do these, maybe the... We'll do the door first. We need the door. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Put it in the cart, you oaf! Well, I'm actually surprised that worked so well. Alright, so we're going to need a bunch of walls. We're going to need 4 by 3 which is going to be 12, and we're also going to need 2 for the lifts. So we're going to need 14 wooden walls. Let's go ahead and put these on the cart. Hopefully there's a way of putting them on here so we don't have to jump drop them every single... Actually, no, huh? this is fine. Huh? 2, 3... It's Yeah, this is not ideal. 3, and... <laughs> and we actually cannot see the walls anymore. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. That one fell off. That one fell off too. And ten. And eleven. And twelve. And thirteen. And minus one, actually, because we've got a door, so we don't need 14. We only need 13. We need four of these wooden angles. One. That was not fortuitous. One. Oh, they're bigger than I think. Okay, one. What the hell? Game, come on. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. One. Come off it. One. For God's sake, I think it's hitting the end. One. For the love of God and all that is holy, huh? fit on the goddamn thing. Okay, I'm going to drop this straight on here because I'm uh -huh. pretty sure we can kind of like use build mode to turn it around. Uh, we need one of these right here. Good. And we're also going to need one of these. Going to need two of these ones. Or have we already got one? 
Are they, have we got three of the same one here? I think we do. I think we've got three of the same one. No, these are facing outwards. This one's facing outwards too. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. So we need one that kind of faces the left side outwards. It is going to be this one right here. You need two of these, I think. Let's see. Nope, that's the one we already have. Let's not get that one. We need the one on the other side. Embarrassing. Very embarrassing. We need two of these right here. Good. And one more of them right here. Nope, that is the pitch. We're going to need two of those anyway, but we'll put them on slightly the after we buy these ones. Because the I think they'll just go on the trailer, like, really easy. Uh, stick it up like maybe this. Yep, good. And we'll drop. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, good, and let's drop it here again. This one here can also go here. Whoops! That's embarrassing. Let's orient this around. Like so. Move it up a little bit. And we'll drop it. Good. And we'll also do the same with this huh? one right there. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Why is that one upside down? It's the same orientation as that one. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, so we need to stick it this way. We may have got a, a, a duplicate of the wrong piece, but I think it's going to be absolutely fine, to be quite honest. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this one on the card. I'm pretty sure it's not going to fall off because it's got a flat bottom. Good, and one right here. Very good. Okay, wonderful. Team Spy okay, uh, Team Spiders, I have to go. My Steam friend is nagging me. That is absolutely fine. You have a great day. Z30, I'm expecting that to fail. What the house? You're expecting the house to fail? I don't think it's going to fail. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to need a four of these wood roof peaks, uh, which is going to be a... Yeah, we're definitely going to need four of these wood roof peaks, and we're going to need four of each side as well. Two and three and four. Good. And we'll actually have five so that we can kind of, like, extend the eave over the windows. I hope this works. Let's see. It does look like it works. Okay, good. And we're going to need... We can really just get these ones here, these normal ones, to be quite honest. Right, one here. Boop. Okay, let's uh, orient ourselves a little bit better. And two. We're going to need ten of these. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Good. And I'm also going to get some stairs so that we can actually access the house. Probably going to go for this big one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this on here. We have made an absolute mess of this place, by the way. An absolutely disgusting mess. I'm going to get some wooden stairs as well for the the kind of like auto repair units that we have so that we can kind of like get on top of them easier to deposit all of our things. All right, let's see what this house costs. This whole house costs 767 bucks. That is a cheap house. No, the cart? The cart, the cart is fine. The cart is doing well. All right, we'll drop this on the back of the truck right here. And this should be good. Good. And let's also grab the money, because we don't want to leave it here. Maybe some peasant will come I along and good, take all of our, the cash. our honestly gotten gains. Got some Hydrania coins right here. We could probably also buy like a bougie chair as well while we're here, maybe. Oh, we also need four of these foundations. I think would be a, a really good idea. A house without foundations is a house doomed to fail. So we'll get four of these. Huh? Oh, we already put the money in the back. Fortunately, we can actually see that in the back, which is pretty nice. Good. Whoop. Great. Right, let's drop this in the truck right here. There we go. And we'll grab this. If only there was kind of like a wider truck. Not, yeah, truck. If there was a wider truck, I would be very, very happy with everything that we can do in this game. There's not really a wider truck, unfortunately. Yep, there we go. A little acid reflux. A little free acid reflux. There you go, everybody. Who's been asking for a little acid reflux? Free? You got some free acid reflux right there. Lucky lucky. Hello there, sir. Let's get some bougie things. I'm thinking maybe we should get ourselves a plinth so that we can show off our first Clausium ore. We should get ourselves a deer trophy because I, I huh? like the idea of owning one. And this is capitalism. We'll get this throne as well that we can sit on for 15,000 buckery booze. What else can we get? Probably get a couple oh, of planter boxes. There's a fancy house. chair. Okay, this will be uh, the chair of anybody who wants to sit next to me. And we can get a fancy bed as well. Nice. Finally, we don't have to sleep on a camping bed anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Damn, that's expensive. Wow. Okay, that's really hit the pocket. 
Wait a minute, has this bed actually been purchased? Please? Uh -huh. Did it actually go through the till? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Alright, let's load up the truck by driving the truck in front of this place and loading up all of our goodies. Wonderful. And we'll put it here. Great! There's a little bit of nighttime hauling, but we are building a house out of all of this, so I think it's going to be worth it. Right. Uh -huh. uh, one right there. We can't see where that went, but we know it's there. One there. And we've got this bed as well that we put in the back of the truck. Good. the hell? Chair fell off. That sucks. Okay. We've damaged our very, very expensive $15,000 chair. That's not good. <laughs> it's probably not good for it. Uh, let's go ahead and get this here. Deer trophy. Everything else fits. Everything else fits on the back of here, except for this throne. Is that good? Okay, that's good. Let's grab our money, and we can build a house. Boop. I'll leave the money inside the foundations, in case anybody starts looking for our, our cash money. All right, uh, we'll come around here. We're actually getting a house. I can't believe this. We're actually getting a base of operations to call home. That is so nice. And we've got a, we've got a bed, too. We've got a nice bed. Don't know what we're going to do with the camping chair, though. Uh, we'll come all the way over here, and we'll just start construction. We'll have a wee sleep, and then we'll just start construction. Okay. Come around here, and back it up. Back it on up. Good. Probably maybe want to excavate all of this crap out as well, so we can kind of, like, see the automation at, at work as well. That might be kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to start placing these, because we kind of need them out of the way, so we can drop all of our building materials. Okay, good. Put that one there. And this one can go there, this one can go here, and I'll start sticking these ones kind of like at the edge over here. Maybe we can put a staircase uh, kind of leading up into that. Yep, very good. And one more right over here. Boop. There we go. So we'll have it kind of like a deck over, overlooking here, I think. And the deck will... I think the deck will just kind of like give us a nice view into all of this automation, I think. That'd be nice. It does kind of look like Mordor at this point, though, but... You know, it's better to live in the castle and look at the cave. Gotta be said. Uh, let's go get our building hammer, because we're going to need it in uh, massive frequency very soon. Right here. Let's also put that there. Good. I'll come over here. We'll knock and bing bong these straight down. Bing bong bing. And we are good. All right. Let's start building the house. We're going to need a lot of floors first. So let's get the cart out. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. That is a mess of uh, crap. We probably want the foundations first, right? Want to put the house on top of the foundations? Uh, we want it four by four, so this one can go there. And we'll get another one over here. We'll orient this one right here, even though it kind of looks a little strange. Right there, good. And we want another one on the other far corner. Over here, right there. Uh, maybe on this one, right there. And one more... Right there. Excellent. So we've got the foundations. We can start putting the floors on top of this place. Uh, right there. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, where are the floors? We didn't buy any floors. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't buy a single floor. We need 12 floors. <sighs> we can do that, actually. We can get 12 floors. Let's get our cart on the back of this truck right here. Huh? Huh? Okay, good. It's welded. And we'll go and get 12 floors. That uh, I can't believe I missed that. To be quite honest, that was a little bit silly. Maybe we'll buy a rug as well, if we can actually afford one. We should be able to afford one. We've got thousands of dollars in our back pocket. That old trusty lofty here won't let anybody steal our money. Okay, so we're coming all the way down here. And through here. And here we are at the housing market. Right here. Pretty good. Back that in. And I'll take this cart off, even though it's pretty full already. It's pretty laden. Looking for some uh, let's start looking at the floors. Get out. Uh, we'll start getting some of these wooden floors, I think. I don't think they're bougie, but... I mean, they'll do the trick, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve. So that's going to be the floor of the house. I'm going to get a couple of spears in case we kind of, like, want to make a mezzanine floor or something like that. Maybe we do want to make a mezzanine floor. I haven't decided yet. We'll get a few spare floors anyway. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and buy this with the money that we actually have in here. Good. We still have seven grand, which is pretty good. Excellent. Buy that. And we'll put this in the back of the car. Uh, while we're here... Oh, they are kind of like... Oh, we don't want the walls. 
Then we don't want all walls. We want window walls. Okay, let's get a few of these window walls. Right here. One. Two. I'll get like maybe six of them. And we'll see what we've got to work with. Uh, see if that's good enough. There's also some wooden pillars here, which we could probably actually just get as well. Might be really, really good. We could put them in the foundations. Five and six. Pretty sure this is going to be six. Six and one of them fell off. That should be good. Yep, good. Uh, I'll get four of these wooden pillars right here. I know it's going to be a little bit fiddly to find a place for them. We don't want that. We want this wooden pillar instead. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this because it's now blocking all of our vision. With the old Wilhelm scream. The old dirty Wilhelm scream. Go ahead and get this one. Whoops. Okay, wooden pole. Drop it! Dude, drop the wooden pole! What is blocking it? I can't see the card, actually. Okay. Huh? Okay, we'll put that there. Can we reach the... No, we can't. We'll get a th third one here. And one more. And we should be good with everything that we want. Excellent. This one fell off, I think. Good. I'm happy with this. Huh? Yep, we forgot to put our money in there. I think we actually put it back after we just bought the other stuff. Let's go ahead and stick that there. Bought. Nice. Drop that there. And now we want to get this cart onto the back of the truck. Z30, I believe every action movie should only have one Wilhelm scream. Any action movie with more than one is a bad movie. I fully agree with that. I think I think Wilhelm screams are a rule and not kind of like a suggestion. But I definitely think that uh, less is more <laughs> when it comes to action. Unless it's John Wick, in case, in which case, give me all of the headshots you can possibly muster. Get the CGI team to get all of the headshots. Hell, give me a couple of double headshots. Why not? Give me that triple headshot from uh, from Nobody. That was a really good one. Okay, now we've got all of the stuff we actually need. We probably need some more wooden poles, to be quite honest, to come out of these foundations, to be quite honest. But we don't really have the luxury of going back there for now. All right, where are the floors at? That's probably a floor. Let's put one of these floors right here, sideways. Let's get a sideways... Uh, why won't it turn sideways? Oh, it's probably a wall, actually. Uh, so where are the floors? That's a wall. These are probably the floors right here. So let's knock this sideways. Nope, two sideways. Good. I'll stick this above the foundations, and we'll use those wooden pillars to kind of, like, jack it up a bit. I think that's going to be a good idea. All right, one there. We'll need a couple of floors out here. One there. And one over here. Good. And one more. All the way over here. I know it's a little bit weird that we're kind of building it uh, away from the piles initially, but we will kind of get around to that eventually. Good one there. I'm not putting them on top of the concrete because it, it tends to clip. The objects tend to clip, and we don't want that whatsoever. Uh, we need more floors. Right there. There's one. Good. And one here. Epic Flying Horse. Hey, yo, Epic Flying Horse. How are we doing? How are we doing today? I'm playing a nice, relaxing game, and believe it or not, I've been able to do what you were just able to do. I've, I've bought a house, although I've, it's only in a video game and I also have to build it myself, so a little bit of a shame. But at least I have one. At least I have a house. Awesome. Uh, I think I've kicked off a bunch of people to binge this game with me. It's so much fun. If you haven't played it, this is Hydroneer. It's, it's so good. It's kind of like a, a logic puzzle game. What the hell have I done here? Nothing. I think... No, it's definitely good. Z30. God, I wish I could afford a house. Yeah, buddy. If you're flying a horse, hey, video game house counts. Yeah, it still counts sometimes. Z30, saving up for a wedding is stressful enough. Yes, it is. Okay, here's a question. Would you rather have a wife or a house? I say to Chad, who literally own together a wife and a house. Well, I suppose you don't own a wife these days. You, you probably would in the old days, but not so much now. Uh, we kind of want to plan out where the windows go too, don't we? We probably want these corners to be wooden walled. We'll put one here and one here. And we'll have a nice window sticking out there. Uh, that's a roofing part. We don't want that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Don't want that one either. Here we go. Here's a window. We'll stick this one kind of over here to overlook the, the river, I suppose. Right here. Very cash money. Housewife. <laughs> that is exactly what I expected both of you to individually say, by the way. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll stick another window here. Just kind of really touch up the, uh, the homeliness of this place. We're going to stick a window right here. And the reason for that is we're going to stick a door right here with a staircase leading up to it. 
Maybe we'll stick a window facing into the side over here. Right there. Good. And let's stick another one over here. So we can kind of like overlook all of the, the nice little watsits all over the place. And I think we're also going to stick another window up top to kind of replace the, the walls. So that it doesn't look like a barn, so to speak. Put one there. And we've got another wall that we're going to stick. Probably not where we need to access the building materials. We'll just keep on going. Should be fine. And one more, and we're good. Uh, Epic Flying Horse, you have kind of come in at a bit of a cursed stream. My chat has broken. Usually I have chat right up there in the left-hand corner. It's broken, but I have been able to sign into my Streamlabs OBS, which is probably the worst trade-off possible. I would I would gladly trade it back, which I probably will do for the next stream. Uh, right here. Is that the other side? Yeah, that's the right side, definitely. And probably want a wall just to go here. Here, and we'll keep this open right here just in case we actually need to access anything else. So I'll put a wall there. We've got a few too many walls now. Uh, let's go ahead and put that timber pile right on the side of the house there. We're going to need some more piles, I think, to kind of really touch off the, the structure of this place. Oops. I think we may have cocked up, cocked up this one. Where is that facing? No, that's facing exactly where we want it. Is it? No, it's not, actually. We want it here, and then we want it on the outside, I think. Yeah, that's good. Or maybe we want it on the inside. Let's do it uh, in line with the piles, I think would be a, a good idea. So we'll put this inside, right there. Very good. Excellent. Happy Flying Horse, that's okay. This is funny enough. The first stream I've been able to chat in for years. No way. Oh, of mine. That random chat blocker has appeared no more. That is so strange. Also, YouTube has uh, put my chat back to subscribers only mode without my consent. It is so weird the way YouTube has its kind of like chat setting set up. Uh, we'll take this pile and we'll set it into the center of the house in the corner right there for a, for a nice little aesthetic touch. And this one can go right here. Excellent. Wonderful. And this one can go over here. Very cash money. Now it actually looks like a house. Uh, we still don't really want to close this off. I'm going to stick this building material all the way over here because we don't want it. Uh, let's go ahead and start sticking the roof up. So which way is this? That is going on this side right here. Excellent. And we want this one probably on the opposite side right there. Very good. Uh, where is the rest of them? One right here. We'll put that one here. Good. And one more. Uh, I didn't even have to pixel hunt for that one. I just found it immediately. Oh, we did get the wrong side again. God damn it. Okay, we'll drop that over on the floor right there. We'll have to return some of these items, I think. We'll have to return them. We, we'll just have to. Now, I am a builder. Well, was a builder for a number of years. So I am going to kind of structure this so that it's... Got the roof overlapping by a block right there. That is called an eave. And they are very, very nice looking. Put that one there. Actually, again, want that one overlapping by a, a block. Now we're going to put the uh, the peak right here. Right on top of there. Free crash money. Very, very good. And this is basically going to be a facade until we uh, get the roof back on, unfortunately. So let's get that on right now so we don't get rained on or anything like that. We also forgot to get lighting. That was a little bit silly of us. We forgot lighting. And yes, chat, you are taking 50% of the blame for that as well. Congratulations. That's called accountability. Wonderful. Okay, well, we'll get the other little bits of this roof on right here. That doesn't look right. I think that's way too far out. Let's go ahead and bring that in a little bit. And we'll put that there. Very good. And we'll put another one right next to it. Right there. Z30, oh, by the way, Epic Flying Horse, the ensign was talking about doing Lethal Company again and invited me along as, as well. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Epic Flying Horse, this is the guy I've been doing the Ready or Not series with on YouTube. He is also very funny, or at least willing to do a bit at the expense of uh, a little bit of pride, which I definitely think is the hallmark of a YouTuber, you know, having no, no pride whatsoever. Uh, let's stick this one a little bit further in. So yeah, I was thinking maybe we could get like three player uh, Lethal Company going. That'd be so cool, especially with all the new updates that we have completely missed. The game is, I kid you not, tripled in size, Lethal Company. Right, we've almost got the uh, the whole roof on. We are literally just missing one more roof piece right here. Very cash money. We didn't even need 20% bolting, bulking. We actually had all of the parts we needed for the roof for once. Excellent. C30, lol, you can't blame me for your memory issues. That's trauma's issues. Yeah, it is. It is. Physical trauma. Not, non, non, uh... Non-traumatic impact to the brain. I'll, I'll I'll specify that in case anybody thinks I've got massive PTSD and stuff. More lethal company? I'm in. Okay, fantastic. Excellent. Because uh, there's also a heap of mods that I kind of want to test out as well. 
Right, we'll stick that up there. I think that's backwards. It is backwards. Okay. Uh, we'll put that up in there, and then we'll probably move these walls we aren't going to use, honestly. We probably got way too many walls. Let's face it. Way too many walls. We are going to want to return these walls and probably also throw them in a bin somewhere. Huh? Okay, let's not bury our first ever earned Clautium down here. We're definitely going to keep that inside the house as kind of like a reminder of our humble beginnings. Whoops. No! Oh my god, if that fell on the sorting system, I would have been so pissed. Okay, good. And let's drop it in here, just so we don't lose it. And I'm actually going to take one of these walls I said we didn't need, and we'll stick it on this side right here. Boom! Very cash money. Z30, one mod we must have is the gambling mod. Yeah, that one's been recommended by uh, Z30, who made that same comment. Well, there you go. Full circle. Uh, it just auto-saved. Wonderful. Again, so many walls we don't want. These are floors. We could probably actually just pad out the floors a little bit. How, what are they oriented at? Okay, it's got uh, the bottom bit facing outwards. Stick this maybe right here. We could probably make a, a nice little deck on two sides of the house, maybe. Uh, let's stick that there, and we'll get another one just over here. We could probably even think about getting ourselves a door on this side of the house, too. Just so we can kind of access this deck and maybe have a have our meth breaks on the outside of the decks right there. Okay, we definitely want a deck on, on the outside here, though. Like, almost guarantee it, we want a deck here. Okay, I'll put that there and there. Let's go ahead and stick this wall nowhere. We don't want this anywhere. What is that? A wall? That's a wall. Yuck. So we need a few more floors, and I'm actually going to take these stairs right here, and we're going to give some ease of access to our, our sorting facility right here. So if I put this maybe there. Oh, that's so much easier. Good grief, that's so much easier. Let's drop that in there. Uh, what's that looking at? It's not actually used that many spanners. We can probably go and check out our Clautium to see how much it's generated by this point. Uh, also, let's take this here staircase. We'll actually stick it right here, I think. And we're going to stick another kind of like concrete pad down here so that we have somewhere to walk on. We're going to make a big workshop down here and we're just going to observe the kind of area that we've already set out to be the automation zone. Epic Flying Horse, I'm down. I forget the mods we added, but we must keep the Skinwalker one. That was creepy. It was really, really creepy, wasn't it? Uh, we're going to probably keep all the mods that we already have if they haven't broken. The Mimic one... Oh, the Mimic one actually, uh, that shot my channel up to uh, stardom. It got 110,000 views, which is pretty insane by my standards. I know that you, Epic Flying Horse, with your 65,000 subscribers, are used to just getting 100,000 views every video that you put out. But me, the little guy, that makes a difference. It makes a real difference. And it got me basically half of my current subscriber count. <laughs> I'll never forget that. that. That keeps me humble. All right, where's that construction hammer gone? Because we actually really need it now. Uh, let's go ahead and do a sleep. Actually, let's get our bed, and we'll sleep in a bed for once instead of sleeping in a in a dirty camping chair. Uh, let's stick this. Put it over here, maybe in the corner right here. I want to butt it into the wall, but I know it clips in. Ah, that's fine. Oops. Okay, we're sleeping. That's nice. I like that. Z30, don't forget the plugs to up the pressure. That is a really good shout. They also only cost about five bucks each. It's going to be a nice deck. Maybe we should overhang the roof over the rest of this deck as well with kind of... No, that's just going to cover our vision, isn't it? Okay, I've got a plan for this kind of like this exterior zone that we've got here. I'm actually also going to take this door. We'll put it right here instead. And then we'll keep both of these as windows, I think. If we've got another spear window wall, we'll stick it there. Which I don't think we do. Which is a little unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and stick this on the other side of the sorting system. So that we, again, have a little bit of ease of access. Actually, no, let's stick this, like, right here. Because this is where we kind of need to cross over most points, right? Most times. So let's put that there so we can just cross over this without kind of, like, faffing around a little bit. Epic Flying Horse, bro, 100k is wild. Z30, you humble, never. <laughs> I do have a lot of arrogance. I am quite aware of it. But I think it just adds to my dickhead charm. Which I feel is kind of attracting people to my channel now, which is very strange. Uh, let's go ahead and secure everything that we've already built here. Boom, boom, boom. This place becomes our tomb. We'll spend the nights together. Uh, hopefully not forever, because we're probably going to buy another land parcel. And we don't really want to stay here for too long. All right, I'm going to... Knock all these in place. Get all these roofs as well. And that should be everything but the pole. Good. 
Let's do all the walls first, and then we'll do the roof, I think would be a really good idea. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. Oh, we've done all that. Good, and we've done all that. Excellent. Uh, we need to do that. Oh, we still need an another two window pieces to go up top here. And we should be clear. Should be absolutely clear. I'm just going to keep my auto clicker on. <laughs> I don't know what I've already secured. Uh, these I haven't secured. Good. And anything over here? Yes, this pole. Whoops. I think I just unstuck it as well accidentally. Uh, the floors. We haven't done the floors. We've got to do the floors. Always do the floors. Don't want to pick up a floor accidentally. Good, good, good. Maybe we do put a door here. To the deck. Just so we can come out and immediately see our productive enterprise. Hard to tell. C30, somebody like me who isn't afraid to speak their mind. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those guys. But I also have to withhold a lot of my thoughts for YouTube because my thoughts are usually a place of, of cursing and uh, just violent tendencies as well. Like, my god, I wanted to punch my screen so hard the third time this Hydroneer uh, game bugged out real bad. That was a nasty, nasty one. We basically had this entire setup within four hours with the house. With the house in the corner here. And then the the, uh, the game just bugged out. Oh, that was so, so angering. Uh, let's stick this right next to our bed. Right here, right there. We'll do that. And we'll put this Cloutium on the podium right here. Huh? Our first ever Cloutium that we ever mined right there. Wonderful. Boop. Can we... No, we can't. We can't build the Cloutium in place. That's our first ever Cloutium, by the way. That's our first ever rare ore. And I'm pretty sure it's also the first ever ore that we had spit out of a machine. Pretty crazy. All right, so we're missing a door. We're missing a single door. We're missing a bunch of lighting. We're missing missing a left-leaning angle. And we're also missing another window. So door, window, left angle. Door, window, left angle. And a bunch of flooring, I think, would also be good to go a long way. Uh, we'll get this wall out of our cart. We'll drop that on the ground right there. Let's put this bad boy back in here. Uh, I think we'll get all the furniture off as well before we kind of like commit to going into town. Like this $15,000 throne that we probably aren't ever actually going to use. Let's just stick it in here. In fact, no. I'm going to stick this on the deck so we can just like watch our stuff. Yeah, we can't actually sit on that, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Z30 and lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get the lights as well. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, we'll also get the, uh, the Queen's chair. We'll pop that right there so that maybe if we find a biddy of some sort in this game, we can kind of sit with them and just kind of... This is a mess. This is a disgusting mess. Oh my god, why would anyone want to look at this? Oh, oh the money. The money, that's why. That's why. That's how much money we've got right here. We've probably got a lot of money. We've still got almost 20 grand, by the way. All right, how much is this? Everyone place your bets. It's probably going to be a big one. I can't wait. 66,000 bucks. That is actually insane. Like last time I said it was insane when we just accidentally stumbled upon 30k, but 60,000 is just, it's ridiculous. I'm speech. I'm literally speechless. So we basically automated money out of the game. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else that we can do with money other than, you know, building all of these tier two pipes into our next automation sequence. Which is just going to generate us more money. To get us more Clasium. Okay, we do need a lot of the tier 3 ores. So that we can start farming uh, Ice Helm. Pretty frequently too. Alright. Let's get this bad boy into the furniture location. Not the fancy one. Not the fancy pants one. We'll just come over here. Alright. Uh, so we need a left leaning angle. We need this right here. Boop. Put that in the car. Yeah, good, it didn't fall over. We probably don't need a bunch of windows, but it would be cool if we could kind of like make a floor out of windows so that we could overlook all of our productive enterprise from above. That would be awesome, actually. Uh, I'm going to get four more of these wooden roofs because of the plan that I'm going to make. One there and one here. This is for the deck. One there and one there. We only need five. We need five. We need five, actually. We want the angles to overhang, don't we? Five, right there. Should be good to go. Actually, we're also going to get another two of these so that we can uh, push out over the exterior deck as well. And we're also going to get a wooden peak right here. Now, we also, before we forget, we need a window and we need a door. One window right here and one door. 
the hell are the doors? Are they over here? Yep, there they are. One door. Excellent. Boop. Don't fall out. Excellent. Right, now that we have that, we are going to purchase all of this crap for a... Free, apparently. Apparently we own it all. What? Seriously? No shot we own all of that. There is no way. Okay, we got seven grand. We can more than afford this. What the hell? Why? Seriously? Is it like not in the... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we can hit it. I'm also going to go forward a little bit and just make sure that it's actually on the podium. We got everything, right? Yeah, we definitely got everything. If we hear a Wilhelm scream, we know if we... Okay, good. I didn't want to have to take inventory and figure out what we don't own. Oh, we've also got that severed deer's head. That's nice. That'll be, that'll be a nice bougie thing we can put in our home as well. Floors! Oh my days! I can't believe I actually just forgot floors. We need another three, I think. We need another three floors, and we're probably actually going to want some half walls too. Three floors. Where are they? Uh, these are the floors? No, those are windows. We got a window. Where are the floors at? Wooden walls, pallets, no, none of that crap. There we go. Wooden floors. Uh, one, two, and three of these bad boys. And we're also going to need a bunch of these kind of like wooden wall halves as well. So I'm going to dump a bunch of these into the cart right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got enough, but I also may have gotten one spear Take for what we need it for. We're also going to need another one of these here staircases and probably another mm -hmm. bunch of those concrete pads, I think. Okay, drop that there. Excellent. And we'll put this closer to the concrete pads. Well, every curse that we have done has been so... Sorry, every run that we have done has been so cursed in comparison to this one. Okay, we actually want to be on the cart so we can just dump all these things into the cart. Come on. <laughs> Cooperate, please. Okay, good. We'll drop that right there. I uh, hope you don't man mind, man, but you're going to get one hell of a payday. Not as much of a payday as I am, but, you know, biggest can't be choosers. One, two... I'll get a bunch of these, actually. Three, four... Whoops, don't want that one. Yuck. Yucky, yucky, don't want that. Yucky, don't yucky. Better, yucky alert. One, two, mm -hmm. and three. And I've already lost count of how many of these concrete floors we have. We're going to need a bunch of them, though. We're actually going to need a bunch of them because we kind of want to fill out our workshop at Ember Cradle. We basically don't ever want to go back there again. We just want, like, a nice atmosphere to collect resources at. And it should be good to go. Maybe we could also consider the possibility of getting a gem sorter set up there. But again, I don't really think that we'll ever need gems from that place. Okay, we've got enough money and lights. That's right. Thank you, uh, chat. I actually forgot. Where are they? Wall lanterns. We'll get like four of these, I think. One. And two of these bad boys. And three. We'll get four in the house. That should be enough. We'll put one in each corner. And we'll also get some of those standing torches for the for the deck outside. Like one on each corner, maybe. One and two. And three. And maybe a couple for the sorting system as well. So we can actually see what we're looking at. One. Two. And three. Okay, that should be good. 1600 bucks, I'll take it. That's fine. That is an Don't acceptable trade. I can more than afford that, by the way. That is so much money. That is, we, have so, we haven't even sold our other jewellery. Okay, let's get in here. And then we'll go back for our money. Although we don't even need to. Hello there, sir. This guy wants a 15 kilogram emerald. Good grief, my dude. Give me an ore. Give me an ore order. Or something like that. And I'll fulfill it literally within the day. Oh, we uh, dropped one of the, uh, the torches right there, too. So we'll take this money over to Lofty over here. We'll drop that in the back. We will get in the truck. And we'll kind of back it up and jackknife it so we're facing the right way. And we'll also go and pick up that wall sconce that we uh, just kind of left on the ground over here. There we go. Wonderful. Perfect. Perfect. And hope we don't leave it behind when we drive off. No, we did not. This is a mess. The back of the truck is an absolute mess. Good grief. I do not like looking at that. That is not aesthetic. It puts the ass in aesthetic, I'd say. All right, let's punch it forward. And we'll punch it all the way home. We've already done the uh, goal for this, this stream, by the way, which is build a house. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Okay, uh, we'll drop that 
off and then we'll get the cart off of our back right there and we should be pretty good uh we'll move the cart a little bit closer so we can actually access everything from the deck up here and now we probably want to start filling out all of these spear bits and bobs so that's good right there Gonna get another one down here excellent and another one here probably could have got a few more of those wooden pillars as well but we didn't it's fine get this bed out of the way we don't need it there we'll get this concrete slab here and also don't need this outtake pipe uh -huh. anymore we probably need to scrap a bunch of the stuff that we own like this map we don't even need that anymore pretty crazy uh so we'll stick that down and this one can go here and this one can go here and we'll basically build this all the way out to the end over here just to really uh, tell mother nature that we've we've pissed on her grave good and one here excellent so we're gonna have no problem getting home if we ever need to wonderful now we probably want to build out sideways too i'm going to uh, go ahead and get the cart on the flooring right here i have to pixel hunt for it though right there good and we'll drop that there excellent so let's go ahead and put the other door where i want to put it which is about here on this side good right there and we'll kind of leave it closed for now just for aesthetics purpose We've got a window. We want to block this up into this area here. We've got a sideways roof panel right here that we also want to knock up here. Why the hell is it upside down? What? <laughs> Game, come on. All right, let's stick that there. The interior is more or less fixed. Uh, anything else that we need to kind of like hammer in place? This door, very good. No, that's it. All right, let's start putting some uh, lights in here if we can afford it. Uh, I'm going to put this peak right here, this peak roof, kind of up here to overhang this deck that i'm also planning out uh this one this roof piece can go right there this roofing piece can go right th did i put that in the right place i don't think i did no i didn't i actually didn't put that in the right place that was the wrong place all right let's go here and put this on this side right over here so that anyone climbing our deck never gets wet wonderful we are definitely social engineers hopefully we can get somebody stuck on this geometry now, this is going to be kind of weird looking initially, but I'm thinking if we put these here at an angle, we'll have a really, really good view to all of the automation. And we should also be able to uh, kind of overhang all of this area here as well. Right, let's stick that button up against there. This one can go right here. This one can go right here. I hope this is going to be the right length. I may have butted uh, two items into themselves. No, I definitely didn't. One there, and that's it. Good. Now we want to extend this deck out a little bit. Where is the wood orienting? It is orienting sideways like that. And we want to knock it in sequence here so we don't fall off of the um, the deck every time we open that door. That would be really embarrassing, especially if a potential mate was looking at us fall off and into the conveyor belt and then watch us get processed into some kind of ore. That would suck. That would actually be the worst case scenario. Drop that on the ground. We'll grab this here wall and we will jump in. Jam that over there. Good. And we'll start kind of butting out underneath down here, I think. Good. One there. And we'll stick another one further out here. Excellent. Maybe we should stick a staircase basically coming into this bridge right here. But I'm not sure it would really be necessary. I'll see if we have a spare staircase just to, just to spend on it. But we may not need to. I think this is good enough, actually. If we can just jump off the edge of the deck there. Might be fine. Might actually be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and extend this out. Grab that there. Put this here. We didn't get anywhere near enough blocks as well. Whoops. That's clumsy. So I wanted these half walls to kind of like stop us from falling off of the edge here. The edge of the deck. One there. One here. I got one fewer than I thought I would need because of the staircase right here. And we may butt into the, temporarily, the edge of this one here. And, and one right here. Good. And one more, just over here. We'll turn this bad boy to face us. Wonderful. So it's nice and crisp from the exterior. Uh, we'll stick this one right here. And we'll stick this one right here. And we need another one. Oh, we're one short. No! No! Oh, that sucks. Actually, we do have the staircase here. So we could probably actually mm -hmm. replace this one here with the staircase and still be completely neutral when it comes to building materials okay uh let's put this like down here wonderful i like this i like this we're gonna get a bunch of oh poos 
Oh no. Okay, we actually want this extending kind of over this one here. And we want to get some wooden poles to kind of like jut up into this bad boy right here too. Good. Uh, let's move this one over next. Right there. This one can go over. I think we're missing one roof to kind of really make it button. How much have we got? Yeah, we're missing one roof. Okay, so that's fine. We can get another one of those. We'll go ahead and get ourselves some outdoor lighting. Uh, actually... I didn't realize that this goes right in the middle of everything. It's a little bit annoying. We'll put that one right there, and of course we'll light it as well. This one as well can kind of go somewhere, I suppose. Maybe here. And we'll get another one right at the end of this deck over here. Uh, maybe down... I'm going to have it kind of like float on nothing, because we want to put a concrete pad right under that. Turn that on. And that's on good. Okay, these other ones are going to go either inside or over in the sorting system, so we can actually see what the hell we're doing. Um, the hell? Why won't it? Why won't it snap onto the wall? That's weird. Uh, please. I beg you. Why would why would you not be able to put this inside of your house? That makes absolutely no sense. What? That better not show the uh, sons on the other side. No, it doesn't. Okay. So we can actually do that. That's fine. Let's grab an... Well, we can grab the whole cart. That's fine, too. Uh, we'll grab another one of these bad boys, and we'll chuck them inside here. Right there. Please. Cooperate. Okay. Please. I beg you. All right, good. One right there. We'll turn it on. We'll get the other two. We'll stick them inside so we can see what we're doing at night time. Wonderful. And one right Maybe into the butt right. Maybe not right in the corner, but right next to the corner would be a really good idea. Okay, I don't know how the snapping is working in this game, but it's so fiddly. Uh, let's grab the last one, and we will stick it inside. Right here. Right there. Good. Turn that on. Turn that on. And we are fully illuminated. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and secure everything that we've already put in here, like that and that. And that, and also that one there. So, not a lot else in here that we can secure, actually. I think I think we've done it all. Let's try and secure all of this crap over here that we've kind of already placed. All of these roofs. Good. And we need one more roof. We need one more roof. We need one more roof. We need to go back to the store. We need one more roof. Secure all these floors that I haven't already secured. Good. Staircase? Good. Uh, we'll do all of the concrete pads that we also haven't secured. Might be a good idea. One here, and one here, and one there. Good, and one there. And we also forgot to secure all of these chairs. Actually, we probably don't want to secure these chairs just yet. We could probably move them around. Actually, no, let's not. We'll keep them where they are. Just so we can overlook all of our, all of our wealth. Alright, wonderful. So we need uh, one roof, and we also need some beams. We need some wooden beams to go up from this deck. We're going to need a bunch of beams, actually. Probably need about... Probably need... One, two, eight. Probably need eight beams. And if we can, we'll also try and get some beams on the bottom of the house, because it's kind of floating as well. So let's try and get eight long beams and four short beams, I think would be the, the way to go. And an angled roof. So, can't forget. Can't forget this one. Eight long beams, four short beams, and an angled roof. And then we've completely finished the house. Probably going to need a bunch more concrete pads as well, though. Let's face it. Going to need a bunch more concrete pads. Okay. Yeah, coming down here. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm stuck. That's fine. We're going back to town. Maybe once we've done this, we could probably actually go and check out the DLC zone, right? Or maybe we want to go and absolutely nail one of the other areas. Okay, we want to go to the housing market, which is just over here. Gonna try and jackknife this around so we can make a quick escape if we maybe don't want to pay. Because, you know, not paying for something sometimes is probably ideal in an RPG setting. Maybe not real life, but definitely in an RPG I setting. Got the goods if you got the cash. Right, let's get ourselves one angled roof right here. Boop. And it didn't fit. Good. Put that right there. Nope. Also didn't fit. Maybe right here. There we go. Done it. Now we need a bunch of beams. So let's get on top of this bad boy. We need eight of these ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, 
and eight. And we also need uh, four of these short pillars right here to act as the foundations for the house. Right there, good. All right, loop up. Oh, didn't want to pick that up. Wanted to uh, use the cart, actually. I appreciate your enthusiasm, though, game. Good, uh, let's go ahead and hit this button. After we get our money in here. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. Boop. There we go. Excellent. We'll put this in the back seat, and we will stick the cart in the back of the truck. Then we're good to go. We'll probably want to place the last sconce and also deer's head, too. Maybe somewhere we actually want to. As opposed to somewhere we don't. Maybe. Might be a good idea. Might be a really good idea. Okay. Still coming up. And up and up and up and up and up and around. Uh, I also have to be a little bit conscious of the time. Because I'm supposed to be driving my girlfriend to an appointment uh, later. So I'm going to be a bit more diligent with the time from now on, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and stick these beams and a roof in. This one right here can probably go first. Good. Oh, we actually need some half beams to go on top of here. Or some full beams. I don't know. No, we definitely need some half beams to go there. Right. And we'll come over here. We'll stick this right in the corner. Good. What time do you need to go? I, I'll keep track. I need to go at around about four. Four o'clock, New Zealand time. Uh, we don't actually want that on the outside. We want that on the inside. Here we go. Good. And we'll stick this here on the outside. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, by the way. I can't miss it. <laughs> I can't miss my uh, my girlfriend's appointment. Okay, we'll stick this one in behind the house. This might actually act as a foundation as well, which could be very cash money. Uh, no, it does not. No, we are not using that one as a foundation. At all, whatsoever. We need some halves, actually, to stick that one up there. And also... Uh, you know what? Actually, this one can go here. That looks nice. I like that. Good. And this one here, we are probably also not going to put this one anywhere other than... Maybe in this corner here. No, we need a half of that. And there is actually a beam right there already, I think. So we need a half beam on that. Alright, so what's this one sitting on? Probably over here then, actually. On the other side of this deck. Jump up and over here. Maybe have it butting inwards, like so. Okay, that's good. We're going to need a few more halves than I thought, though, to be honest. Although, we've actually got some more tall ones. So we could probably just use those. Okay, uh, let's butt this in like this. And we'll also... That doesn't fit. Uh, let's go ahead and duck. So we can kind of, like, orient this to be on the foundation right there. Very good. And... Maybe we should move it outwards. No, we definitely don't want to move it outwards because the center of the mass of the house is on that foundation right there. Uh, this one can go right here, like so. And we need another one over here. We'll get this one on this corner of the house because it looks really weird. <laughs> Good. One more. One more tiny little short one. And we're probably going to need a few more tiny little short ones by the end. Because we also don't want this roof floating anywhere. Okay, good. And we'll stick that there. Wonderful. Okay, we'll hammer that one in to secure our position as it... You know what? I've actually got a better idea. Let's get the hammer. We will unstick the beam here. And we'll also unstick this beam right here, which we already have done. Let's go ahead, take this beam, and we'll stick it up one lift higher. There. No. We'll put it on the outside here. Good. And let's grab this tall one. And we'll butt it to the bottom of this. Like so. Yep, that looks good, actually. That's really, really nice. We still need a half to go down here, but I think it, it, it does look nice. Uh, this one, this beam can go up here. Like so. So the roof is uh, kind of butting into it. And this one here can go there. I think I screwed it up a little bit. Go ahead and turn it around so it's facing inwards, and we'll go one square ahead. Yes, I think this is the way. Alright, a little bit ugly. A little bit ugly. Let's actually go ahead and stick it one block outwards. Like that. Yeah, we're going to need a couple of halves, I think. But the roof does not look so hideous anymore. It just doesn't look hideous anymore. Uh, yeah, we need a bunch more halves. So we'll need a half on here, and we'll also need a half on there, so that's two already. And here, and at the other end, we'll need four halves. 
Need a fifth half there. I think we need five halves, and that's about it. And we've got slightly too many of these talls. No, we don't. We'll, we'll just put one of these tall ones out on the exterior of this deck right here, too. Right there, I think. Good, so we need six halves. I think that's going to be the way. Six halves. Okay, we'll get those. We'll go and get those. Six halves. We only need six halves, and then we are done with the building. I know we say we keep... I know we keep saying we are done with the money, but uh, it seems as though we're actually perfectly capable of building a house in a series of builds, more so than in one go. This is just how building goes, though, by the way. You, there's a thing in building that I learned in my time in half a decade in construction uh, called bulking, where when you're ordering, ordering materials, you want to order about 10 to 20% more lengths than you actually are ordering because some of them will either break or some of them will arrive faulty. And you definitely want to use the best materials when you are building something because the materials you use uh, always reflect on who you are as a tradesman and whether or not you kind of like half-ass things, I suppose. Okay, we're back here. We'll get six more of those halves and then we should be absolutely cash money. Thanks for your business. Uh, no worries, lady. All right, one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and that's it. That's all we need. Boop. There we go. Uh, we'll get some money over here so we can actually buy this bad boy. 18 bucks. Wow, that is a steal. That is an absolute steal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this here cart and load it onto the back of the cart. I'm thinking Milf's Aquifer. We might want to give Milf's Aquifer a, another go because we can already dig all the way to the bottom with tier 2 items. And we can already buy a lot of tier 2 piping. Which we can line into all of the machines above on the top floor while we wait for, wait for some Clautium. We can just get lots and lots and lots of machines on that top floor as well in the Milf's Aquifer. And as soon as we get tier 2 machines, we'll go down a level. And then I think we'll begin the kind of... the run for the tier 3 materials, which we'll almost exclusively use at Ice Helm, I think. Which is kind of that place that we keep going to... to craft a bunch of crap. Alright, we want to stick this one in next. Right down here. Uh, where does it want to go? Probably on this end here. Very good. Uh, we need another half on this side too, around all these walls. And we will turn it so it's about here. Yep, good there. Oh, uh, four is when you finish work? Excellent. Thank you, Z. F thank you very much. Uh, we'll put one right here as well. And we need another half. I know it looks a little bit fiddly with the half kind of like at the top, but it could be a lot worse. Believe me, it could be a lot worse. I've played a bit of Elheim. I know when things could look significantly worse than they actually are. Here we go. And we probably also want a couple of lifts going down on the outside here too. Ah, maybe we don't have enough. Maybe we actually need to make another trip. I'm a bit of a perfectionist too. Uh, we need a full right there, actually. That needs to be a full. So we're actually going to drop that one and take the full that we already have. The one excess that we have and we will put this down there wonderful butting into the ground okay and we also need another lift and a bit to get on the outside of this deck right here which may be a little bit annoying but i think we'll cross that bridge when we come to it honestly okay everything seems to be more or less in place gotta be said we could also get a couple of half walls and just kind of like expand all the way out there to block it off make it a little bit more waterproof or, maybe these will fit. They do actually, these do fit. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll get all of these walls right up here. Actually, let's shape them so that the uh, nice side is facing us. Because we won't be able to see it if we just kind of use it as a facade. Good. And one up here, nice. And one more over here. Block off this view to the roof, which we don't really need. Excellent, and one over here. Good. It doesn't really play well with the walls that we already have placed, but it's good enough. It's good enough for what we need it for. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, let's uh, hammer this all in place, and we'll take a look at our long, long string of hard work. Good. I'm happy with all of this. And we pr we'll probably use a beam there, too, to be quite honest, but I'm not too worried about those very, very particular little places. Put all this down here, and all of this up here. We did all these walls, wonderful, and we just need these beams, I think. Good, beam there is done, this beam is done. This beam here is done, almost just hit that uh, corner roof that we don't even want here. Let's go ahead and 
bunts that one in too. Probably also use a corner on this corner right over here. Let's do that. Never hurts to have too many beams. That's the thing. There's never so much as too many beams. All right, we got another half a lift. I'm not sure where we would put this necessarily, but we'll find a place. Maybe over here? No, because we still need a, a full lift for this bit right here. Maybe it's a spear. We'll just keep it over here as kind of like a spear item, I suppose. Good. So, we're done. Let's take a look at this house that we've just built. Uh, you know what? It's cozy. It's nice and cozy. I like the deck roof. I do like the deck roof. We, if there were like kind of half lifts, we could probably put a half a roof on there and just kind of bump it into here. But it doesn't seem like that's actually possible because there are no half roofs in the game, unfortunately. Okay, we've made a house. We have built a big monstrosity of a house, to be quite honest. And now we could probably do with uncovering all of this automation so that we can actually see it. I think that's going to be the next big step because we're not really going to be doing anything else. Oh, we also have this deer statue too. Let's go ahead and place that in the house so that we have a little bit more wealth to kind of spread around. Right, here we go. Kind of sad that I have to jump up those platforms right there. Uh... I don't know why this isn't too wide. This isn't two blocks wide. Oh god, we can only stick it like halfway into the wall. This was not designed well. Like, this was not designed well. Oh, that is hideous. What if we stick it on the outside? Would that work? Yes, apparently. Okay, can't stick that there, but I can stick it here. That's nice. Put a nice dead animal on the front of our house to scare off any potential animals from uh, rummaging through our trash. I've lost the construction hammer. Is it back here? No. Oh, poos. <laughs> I've lost the construction hammer. It's gone. Is it inside? Nope. Okay. That's not good. Ah, is that it? No, that's the cart. There it is. Right there. Okay. We will lock this into place. Very good. And there was also a concrete pad. A series of... Actually, we don't want these in place at all. These are upside down. What are we talking about? We want the, uh, the kind of like... We want the notches facing upwards. Because we want to be able to use them to gauge distance. That's the whole point of putting these concrete pads down. Uh, let's lock all of these in. And they're good. Excellent. Wonderful. So we kind of want to make a bit of a workshop over here eventually. But I don't really think it's necessary. I think that honestly our best bet is just to kind of pad out the area. So it's really, really easy to come over here, grab a bunch of crap and then leave. Uh, one of these is a tier 2 thing. Actually, two of these are tier 2. So we can put that over here, and we'll grab that and put that over here. We've got a lot of gems in this bucket, by the way. We've got more gems in this... We've got a lot of gems coming, actually. We've got a lot of gems in this bucket. We're probably going to need a gem sorting system. Gonna? Oh, God, I come here a bit late. Have you constructed a multi-million dollar Californian home? Yes! Yes, I have! This creepy cabin in the woods with this uh, dead deer's head on the side of it is a multi-million dollar Californian home. Uh, but we can actually afford to do so because we have so much money that it's just hard to spend at this point. It's actually hard to spend at the rate we're making it at. I'm going to maybe create kind of like a landfill over there with all of this crap that we aren't ever going to use again. Put it all over here. Uh, in the back of the car, we have a single ingot that is valued at 66,000 buckery boos. And I'm about to consolidate it into the rest of this gold right here. It just won't stop coming. The gold literally will not stop coming. I'm going to pour it. We'll see how heavy it is. Everyone place your bets. If you guessed 112,000 buckery booze, congratulations. You nailed it. Gunner, close to a water source, plus 50 millions to the place. It, uh, yeah, it's only 15 million because it's got a dead deer's head on it as well. We also have set up an entire um, automation station for repairing all of these water filters, which are taking all of the damage from everything that we've done. Uh, downstairs, we have eight machines pumping out a pretty reliable series of resources. It's not nearly enough, though. We want more than eight machines. So we're about to basically take our money, and we're going to cash it in for access to another location. Okay, let's put this on the back of the truck right here. I've also found that you can actually put a cart on the back of the truck, so it's really, really easy to get building materials to and fro as well. Got us so much exposed wiring close to water, perfectly safe. That's what the exposed wiring is for. That's what the exposed wiring is for. It's, it's absolutely fine. We also gave the machines a good drop on their head on the way down this hole right here. So uh, the machines are probably functioning at like 10% capacity as well. Uh, let's grab our tier 2 tools because we will want them. As well as probably also our tier 1 shovel 
so that we know when the bedrock is for the crap machines that we're going to be setting up at the next place. We could probably also take all of the iron that we've got over here too. Whoops. <laughs> Never seen that before. Uh, we're going to take our iron as well so that we can make a bunch of crap machines to uh, harvest all of the other stuff. We have $102,000 worth. It is 8,500 kilos. That is insane. By the way, all of that is since we started building the house, which didn't take very long either. Have you kidnapped any new sacrifices? No, unfortunately not, but I think that one sacrifice was actually good enough to kind of tide us over for another few episodes. No one's been walking past the, uh, the smelly factory, probably because of the horrible carbon emissions that it's been outputting, but... You know, I think the carbon emissions have actually done us real good, because no one's stolen anything from us. We've got a new truck, we've got a new quad bike, we're about to go and buy some new land, we're about to sell an absolute arseload of money. As much money as you could literally fit in your ass, we're about to sell it for. So let's let's see how much money you could actually fit inside of your ass. Because we're about to find out. You can fit 112,000 bucks in your ass. That's actually quite impressive. Oh, I also just got an achievement for accumulating 100,000 coins. Nice. Uh, I'll drop that there, and we've got a total of 117,000 buckery booze. We're off to Mildew's Aquifer. That's exactly where we're going, and we are going to set up a bunch of Clausium stuff to start farming up resources at a much more alarming rate it only costs around about 20k to set up the entire uh, kind of like repair system as well so we're definitely going to get another one of those gonna are you going to recreate the physics to buying buckets we already have we've already made a disgusting disgusting uh car uh, full of kind of like weird inverted buckets that is uh, kind of being kept in the car yard so we know where it is and we don't accidentally drive into it uh, why am I up here? We don't want to be up here. We want to be at the MILF's Aquifer, which is actually, I think, just over this hill. Let's just drive over this hill and hope for the best. Cross your fingers. Let's see if this run is cursed now. No, it's not. That's actually Mildew's Aquifer right there. Uh, the reason we want to be here is because it's really, really close to Ice Helm, which means it's really, really close to the crafting. The crafting is really important to us. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the middle of this area. We'll start surveying. Sur sur surveying. Sur surveying. Surveys us. Sur surveys it. I don't know. Whatever Corona call the beer. I think this lump would be pretty close to the middle. Let's actually... Let's not go so close to the middle. Let's, like, set up here. Because it's kind of easy to get to. And with our tier one shovel... Uh... We'll try and start digging this... Or not. Weird. What the hell? Oh, do I already have soil on it? No. What? Why can't I dig this tier 1 soil with this tier 1 shovel? Weird. Okay, we'll start using the tier 2 shovel then, I suppose. Fine. Watch me here. Watch me here. Uh, maybe here is good. It's pretty far away. Uh, maybe also over... No. We don't want to think about tier 2 machinery until we have already set up... What the hell? Oh, I'm crouched. That's it. No, I'm not. I'm not crouched at all. Oh, we need to buy the land first. Of course we do. Good grief. I was trying to prospect land I don't even own. That's insane. You could buy a nuke with your wealth. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. I didn't think I hit that button. I just got two achievements. Where's the water for purchasing MILF's aquifer? And also one for buying land, which is quite nice. Uh, let's get our tier one shovel out. We want to use the tier one shovel to find the maximum depth of the kind of crap machines. That's why we are using this here uh, crap shovel. No, we need the crab pick, don't we? We don't want the shovel. We don't want any of the shovels. Okay. Uh, so we're actually going to go straight back to Ember Cradle again. We're going to get a crab tier shovel. We need it to survey the worst... The lowest depth for the worst tier machine. Because we can make lots of the worst tier machines. Like, a lot of them. A scary amount of them. <sighs> Is there a reason the chat isn't overlaid this time? Yes! I have finally got my Streamlabs OBS to actually show me chat in the app. And unfortunately, the consequence of that is that uh, the browser source for YouTube chat will not actually read. So I'm going to have to uh, maybe do some black magic behind the scenes and try and figure that out. But I'm basically reading out everybody's username and, and chat as it happens at this point. It's been a slow day, actually, since, um, since it's basically in the middle of the week. So I don't think there's been a lot of chatters necessarily, but we have had some viewers. C30, he broke everything. No, no, I fixed everything. That's that's the thing. I fixed everything. I Why did I bring the cart here? The cash. That's just going to make it harder to get this back. Okay, we'll get this dull shovel. We'll put it in the cart. We'll go back for our money because for some reason we didn't put it in the cart before we ran all the way over there. 
Okay, we'll grab our $116,000, which is enormously overkill for what we're about to use it for. We'll drop it in this bad boy right here. Boop. 22 bucks, Bora. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with this. And we are done with the Ember Cradle. We're not coming back here. This place sucks. We're done with it. Did he break it then fix it? No, no, no. I fixed it and then it broke. It was it was definitely in the order of the of the programmer's paradox. Wait, is that gonna work? Is that seated? It's seated. What the hell? That is so jank. <laughs> it's probably the most extreme one I've seen so far. That's pretty funny. Okay, uh, we're back. We're back to the MILF's aquifer. We're gonna give it a second chance because the first time we tried it, we cursed ourselves by spending all of our money on land ownership and tools, and we didn't have any ore generation, so we didn't have any automation to actually set up at the MILF's aquifer. Which means we had to brush and pan everything by hand, which again, would not be an issue if the problem wasn't automation itself. Uh, we actually need to go this way, this time, for once. Let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, fix one thing, broke a different thing. It's, it's the programmer's paradox. When you have fixed something, you can guarantee something else has broken as a consequence. I wonder if people still say that, the old programmer's par paradox. Uh, let's get the shovel, we'll start surveying. I think maybe... Here would be a good place to start, right? So, oh, the shovel again. Did I not buy a pickaxe? Oh! No! <laughs> we need a pick. Okay, this time I'm not going to do a bunch of stupid decisions. We need picks, not shovels. My code doesn't work, and I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens. Z30 story of my life? Yeah, it's, it's what happens to programmers every time something goes right. Something has to go wrong. It's the ebb and flow of programming. It's only balance. It shouldn't ever frustrate anybody either. It should be all like, oh, well, I should have seen that coming. It's as long as you're fixing more things than you're breaking, eventually you'll come to a good nominal balance of whatever you're programming. And it's 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 like good enough, right? To the point where you need to like hire playtesters and bug testers and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get money because it's only money. It's only money. Uh, let's grab it out of here. I don't know how I sniped that out of the back of the car. That's pretty good. Uh, so we don't want the shovel, we want the pickaxe this time. Let's buy the pickaxe right here, 122 bucks. Still worth it. Let's grab this thing and we'll stick it in the trunk. In the trunk? In the trunk of the car, and I'm not leaving 115,000 buckery booze there. Uh, pickaxe fell out, that's not good. Okay. Good, we've got everything that we need this time. Let's, uh, it's actually getting kind of dark, isn't it? So let's go ahead and... Well, I'm reminded, let's put the bed on the back of the truck so we've got somewhere to sleep uh -huh. at the MILF's aquifer. And we'll drop that there. We will go inside and we'll finally enjoy the comfort of our brand new, nice, rustic home. This is actually re really nice. Look, there's a river outside. Cozy. We're sleeping. Excellent. Yeah, no, my code works on if-then statements. <laughs> that would suck. My favorite are wiles, because wiles always break eventually. We've still got our beloved Klausium, which was the first thing we pumped out of a machine in this save. And also the first Klausium that we got. That's balance right there. That, that was a stroke of luck. That's like a 0.1% stroke of luck right there. But also for it to be the first one that pops out, multiply that again by a thousand. Okay, uh, we'll come over here and... We'll drive basically up. Oh, someone's on the bridge. <laughs> Not on my bridge. No! Oh, I cursed myself. <laughs> Okay, we're stuck in a breakdancing loop, but fortunately we've recovered. Okay. Whoops. Okay, we need to bless the MILF's aquifer, don't we? We need to bless MILF's aquifer with some kind of sacrifice at some point. Z30, my code works on, I don't know what it does, but it works, I'm not touching it. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, how I work as well. Sometimes I'll look at the syntax and be all like, oh, that's probably why something's broken. But if it's not syntax, I'm not, I'm not doing math. Uh, this guy's getting unlucky. Oh, never mind. I thought we were gonna hit him twice in a row. That was the guy, by the way, that we knocked off the bridge. He went flying. We absolutely sent him. Okay, we forgot to sleep, but fortunately we actually bought ourselves a uh, camping bed for the interim. Let's place that and we'll also do a jump over ourselves. Whoops, that was weird. Is it not sleep time? Oh, it might be daytime. It might have just hit daybreak. That sucks. Whoops. Okay, let's go ahead and survey this place for the final time with the pickaxe. Good thing I marked out the plot that I already wanted to do. We're gonna dig straight down. The Cardinal Sin of Minecraft. That has songs written about it. We wanna dig straight down until we hit uh, basically tier two bedrock. Damn, this is deep. What the hell? 
Okay, so this is where we can not set up automation machines for tier one. This is the place. We basically have to uh, kind of like dig out an area down here, set up automation as fast as we can, just have it pump out resources. Gunner, I stick by my code works and I don't know why, because if I read it, it suddenly stops working. That That is definitely a thing that happens too. I can almost guarantee that that is a thing that's happened to somebody at some point. I almost failed an exam on that once. At the, uh, at the, at the IT uh, qualification I was working towards some years ago. Gunner, I gotta please the Omnissiah if my code is going to wait. Uh, you gotta have like a Sensei Duck. That's gotta be like a rite right of passage. Do you have a Sensei Duck, Z? Do you have like a little soft toy that you uh, have on your desk at all times and every time something breaks, you explain why it's not working to the little soft toy and then as if by magic, the magical sensei duck will tell you exactly what is wrong as you go through it with the duck. That's my technique. That's how I, that's how I fix my broken code. That's how I always fix my broken code. Can't really do that in exams though, so it, it, it's not universal. Works though. It surprisingly works. Okay, uh, we're gonna need some kind of light source down here. Fortunately, I bought a standing brazier, so... Well, maybe not a brazier, but definitely some kind of automation. And we're also going to have to take our tier 2 pickaxe, and we're gonna have to dig straight down to get some water to be filtered through here as well. Because we didn't go through the uh, kind of other obvious channels, which would have been the Derex quarry, I think. It's got a water source right above ground. But I don't really think it's necessary to kind of have the water closer to top ground than it is to have it closer to bottom ground. Because we can just uh, give ourselves a nice big access to all of the kind of automation on the bottom floor. Very, very clear of everything, because there's a lot of room in this map. Z30? No, I don't. I just stare at my reflection in the screen. Oh, no. Existential dread is the worst way of fixing broken code. Gotta be said. I've tried it. It's not desirable. I don't think it's desirable. Okay, uh, we're mining all of this out. We've probably actually got enough space for potentially one or two machines, but I still kind of want to do a little bit more than what we've already got. I don't want mediocrity to be how we kind of proceed. We're also going to want a conveyor belt system that literally feeds all the way down underground and then kind of weaves in a lattice through all of the machinery that we're going to have down here because we're probably going to want to keep all of our tier one machinery once we do start setting up all of our tier two machinery because it's just free plautium. Honestly, once we start relying on core stone, which is the tier 3 material, then we'll probably start migrating everything to the bottom floor, but un until we have to worry about that, not so much. Alright, I think this is a pretty nice little hole right here. And there is actually a reason that we didn't use nukes or TNT to get down here. We don't actually want to blow out too deep. We need a good base layer of the uh, tier 1 bedrock so that we don't accidentally kind of put our machines beneath it. And I think we've done a pretty good job of kind of fleshing out a good flattened area. I don't know if we could probably get the flattening tool down here just to kind of flatten all of this out as a machine, but we'd have to clear a huge amount of egress to do so. All right, got a lot of it out of the way. I think that we've probably mined out a pretty good little section of it. So let's unstuck ourselves. Ah, oh, it's bright upstairs. Let's go ahead and drop this on the dirt so that we don't lose it. And we'll also put a marker at this hole right here, I think. Maybe a shovel. Let's get one of the shovels right here, maybe the tier one shovel. We'll put both tier one shovels at this hole to kind of like realize that we do have a hole. We'll also put the bed right next to it, I think would be a really good idea as well. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get the standing sconce out of the back of the truck right here. We'll set it up downstairs, and then we will think about getting some water. Uh, this is hairy. I actually don't like this. Okay, we'll put this one here in the corner. We'll illuminate. Yep, as dark and dingy as I expected. We're also stuck. We basically made an oubliette. If no one's ever seen an oubliette, it's a French dungeon that basically has um, a giant bowl at the bottom and no way of getting out. Blahaj, uh, Jensen, I'm back. I got Stanley Bearable, Ultra Deluxe, and American Truck Simulator. Oh, whoops. And my Wi-Fi sucks, so I'm going to take 10 hours to download Truck Sim. Good. You're, you're probably going to be a little bit annoyed when you finally download it, because it does get very boring very quickly. There's a lot of YouTubers that play it, and it looks really, really fun, but it's, just, it's the YouTuber that you're enjoying. It's not the game itself, unlike in this instance here, where I've got a very good balance of very funny YouTuber and also um, very fun game. 
or at least satisfying game. There's a lot of satisfaction value of watching this. Oh no! Uh oh, I didn't want to fall in the oobly yet. Damn it. Okay, I'm stuck. Let's actually set up our bed so that every time we get into it, we fall out and we fall into the oubliette. I think this is going to be... No, let's get this, like, here. Because I think we basically get out this corner right here. Yep, okay, we're sleeping. Let's see if we fall down the hole. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I doing this? Let's see where we pop out. Okay, we pop out at this corner right here. So let's pick this up and we'll put it right there. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. No, we can't actually. It's daybreak. But we should fall into this hole right here every time we, <laughs> every time we wake up. It's going to be funny. Gonna imagine rolling off your bed at night and falling down that hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what we want. We want to fall straight down that hole. And we also kind of want a, uh, another hole to fall down that takes us straight down to bedrock. Tier 2 bedrock. Where the hell is our pickaxe? Our tier 2 pickaxe. I know we've got one. Is it? Oh, there it is. Great. Okay, so we're not stuck with our pants down, fortunately. Wonderful. Uh, let's not get these bad boys mixed up. We probably want to throw this down the hole. Oops, we just wedged the hole. Let's go down. Let's go down. Wee! I hate that. So I hate that so much. This is awful. <laughs> I can't believe this is what we've made already. Uh, let's unstuck ourselves again. We're going to have to use the unstuck button quite frequently. Should probably end the standing sconce just to mark this hole just in case we accidentally fall in it a bunch of times because we may do. And we also kind of need to think about getting to water layer so that we can pipe up some water to where we actually need it to be working from. Gunner, you pop out where you stood? Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure you went right where you st where you were standing. Yeah, I I think this corner might be the one. We'll we'll see. We'll see later on in the day. Blahaj, I like driving sims, like driving across four states while getting 12 speeding tickets on the way. I love that. I like getting out of bed just to fall down into a 100 meter hole. It's not 100 meters yet. We'll make it 100 meters, but it's not 100 meters yet. And we got to stick like torches right down at the bottom of the hole so that we can actually see exactly the hell holes that we're falling into as we're falling into them. In fact, let's do that now. All right, uh, we'll take this and we'll drop it like... We need a good viewpoint of... Okay, here we are, and let's stick it like right there, and we'll dig like right here, because we're gonna fall straight down this way, and we want this torch to kind of blind us on our way down. Okay, that should look like an absolute hell hole from above now. Let's let's go find out. Let's verify this. Yep, that is terrifying. Good, wonderful. Right. Okay, so we probably want to go out with our enormous amount of wealth, 155,000 buckery boost, and we want to go and buy some Cloutium piping, don't we? So we're going to do that right this second. Gunner, I love waking up with brain damage in the damn catacombs. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. That is a great way of thinking about it. I love that attitude. I love that you love that. I love that you love that. Oh, we swerved and we had a rock one. I'm pretty sure we also just yeeted a man into space. Uh, good. We're in the historic mining town. Where is the mines, though? I'd say. So, I think the Cloudium pipes are on the other side of here. We're actually gonna... I found a technique. I found a technique for anyone who doesn't already know. We're gonna take this, uh, cart and we're gonna load it up with a bunch of awesome crap. Good. Because we can load the cart onto the, uh, back of the truck right there. Excellent. Uh, I'll put the money in there. We are going to need a bunch of different things. We're probably also gonna want an automated sorting system. We're gonna need an intake pipe immediately. That's the first thing we're gonna need. Probably also, also going to need a bunch of these, because we're not going to rely on one, I don't think. Okay, we'll drop that there. We're going to need a bunch of straights, I think. We're going to probably need, need even more elbows than we have straights. Right there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And we're also going to need a separate piping system for our sorting system. So we'll definitely think about that as well. I'm going to get an overkill amount of piping, by the way, because we... What the hell happened there? We're going to need it. We're going to need an overkill amount of piping. In fact, if we could probably even get a cart per pipe, we could maybe even condense down the confusion that we spend looking for things to a single cart. Because we kind of have to fish around in here when we want resources, which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, good, and good, and good, and good. This is going to cost a pretty penny, by the way. These are uh, 100 and, uh, 210 bucks each. Uh, let's get these tea pipes. Probably don't want to... Let's put them right on the edge right there. That's a great idea. We'll have them kind of like sticking up as well. Okay, it's almost impossible to get them to reliably stick into that place right there, but I've done it twice somehow. Good. Uh, we'll get another few tea pipes up here. Whoops. Thought I'd pick one up. We need a bunch of these because we need like two of them to hook in the automation machines uh, in the first place. Oh, that one fell out. 
We need two per machine, which is actually pretty insane. We're gonna need an arse load of elbows as well. Probably more than an arse load if you've got a small ass, but we, we're definitely gonna need someone's ass load full of, full of elbows. Uh, good god. Okay, we're making a bit of a mess in this cart. We always just buy another, it's fine, it's fine. We were kind of just using this for building resources, but it doesn't really need to be the case now. Okay, we've probably actually now got more T-pipes than we have straight pipes. Uh, I can't actually reach the elbows from here. That's a bit of a shame. Let's go ahead and jump up here and we'll just drop these right onto the edge if we can. Please game. Yes, thank you. Or not. Actually, this is fine. That'd make it really easy to distinguish the elbow pipes. That won't. When they fall in, it's going to be really hard to distinguish. But we're going to need so many of these. There are 22 layers of the place that we just bought, mm -hmm. and we are definitely going to need um, at least 44 elbow pipes to be able to pipe out the conveyor belts that we're about to set up in this new gigantic production enterprise that we are about to set up. Okay. Bloodhush, like, oh, where am I then? Oh, the goddamn catacombs! The dropping pipes into Cart Simulator 2000. Yeah, this is probably actually, I would consider this probably more fun than uh, any of the Euro Truck Simulators. Uh, I'm a bit based though. I'm a, I'm a little bit based when it comes to this opinion though, and I'm aware of that. I'm aware of my privilege as a, as a based individual. Okay, let's see how much this is gonna sting us, because it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> oh, that's the most expensive shot we've done yet. Good grief. Didn't make a dent though. We still have 86,000 buckery booze. Put them in the back right there. And let's get our cart full of goodies, which surprisingly is not dipping the frames whatsoever. I thought it would be dipping the frames, but it's, it's actually not. Good. So we've got all of the piping we need. We'll come back for the conveyors after we've actually set up the pipes. Whoops, it just f almost flipped the car. Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to get you off into the distance. Okay, a good thing he uh, landed in the road that I was not going to take. <sighs> Best part of the game. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Gunner, terrible jigsaw voice. I want to play a game. I have hidden a pipe bomb in this cart. You have 10 minutes to find it. Good luck. Laha, you can, wait, you can run over people? You can definitely run people over. It is definitely something that you can actually do in this game. It's probably even an attraction to this game. Yeah, in this game, you can definitely do it. Up, oh, we uh, accidentally went to Ice Helm instead of the uh, MILF's Aquifer instead. Okay, let's uh, hit this tree that was planned. I plan to do that. Well, we, we're gonna hit that tree and then we're gonna come down to MILF's Aquifer in one big sweep. Boop. I don't think our tires actually touched the side of that mountain for any longer than a second. In total. What did I hit? I didn't hit anything! Game! Smoking crap. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're gonna need to take our tier 2 pickaxe, yes, and we're gonna need to basically dig straight down here to kind of also get to the bottom of the map, I would say. And we're gonna use a little bit of a cheaty cheat to kind of like identify where we are on the map, but we also kind of have to create a hollow over here as well. Alright, good. Uh, done. Blahaj, I have a sudden urge to buy Hydronir. <laughs> Gunner, instructions unclear, accidentally climbed Mount Everest. That's impressive, especially if you've fallen in the hellhole that we've created here. Alright, we'll go ahead and we will mine up all of this crap. Good, 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 good! So, once we've created a little hollow in here, maybe- Oh, we didn't get a, uh, we didn't get another couple of those lighting stakes, did we? No, I don't think we did. So we're probably going to have to kind of like wing it when it comes to where we're going to position everything. But here, check this out. When we are planning out all of the conveyor belts, we kind of want the... We want this hole to lead to the center of the map, basically, and that should be our intake. So we're going to crouch down and we're going to look in here for the center of the map. Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, let's keep on looking. Oh, that looks promising. So we're going to build ourselves a path all the way this way. And we're going to create a conveyor system all the way out here. It's going to take a wee while to get to it. But I definitely think it's going to be worth it. The hellhole is just going to be egress straight to the bottom of this area here. It's basically going to be a maintenance tunnel. We're going to make a really, really big kind of um, sorting system. And uh, we're going to have it automatically repair itself so that we don't really have to do much. But when the whole system stops, we'll know that the sorting system is broken. And we don't have any access to water topside, so it's gonna have to be all the way over here. Actually, no, what are we doing? Let's actually make it here, because it's it's really close to 
the entrance of the map, which is actually where we want our sorting system to be in the first place. Let's just do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that indeed. Let's not dig our way to the center of the map yet. We'll, we won't bite off more than we can chew in this instance, just yet. We'll kind of get to the uh, outskirts of the map, and then we'll kind of try and see what we've got to deal with. We could probably also uh, mine all the way up here if we can, and then we'll see what else we've got to deal with. We'll see if we can just pipe in straight up to this area here and we'll stick our sorting system in a much more desirable place than in the middle of the goddamn map. Gunner, he's gonna find love, though. He doesn't have any rail guns. Oh, no, he's not gonna have any, um, he's not gonna hit any lava. We're hitting water in the MILF's aquifer. We might hit lava somewhere else, but I don't think we're up to that point yet. Okay, so this is kind of like the, the long and straight that we want our pipes to be going up and along. I don't know what angle that we have to kind of like angle our things up, right? In fact, we could probably fix exactly that assumption right this second by getting an elbow pipe down here. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll unstuck ourselves and we'll get an elbow pipe down the, the pit of the spear. Uh, I'm still crouched. Okay, good. Uh, we'll take this cart. We'll stick it next to the pit of the spear. Uh, we'll actually also see if we fall down into the pit of the spear. Let's see. After we sleep, a nice relaxing sleep, and hopefully a drop into the pit. No, okay, it just spawns you around. I think basically how it spawns you is not in a hole, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, exactly not what we wanted. All right, let's go ahead and go all the way down into the pit. Oh, it doesn't automatically just drop you all the way down. That sucks. It's absolutely sucky. So what angle do we... Oh, that's actually a pretty good angle. Got to be said. Uh, let's see if we can't, like... All right, let's continue mining up here. We'll leave this elbow right here. We'll unstuck ourselves. Also, while we're doing all of this, the the productive enterprise that we already have at Ember Cradle is still ticking along. Where the hell did I put that pickaxe? Oh, there it is. That's right. We no, that's a shovel. We don't want that whatsoever. Where's the pickaxe? Hello, pickaxe? It's not down in the hole, is it? That's iron. Okay. Those are both shovels. Both shovels we don't actually want either. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> That was kind of strange. One hour, 30 minutes left. What of the stream? It, it could be uh, much less, could be much more. I've got a couple of things to do that I need to do later. And whether or not I feel guilty for missing some of the stream for it, might actually extend the stream. Might extend the stream. It may extend the stream. Uh, Yin Set needs a ride somewhere, and I am basically uh, her taxi while I, I am stuck at home full time doing YouTube stuff. That's basically the trade off at the moment. It's not going to be the same forever, though. I'm going to be uh, studying an electrical engineering course la uh, next year, so I'm definitely going to have a lot less free time to be doing all of the stuff that I'm doing now next year. But until then, we'll kind of see how we go. Maybe if I can make this a source of income, I could probably do the electrical engineering thing part-time and also subsidize my income with, with YouTube. But, again, like, uh, I'm not even thinking about income at this point with YouTube. I'm just having fun. I'm just enjoying myself. Are we all enjoying ourselves? Of my download. Oh, I see, Blahaj. Of your Euro Truck Simulator. Thank the Lord. An hour and 40 minutes you can spend not having to deal with European uh, games like that. Because they are very frustrating. I don't think we're going to be able to mine all of this out of here, to be quite honest. I don't think we'll be able to get a nice little line. I mean, we're mining out a fairly significant chunk of this, but we're actually going to run out of the point where... It's going to be viable to do so very shortly. Very, very shortly. Okay. It's happened. Exactly what I said has happened. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll unstuck ourselves. We'll get ourselves into the first layer of the hellhole. Where is it? Behind this truck. Okay, good. And it's also behind this cart. Okay, it's already become a hellhole. Uh, we're on the right part. I'm going to dig into this wall right here. We'll crouch. We'll see where... Oop, that's not helpful. I want to dig down. And we also want to be able to see where all of the things that we are mining are. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not working. The glitch is not really functioning. We want to be able to see through the map, essentially. All right, right here. That is probably not where we want to go. It's probably up this way. Let's go ahead and just start mining this way, and hopefully we'll connect up. No, it's tier two. We want the tier one, because I think we actually reached tier one dirt with the... We're kind of when we were mining upwards, right? I think I think we definitely reached the tier one dirt. It was definitely that deep. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and look. 
I think that's actually, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we dig straight across here and we are good to go. Blahaj, were you able to see what I said before? Uh, I'm trying to like cheese the game a little bit. Uh, yeah, chat's a little hard to pay attention to at this point. Oh, by the way, I didn't mean love, I said Jove. Okay, okay. It's gonna find Jove. No, I did not get that reference, uh, Gunnar. I'm very, very sorry. I did not understand that reference. Is it a, um, is it a Sin City reference? Because that's a really good movie. That would be a really good reference. Okay, we'll mine all the way up here, and I think we'll start piping in our pipes from up top, which will probably allow us to get a pretty good uh, elbow joint all the way down. And we could probably also kind of spiral it up, so we don't necessarily need to worry too much about the kind of space constraints that we'll have to deal with. Oh, that's tier two dirt, apparently. Let's go ahead and get our tier two pickaxe, and we'll take out that tiny little blip right there. It's a Barrow Drama reference. That's on the list, actually. But it's, it's on the list of games to play, but it's not one that I've played yet. I will be playing it. I will be playing it eventually. It's not just yet. Yes. Yes, yes. That is a, a really good-looking game, though. I can't wait to play that. I'm just looking for someone to play it with. Because it's a little bit expenny. It's a little bit expenny. Especially compared to We Need to Go Deeper, which is more affordable and significantly funnier, I would probably hazard a guess at saying. Okay, so how long are we going to be mining until we reach topsoil? Probably just keep on mining upwards. We're probably pretty close, honestly. Probably really, really close. I bet we're super, super close. Or not. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and crouch into the map so we can actually see whether or not we are super, super close. Super, super close. Boop. Take that one out. Nope. I'm going to take the lower one out, it seems. So we'll get down. Nope. I'm going to take that one out, too. Damn, we are really, really close. Okay, uh, let's unstuck ourselves. We'll go top side. And we'll start mining out this corner over here. Oh, no. This place is so big. I don't actually know where the corner is. I, it's got to be here, right? Oh, no. This place is so big. Okay, I'm going to mine out these little outskirts anyway. I don't really like them. Uh, where? Where is the slope? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's got to be here, right? This has got to be the slope. So we've got to be able to link it up here, up to a sorting system. I think at this point, we'll kind of have the sorting system pipe in this way, and then we'll kind of lead a line of things going this way to sort, and we'll have very, very easy access. I think would be a really, really good idea. All right, let's go down in here and see how hard it is going to be to, to link up to uh, civilization. Oops. Okay. Stuck. <laughs> That's not good. Uh... Nope, can't go that way. Let's take out that one, and we'll stick out... Okay, let's take out the bottom ones, because I think I'm being a little bit silly about this. There it is, okay. Where the hell are we? Did we even go the right way? I don't know. I, I, we just don't know. We are pretty far away from our objective, actually. We need to, like, go immediately this way. Ooh, okay. Gonna one morphine injection and causes addiction. The main way to heal is morphine. What is this? World War II? Okay. Uh, apparently in World War II, uh, one third of all US troops were experimenting with heroin. Isn't that crazy? Uh, you heard that statistic recently in a movie, and I actually... You know, it sounds reasonable enough to believe. Oh, this looks promising. This looks like the slope we need to kind of mine into. All right, let's go. Let's go all the way over here. And hopefully... No, not World War II. It was Vietnam. Sorry, it was not World War II. It was Vietnam. All right, that's... What the hell? Is that where we're mining? No, that's the hellhole. So we are really close to it. We actually mined a little bit too far off. We want to mine all the way down here, I think. This is going to be the way. This is my final answer. Here it is. We found the hole. Excellent. So we don't want to fall down it just yet because we actually want to kind of go upwards, almost straight to kind of... Market top side. Where is it? There it is. Okay. We now have another bigger hole that we can fall down, which we can kind of pipe up from. I think we spiral it. I think we do a, a couple of flourishes and we do some spirals to get all of the ore up here. Okay. Good. One there. Whoa. Okay. This is actually really, really hard to navigate. All right. So we need to pipe all the way down there and we need to kind of start it upwards, up top there, don't we? So we could probably actually... 
go ahead and go all the way down into the bottom shaft here. Drop our tier 2 down here because we won't want it topside. And I think... Maybe we do kind of want to spiral it a little bit. So let's go ahead and place this one here. We'll place it here. One level above the water. And then we'll put the uh, kind of intake pipe going up into that, I think. So let's... Oh, that's the tier 1 pickaxe, apparently. Let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves because we are stuck down there with a tier 1. We'll stick this up here and then we'll look for our tier 2 pickaxe, which I'm pretty sure is actually down the hellhole. Is it? Yep. Oh, we've fallen down the hellhole. Okay. Right. Let's go down again. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, your download is based on Steam's uh, download timer. That is based on how many megabits uh, per second you are downloading on your client, uh, by the way, if you want to know how that functions. So we want the tier two down here. We want the tier two down here because we want to be able to mine out some egress for this pipe right here. And we also really want to be able to access the top of the conveyor belt just in case something goes wrong or we drop something on the conveyor belt that we don't want on there. And we don't want to wait for the conveyor belt to go all the way up top side. That would be really annoying. Okay, drop all of this down here. Uh, still kind of mining out everything that we kind of need for the egress. It's looking pretty good though. Righty ho. Need to mine out some of this stuff at the bottom here. Get all of this crap right at the bottom out. So, we've kind of mined out enough to spiral maybe to the left. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of uh, come to that issue when we, when we come to it, I suppose. Let's start piping in some of these elbows, because we are going to need to go all the way down this hellhole a bunch of different times, I think. No, let's not do this, and we've also got a T-pipe. That's not what we want. We're actually, instead of falling down the hellhole a billion different times, we're actually going to pick up the cart, and then we're going to fall down the hellhole like this. Good. All the way to the bottom, and then we drop it here. Good. Let's put this intake pipe right in front of us here, so that we can't see anything. Actually, no. We don't want that there whatsoever. We want a straight pipe right in front of that so we can turn it off. Yeah, we definitely want that, actually. Uh, but for now, we will kind of go ahead and get some of these elbows. Where the hell are they? I'm, I'm certain we had some. We had some elbows, didn't we? Okay, I'm stuck down here. Okay, let's go ahead and unstuck. We've got to get the pickaxe down there. The tier two, is this fit? Yes, it is. That is definitely the pickaxe. I've got an idea. 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 We're going to town. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got a nice, big, exciting idea. We're going to town. We're going to town, guys. We're going to town. I'm going to town. Okay, uh, let's come around here, and we're immediately going to go to the logic shop. And the reason for that is because I have some logic of my own that I will not spoil for anybody. I am going to go and get a couple of little doodads for mining. Is it a nuke? Are you going to buy a nuke? I'm not going to spoil a single thing. I'm not going to spoil a single thing. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you what I'm buying. I just... <laughs> I just hit somebody out of the uh, park right here. Buy a little object. Hi, lady. Possible. In fact... I'm going to go so far as to not spoil anything that I'm going to block everything that I'm going to be picking up. How does that sound, eh? You big, you big bastards. I am going to unspoil everything that I'm about to do. I'm going to drop that one right there. Very nice. I'm going to pick this one up here. I hope I'm covering everything. Uh, actually, we want to buy it, don't we? Okay, let's put that there. 26,000 bucks? Hell yeah, I'll pay that. And this one right here. I'm also going to pay for that. Very good. We still see the screen in the background. Oh, no. Okay. I'll just, I'll get out of the way. Yeah, so uh, we are basically going to buy a few nukes. I'm going to get this lever right here, and I'm also going to get another lever because I know that they absolutely get decimated. 52,000 buckery boos down the hole, and we've got two nukes. We've got two fat boys. Fat men? Fat boys. Big boys. No. Fat men. It's fat men. I think the, the fat man is a, is a nuclear warhead. That's the old name for it. Okay, let's get in here. And we are going to be uh, clearing out some more mining right here. Let's come down here. Don't know how the hell we drifted so far away from where we started drifting. All right, let's come up here. We probably could have taken the quad for this. But it is what it is. Gonna took nukes dropped on Japan while we were called to... Oh, fat man and little boy. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry if I've offended anybody. I really don't want to offend anybody. Well, I'm just referencing Fallout at this point. That's not the actual names. They were nicknames. Yeah, I had a hunch that, that was the case. I didn't realize that was on Japan. Oh, that makes me feel terrible. Also, we don't own this land. 
Uh, let's jackknife out of here. We're off. Blahaj, make sure it does not detonate near your stuff, else it will disappear. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. We're going to take all of the piping stuff away from where we've done it so we don't lose the Cloutium injectors, but... Honestly, we can always just buy more. We have so much money, it is crazy. And there's only like two pipes down there. Aside from the entire... Entire, uh, cart full of things. Alright, let's take our nuke. We will go down into our hole. We also, again, didn't buy any markers to put down here. Alright, let's go all the way down, down. We'll drop this bad boy down here. Or we could get stuck. Huh? Put that huh? there. Or we could not put that huh? there. I'm still stuck down. There we go. We'll drop that there. Uh, we'll put this huh? bad boy in the cart, or we could just manually pick it up and unstuck and drop it on the ground right here. That's also fine. I don't mind either way. Uh, we'll come down the hell hole. Here we go. The elevator. Uh, we'll get this elbow. I'm pretty sure this won't fit on the cart. I stand corrected. And we'll get the whole cart and we'll unstuck ourselves. Boom. Okay, so that's going to save us all of our, like, 30 grand worth of piping and stuff. Good. Now let's set up a lot of this stuff downstairs. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow one before I set up the second one. So we want to uh, basically have this here, mm -hmm. I think. No, we actually want it higher, don't we? We definitely want it a little bit higher because we don't want to waste anything. Where is our tier two pickaxe? I think we left it downstairs, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. Is this it? No, those are shovels. There it is. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that's definitely the tier two. So we're going to come down here. And we also don't want to blow out the uh, the flooring for what we're doing over there. So what I am going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to stick it... Mm, don't want to blow out the footing for the hell hole. That's the thing. Maybe just like in here. I'll put a little hole in here. That should really help. Good. And we'll dump that in there. Or not. Still need a bigger hole it seems. Maybe just a really, really big hole. Would that, would that do it? Huh? Huh? Okay, good, and let's dump this in there. Good, and we'll orient it so that we can actually reach the the nuke part of the... Oh, there it is. Good. And we will hit this lever on here. And because I am paranoid, we are going to move our pickaxe out of here too, because I don't want to lose it. Good. There we go. We've got it all hooked up. Okay, let's unstuck ourselves, and we'll drop this next to the hell hole so that we don't lose it. We'll just immediately drop everything next to the hell hole, I think. Right there. Good. We're going down, down. Excellent. And now we're going to hit the lever. Are we ready? Are we ready for the nuke? <sighs> Make sure your piping is far away. It should be far away. Let's blow a nuke. Boom. Oh my god. I sat in front of the nuke and it blew out my ears. What is this? Oh no, I've made fallout. Whoa, that is big. Oh my days, that is big. I want to see if it's smoking from up top. Oh, that is cool. Fire in the hole. I literally cannot see anything. I love this so much. That is so cool. Unstuck yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm way ahead of you. Oh, my days. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that the piping was on top of it. Uh, good to know that the truck won't blow up. Let's get it out of the range of the fallout because I think that's probably... <laughs> that's probably going to be a thing, right? Okay, let's see how big that hole was. Let's go into the hell hole. Straight down! Okay! That is a big hole! Oh my days! That is huge! That is almost everything we mined out. Uh, let's actually push in further this way. And we'll stick a second nuke up there. Uh, we should have a bunch of scrap down here too, which we're actually... We're not too worried about. So let's hit unstuck and we're going to go and get ourselves the T2 pickaxe. To get ourselves the next nuke place. Okay, we've definitely... Oh, we can still stay here too. Ah, but this is actually where we want all of the machines to be, so we don't really want to mine out here too far, do we? Okay, maybe we actually want to kind of like go up this way. Which way is the hole orienting? We literally missed the uh, butthole by literally a fraction of, a, of an instance. Let's just go ahead and make a gigantic hole on this layer as well, because we've already got ourselves some egress to uh, kind of get ourselves through here. I think that's going to be a, a good amount of space to get ourselves uh, away from the water piping, right? Okay, we don't want to go there. Actually, let's look through the map and we want to go this way, don't we? Let's go a long way through here. Let's dig out a big mine shaft and then we'll blow another hole, I think would be the best option. Whew, better get your Geiger counters. Oh yeah, <laughs> congratulations, you live on Chernobyl. Yeah, but this is my Chernobyl. I own this Chernobyl. I can make depleted uranium here. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be great for the military industrial complex of, of Hydranir. It's a shame you can't make like warheads in this game. You can't like manufacture nukes and sell them. That'd be a really, really good like avenue of production that I would love to go into. Arms manufacturing, that's what I'm all about, baby. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the depth of this one. No, it's not even near deep enough. So this is gonna be the one where we uh, stick all of the machinery, I think. Whoop, we're stuck here. Let's uh, mine this upwards a little bit. Uh, we're going upwards as well so that we can kind of like see where the bedrock is. And we can always kind of also, we can tell. We can tell exactly where the bedrock is just by kind of like looking at where the colors change on the, on the actual dirt itself, right? We can see the topography of the map. Let's dig straight up, see if we can get ourselves another butthole that we can kind of see out of. Okay, there we go, good. So whatever that's going to be is going to be the place we detonate the next nuke. Let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves. Where is it? Is that far enough away? I think it's far enough away, right? Put that by that hole right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this nuke and we'll socket it into... Is this far away? Uh, maybe. Maybe it's far enough. But there's only one way to find out, right? There's only one way to find out the range of a nuke. By blowing in the nuke. This is how Oppenheimer did it. Okay, let's go back down this hole right here. <sighs> but realistically, this sh site should now be Chernobyl as the explosion was in the air and instead was in the ground, which is why the nuke cities in Japan are still exclusion zones in an air blast. Ah, I didn't actually know that. I thought that uh, the Japanese cities that had the bombs dropped on them had recovered by now. I know that Chernobyl has mostly recovered by now. I don't know how far uh, along that was, though. All right, let's blow it. Three, two, one, nuke out. Boom. Where am I? What is, what is my name? Oh, that is so cool. Look at that mushroom cloud. I love that. That is so cool. I'm taking screenshots, by the way. I love the mushroom cloud. I actually love the mushroom cloud. I wonder how far down that went. Ah! Ah! Damn, that's hot. I'm <laughs> burning my face off, literally. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get the cast and we'll go downstairs and we'll see what we've got to work with. Actually, let's get the pickaxe. Oh my god. The nukes are so much fun in this game. I actually adore them. All right, let's uh, drop down. Oh, damn, this is big. Oh no. Well, actually, we kind of... This, this was actually a good distance, wasn't it? Yeah, so the hellhole is uh, actually a pretty good amount of space away from here. All right, and we probably want to get ourselves a little bit of... What do we want? We probably want to get ourselves some footing, don't we? Oh, this is the tier two pickaxe. We don't actually want this one. We want the tier one pickaxe so we can actually see the topography of the map. <sighs> Let's jump this. Boop, there we go. Oh, we're watching ourselves sleep. That's creepy. That's really creepy. Uh, we'll get our tier one pickaxe and we won't go down the hell hole. We'll go down this one right here, the nuke hole. And we'll see exactly where this ends. Okay, right here. So this gives us a good indication of the surveying of the area, right? So this layer right here is, we can set up, is where we can set up all of the tier one machines. Which, by this point, we can make a heap of them. We could probably actually put like <laughs> maybe 12 or 13 of them up. Literally right this second with what we've generated at the Ember Cradle so far. And the honestly, once we get everything set up here, all of the generation is just going to absolutely inflate like crazy. Right, uh, so this is good. This is good. We've got egress into this kind of area here. I think this hole right here can just go straight into the kind of piping infrastructure. And this other one that we've kind of made over here, this will be all of the actual machinery, I think. Right. Right, so this is going to be all the machinery for tier one. Here's my thinking. We get some platforms to kind of section off the layer that we can't mine on, which won't cost much, won't cost much at all. And then we set up a bunch of machines on top of them. We jam some dirt in their buttholes, and then we kind of mine what we can from them until we get enough Cloudium to go down to the tier two ores. That's the plan, right? That's a pretty solid plan, actually. I said aren't exclusion zones now, as the radiation and toxins went more into the air, but on Chernobyl it went towards the ground and across the landscape. Gunner, you're absolutely right. It also went into all of the rivers as well. I made a short story on it uh, some time ago, which I never published, and I did a lot of research into Chernobyl. 
and kind of like the fallout zones, the river absolutely wreaked hell on the uh, surrounding landscape of Chernobyl. Very rough. I don't know much about the, uh, the Japanese warheads, though. That, that, honestly, to me, just seems like a an absolutely avoidable tragedy, to be quite honest. All right, um, pretty impressive that the uh, Tory gate that everybody knows um, over in Hiroshima was still standing after the bomb drop, right? Very impressive. Very impressive craftsmanship on that Tory gate right there. Yeah, you get out of bed in the exact same area you entered from, so you can only fall in if you fell asleep while falling. Maybe we'll have to try that then, right? We'll have to, like, go over the hole and then we fall asleep. Might be a good idea. Okay, so I've kind of mined out the layer at which we can get away with planting our machinery. Whether or not it's going to be a good layer to actually plant the machinery, though, has yet to be seen. So once we plant machinery, we are also going to have to... Uh, kind of pipe in a bunch of water, which we could probably do straight down here. But over here, we're definitely going to have the infrastructure of the water set up so we can auto-repair everything. Uh, let's go topside, and we'll just kind of, like, dig straight down here. Because I think down here, we'll be able to get some conveyor belts hooked up pretty damn efficiently. Alright, let's drop that down there. We'll get the tier 2 pickaxe, and we'll just drop down from this hole right here. The nuke hole. Right here. Very cash money. Now, we also want to pipe in from here, don't we? So, we're going to need a little bit of space all the way down to bedrock. I don't know if this is right at the bottom of the hole. It's not good. We just need to access water. And then we will kind of, like, get some room to pipe all the way up in a bit of a zigzag. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All the way up here. We may have kind of done that thing again where we may have just absolutely thrown ourselves down a hole again. But we will stick a little item in the way so that we can catch ourselves. A little platform, I suppose, you could call it. Okay, access to water granted. So here is going to be the piping system that powers the machines. And we probably want to link this into the area that is going to power the conveyor belt as well in case we need to turn both off in a pinch. I don't see why we would even need to do that, but that is something we could do. Which is directly this way. I'm going to dig a mine shaft just in case we fall down like the wrong hole or something. That might be a really good idea. Whew. Gunner, well, you really think America would risk millions of soldiers trying to make the, take the mainland and potentially risk Soviets actually invading Japan, which they were planning on at the time? Uh, honestly, I don't know what anybody was thinking when the actual nuclear warhead was dropped. The threat of nuclear deterrent was definitely good enough to postpone every other war after World War II that America didn't necessarily aggress. I, I don't know why people seem to think that nuclear warheads are necessary in any capacity whatsoever. It's the biggest stick, right? It's the biggest stick concept. Basically, when a world power gets a stick, any other world power that has a bigger stick then has kind of like control over that world power. So by getting a nuclear warhead, America basically uh, set itself to control every other nation in the planet temporarily until the other nations got the bigger stick as well. Right? That's it's just the bigger stick theory. And then as soon as everybody gets the bigger stick, you have DEFCON 1 or, you know, complete annihilation of the planet whenever one nuclear warhead flies which means nobody can use them as leverage which makes them completely redundant so nuclear warheads to be invented were completely a waste of time didn't really change the shape of the war to be quite honest all they really did was uh kind of secure america in taking a single country over russia which I, it doesn't really make a difference right Gunner, but if you aren't trying to get the bigger stick, someone else will, and suddenly you're in danger. It's that kind of thinking that has led the world to uh, the kind of state that it's in now, where world, world powers now have the bigger stick, and everybody is kind of like waiting for nuclear fallout to happen. It's, 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 the, it's the bigger stick thinking, where if the other person has a bigger stick, I too need the bigger stick. That kind of thinking has uh, basically put warfare at what it is now. Because you can't use nukes. You can't use nukes in warfare. <laughs> uh, pretty sure they were banned by the Con Geneva Convention, if not a bunch of other global legislation enforced by the UN, as well as mustard gas and all the, that other stuff. But nukes are just so overkill. It's so, so overkill. Last I saw, thermobaric missiles were kind of like really on the edge of the Geneva Convention. And thermobaric missiles are way, way less powerful than nukes by a huge margin.
Okay, I'm gonna take this pipe and I'm gonna uh, stick it down here. So, uh, nukes are fun to detonate in this gun game right here. But I, it's gotta be said, in real life, they have really caused way more harm than good in every single capacity. Gonna, yeah. yeah so I thought you said uh, something new. I was reading out a new ch a chat message. Which I thought was happening, but it's not. Okay, we'll put some uh, stuff down here. We will get ourselves the cart, and we'll put it down on the first level if we can. Unless we fall down the first uh, shaft. We probably need a shaft that reliably goes to the first shaft. Oh, that was actually pretty reliable. We'll just leave that down here. Good, and nothing's fallen down. We'll take an elbow out of here. We'll go down. We'll start piping this bad boy up. Actually, we want to straight on here to turn off the machines as well. So we're also going to need to go up there. We're going to need to get ourselves a pickaxe. And we are going to need to uh, dig up a little bit more than what we already have. There we go. Okay, great. Vanity. Vanity is what a nuke is. A nuke is literally just a vanity thing. And vanity, in most people's eyes, is a sin. So, uh, basically, that's probably what I'm just going to leave it at. They don't do any good. Though it was denied. What was denied? So many countries have nuclear warheads now. There is no denial. I mean, Cuba had nukes for a, for a period, for God's sake. Sure, supplied by Russia. But at the same time, Russia had nukes, for God's sake. They're at war with America, and their little spat between each other could potentially cost the world the world. At some point, I honestly think, I, th I think that's going to be what the apocalypse is. Another message didn't show up. Yeah, makes sense. YouTube's got a couple of bugs with this chat system, but ultimately it's pretty reliable. Yeah, I'm, I'm very anti-nuke, but I live in New Zealand. New Zealand is very famously anti-nuclear energy and nuclear uh, power. There was a there was a ship that came here, a nuclear-powered ship. It was French. Back in the 90s or the 70s, one of the two, I can't remember what. Uh, and we bombed it, essentially. We bombed it. Or we didn't let it dock. I can't remember, actually. It was called the Rainbow Warrior. Uh, you'll have to do your own research on that, because I was told that way back in school. 15 minutes. Oh, until I have to go? Uh, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, let's start hooking this in. Because we basically just need a straight pipe on here. And then we want straights going all the way up top there. Into a series of machines that we still haven't made or placed yet. Here's the hole right here. I'm getting good at finding them. Okay, and also falling in them. Excellent. Uh, we'll get a straight all the way down there, I think. I really wonder why we are all anti-nuclear power. Because it's incredibly safe. It's the bombs that I think is understandable. Uh, because of Chernobyl. Because uh, that, that's why. Chernobyl. Meltdown. <laughs> Remember Chernobyl? Remember when that happened? Remember uh, Fukushima? The meltdown in that one? Where the Yakuza literally uh, usurped the government for 20 flat years to clean it up? The government only reclaimed uh, Japan back in the 90s as, a, as an actual government power. Before then, it was Yakuza control for a good 20, 30 years. It depends on really where you look. but uh, Yakuza really did actually pull a lot of weight in the um, Fukushima meltdown. I think it was Fukushima. That was the reactor, wasn't it? That wasn't one of the bombers. Yeah, it was. That was uh, definitely the the reactor meltdown. So reactors melt down. It happens. It's all about human error and AI crashing. It's it's bad. It's just bad. It's bad. There's way better uh, sources of energy to actually power things through that don't consume nuclear fission. It's it's crazy. For example. Can anyone tell me any town in the world that is powered by cold fusion? Because that's the safe nuclear energy. Fukushima melted down from an earthquake. We live on a fault line. New Zealand is on a fault line. Why the hell would we put nuclear power here if we've watched another country have a nuclear meltdown over an earthquake? It's, it's just more points to not use nuclear power. It's literally like over and over again, just reasons not to use nuclear power. And modern day plants automatically shut down on one disturbance. Really? That sounds like AI to me and AI crashes. I know this because I, I took an IT bachelor's. I, I know very well about the limitations of AI. They really cannot do things like that. Damn, we have kind of um, buggered ourselves out of, a, out of a good hole down here. We're going to have to uh, dig out a little bit more to kind of get out of here. Uh, there's no place for nuclear power in the world. No, not AI. If something automatically shuts down, it's AI. 
It's artificial intelligence. It's doing something that a human is supposed to do. It is definitively AI. Right? It's an AI algorithm. If it, if it senses something wrong, it shuts down. But AI fails. Algorithms fail. Uh, technology fails. There is always going to be room in the world for human stupidity, and uh, no one should ever forget that. Although in saying that, it was human stupidity that really led us to the nuclear warheads in the first place. If you look at the events of World War II, that was started because Germany got dicked over in World War I. They got massively dicked over. They got dragged into a war between two countries that they were not a part of, right? Serbia had an Austro-Hungarian official assassinated, and for some reason, Germany stepped in as the good neighbour to Austria and also good friends with the, um, the leadership of Austria and said, hey, if you want to press legal charges against whoever did that, we'll support you. And then Russia stepped in and said, no, you can press re legal charges, but it's not going to be against Serbia. Uh, they're our allies, without doing a single piece of uh, research into whether or not Serbia actually assassinated the guy in the first place. And then after that, Russia then convinced France to get into the, the First World War, and then everything kicked off. So the First World War was started by human stupidity, and World War II was ended by the nuke. <sighs> It's not AI. I'm trying to find the words to describe it. It's algorithms. You're basically describing algorithms at this point. Algorithms are a form of AI. They're a very crude form of AI, but they are AI. Austria-Hungary wanted full military access to look at it. Because they had their official assassinated! Serbia obviously rejected it. Yes, they rejected it, and they got Russia, one of their uh, big trading partners, in to enforce that. Serbia had no way in hell they could defend themselves against the Austro-Hungarian Empire. There was no way it could happen. And all of this led to the invention of the nuke. So ultimately, World War I, World War II, the only thing that came out of that that was good was potassium nitrate. And that's only because of all the bombs dropped on World War I and II. You needed the potassium nitrate to be able to grow the fields back. Serbia obviously rejected it. Yeah. So Serbia... A Serbian nationalist had them assassinated. He was convinced to do so by a bit of a secret organisation called the Black Hand. Russia did zero research to uh, see whether or not any of these claims were actually true because uh, Austro -Hungary, the Austro-Hungarian Empire knew exactly what was going on. They got Germany in to kind of back them up as kind of like a, yeah, we're going to double down on the fact that, you know, they lied. Serbia's lying uh, to everybody. They actually did do this, uh, this assassination. Uh, good luck defending it. And Russian was all like, you know what? Uh, fine. You you do you and we'll do us. Uh, hey, France, get involved or we'll um, declare war on you too. You know, it was, it, was a, it was a stupid situation. And all of that led to Germany having to pay reparation for a war they weren't even a part of. So the, the fact that all of that happened across World War I, that led to Hitler, and no one credits the rise of Hitler with all of the events of World War I, is just absolutely stupid. And just as no one credits the invention of the nuke with... The need for Hitler is crazy. It wasn't planned by Serbian officials. It was planned by a, an organization called the Black Hand. They were Serbian officials under a kind of um, secret society organization. They wanted to liberate, I think it was Georgia, from Austro-Hungarian rule because Austro-Hungary was basically granted rule to lead this country for a period of time. The, uh, the Serbian government did not know about the Black Hand, but the Black Hand kind of worked as a group of massively influential officials in the Serbian government. Just Google it. Literally just Google it. It's all on Wikipedia, and uh, it's been documented and stuff like that too. Like, there's no way you can, you can dispute any of this. It's all historical fact. <laughs> what I'm not getting into is speculation and hearsay. All I'm saying is literally what happened. But it's good to know the full picture. You, you got to know um, how Hitler got into power to know why Hitler uh, was even elected in the first place. Thing is, the Archduke they assassinated was the main person in the Austro-Hungarian government advocating for the Serbs. No, actually, he wasn't. He was the um, he was the nephew of the actual ruler of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and that's why he was assassinated. It was to send a message. No one was really like fighting for their rights. Let's be real, because if they were fighting, if if anyone was going to fight for the rights of Georgia. I'm pretty sure it's Georgia. I could be wrong about this. Uh, but if anybody was fighting for the rights of Georgia, they would have granted Serbia Georgia instead of having a... I, I don't know who held it first. It might have been Turkey. It was liberated by a joint effort between, I think, Russia and Austro-Hungarian Empire. And it was granted to the Austro-Hungarian Empire because they were closer. 
The Russia, the Georgia part and the Turkey part, that's all speculation here, so I don't know that one for, for, for a fact. That's why he was in there? Who? That's why who was in there? I imagine you're talking about the actual guy who did the assassinations. Um, Gavrilo. What a guy, actually. I think he got a, dealt a, a bad hand as well, actually. I think that he was convinced to do something he really did not know he was uh, doing by a bunch of really, really bad people who were keeping secrets from him. I don't want to defend him. I don't want to defend him because he did assassinate somebody, but at the same time, like, messages keep not sending. Uh, yeah, that's probably the YouTube bug. I've done a lot of research on this myself. I wanted to know why World War I uh, happened, and then I wanted to know why wo uh, World War II happened. And the other way around, I heard about World War II and then World War I. Neither of them needed to happen. Literally neither of those wars ever needed to happen. They led to such a catastrophic loss of life. It's actually insane. And they also led to the nuke, which uh, secured America and a couple of other world powers as basically uh, going to be perpetual rulers of the earth if they just work together, which is uh, not amazing. Because they also uh, might start war against each other at some point. No one knows. They just won't share the details with each other. Okay, now we're at the point, actually, where we should probably think about getting some platforms. So we should probably do that, right? I said the reason why the Duke was there. The Duke was only there because he was doing a tour of the country uh, with his wife, who was also a rather... Uh, a big political figure in the royal family of the Hungro of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. She wasn't Austro-Hungarian though. She was a um, she, she was a, a a marriage of of tr she was a truce marriage. One of those two. But really, like it didn't have to. None of it had to happen. Nuclear weapons didn't have to happen. Austro-Hungarian Empire did not have to be dissolved. Germany did not have to have austerity imposed on it. Because somebody else assassinated one of their friends. That's that's the biggest kick in the nuts, honestly. Like, it's one thing to be at war with somebody, but it's another thing to be so callous and just maliciously petty and spiteful that you force the best friend of somebody who was killed to pay for the consequences of that best friend being killed. It's, it's just absolutely ridiculous that any of it happened in the first place. It's ridiculous. I, I will never understand it. I will never try and understand it, and I find myself a better person for not being able to understand it. Z30, speaking of nukes, whoops. Uh, this is your reminder that uh, 911 is the cause of the op movie Oppenheim being, being made. Oh my god, is that actually true? There's no shot that that's true. There's no way that's true. 911 did not actually cause Oppenheimer to get made. Although it did... Uh, this is a hot take. I did not like Oppenheimer. It felt to me like propaganda. I'm usually pretty good at spotting propaganda, and once I've spotted it, I can kind of look past it and enjoy it for what it is. But it, it did feel a lot like propaganda. I'll send you the TikTok. Oh, yeah, the best source of news, huh? <laughs> That's okay. I'll look at it. I'll look at the TikTok. I've learned a couple of good things from TikTok. Not a lot. Not a lot of good things, but I have learned some things from, from TikTok. Uh, so we're actually uh, kind of... In a place, we're looking for money. A little bit weird. A little bit weird that we're looking for money. Maybe we have left it at the other place and we didn't have it on us. It could be in the cart, which we just blocked off. But we could also potentially go back home and uh, withdraw some money from the efficiency machine that we've already got. Basically working. Around the clock, uh, we could sell all of that gold and then we could actually buy ourselves a bunch of other stuff. I will defend to the death the pointlessness of World War II. I don't want to defend Germany and their actions across World War II, but gotta be said, it didn't have to happen. It literally did not have to happen. They were uh, gaslit into believing they started this goddamn war. It's just sad. The whole thing is sad. All of it is just a bunch of um, very, very vain people kind of swinging their dong alongs around. Gunner, I still think nuclear power is good. Sure, we shouldn't have any here since we're on a fault line, but refusing nuclear power with subs or ships, kind of stupid. It's not stupid. It's it's not stupid because we don't want them here. We don't want a meltdown in New Zealand. That is literally the reason we do not want them here. World War One and Two shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I think at, at some point, once you know enough about the events that led to World War One and Two, you can just kind of come to your own conclusion, which is it was a pointless endeavor from all parties. Where the hell is our money? It's so weird. 
Oh, it must be in the trap. We'll just go back to, um, we'll go back home. We'll go get some gold with Silver. Three minutes? Okay. Um, I will have to dip off really, really quickly to go and drive my uh, yin set to her appointment very, very shortly. So I will, I'll leave the stream up. I'll leave the music on. I'll probably put on a different album for people to listen to. But I will definitely leave the stream up so that people can look at the efficiency machine just pumping out machinery. How does that sound? Sound good? Yeah, I'm, I'm completely anti-nuclear power. I, I will die on this hill. I don't know many New Zealanders who really support it though, especially after knowing about the whole Rainbow Warrior incident thing. So the amount of countries wanting to show their power in World War II and don't want to shut down, really screw the world. Yeah, but what was it, like 16 separate empires were dissolved by it? But we did get a lot of good technical advancements from that. Did we? Did we though? Did we? Because the computer was always going to be made. It's not like it had an enormous amount of funding or anything like that. It was just one guy who was doing what he liked doing in the first place. Uh, but, uh, honestly, Fritz was probably the only guy to create something good out of World War I and II. Uh, the guy who invented potassium nitrate because... And it's a bit of a paradox. On one hand, he invented it so he could drop more bombs in the name of Germany. But on the other hand, he also uh, single-handedly caused all of the kind of environments that were affected by World War II to uh, uh, kind of regrow, so to speak. Radar? That was going to happen anyway. Penicillin? That was way before the World Wars. That, that had already been um, made into a medicine um, frequently. Synthetic rubber? That was after World War II. Uh, hate, to hate to be that wet blanket. That was after World War II. I know this because somebody else uh, and I had a conversation about this and we were talking about condoms. It was around about 1950 that the, the rubber used for basically anything latex was invented. Before, the, before then, it was kind of like just crappy rubber. It wasn't really rubber, but they come from research from it. Yeah, well, so do war crimes. War crimes all came from uh, the research done by the concentration camps. So if, if you really want to argue things, then argue that. Argue that medicine came from concentration camps. You, you go ahead. You, you justify the concentration camps by uh, saying all of the medical knowledge that we found from them that we still use today. Perfect. Anzac cookies were invented in World War II. That is true. And they're racist. They're, uh, the, uh, the, um, the walnut on top is supposed to represent a turban. It's a little racist joke from southern New Zealand, but it is quite funny. War crimes came from Canada? No, the concentration camps across World War II. Uh, uh, the obvious ones on World War II. Why Canada? Uh, I've got a dip, by the way. I have to uh, leave. I'm going to go and drop my yin set off at her appointment, and then I'll be right back to play a little bit more Hydroneer. Probably for an extended stream as well. Sound good? Good. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I fixed chat. I fixed chat. It was the most annoying thing. It just wouldn't read from the browser. Good grief. <laughs> I need to stop using Streamlabs OBS. Honestly, they have let me down so many times. It is so goddamn frustrating. All right, so uh, we are here. I now get the luxury of seeing how much Cloudium we have. Let's see how much Cloudium we have. We have 400... Buckery booze with a Cloudium. You know what that means. We get to set up some deep mining. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, let's actually drop this in the back of here. And we'll think about going back to the other place. No, we were here because we were out of money, weren't we? We misplaced, we misappropriated our funds, which is a little bit of a cardinal sin. Wait for those to go in there. And then we'll pour it. And now we'll weigh it. We have 169,000 buckery booze right here in our hands. Let's go ahead and go to the city. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and we'll sell all of those buckery booze. We'll get a little bit of money. Actually, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to sell all of my buckery booze up at uh, the castle here. And I'm pretty sure that maybe we should perhaps think about doing some of the campaign stuff. Because there is some campaign stuff here. I don't think there's any story, but there's definitely campaign stuff that's actually worth doing. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> this is a hard place to drive to. I wonder if she just crapped herself seeing a gigantic tractor come all the way up this hill. 
Hello, lady. I'm here to take literally all of your life savings. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got that, we can go and get all the piping set up, right? For the MILF's aquifer. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to the MILF's aquifer. We'll say, well, bump every single tree on the way back. We'll say hello to our very, very delightful kind of lakeside cabin right here. Hello, lakeside cabin. And uh, all of the crap that's being dredged up from the earth as a consequence of it being there. <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and I think maybe we should get a couple of the Cloudium machines on the way back to Milf's Aquif- No, don't fall off! Oh, <laughs> oh that's really frustrating. Uh, we're going to have to go back around here, unfortunately. Probably through here. I don't know why the car is spinning out like crazy. Why is it getting itself stuck at this point? I thought that maybe it would kind of stop trying to drive itself after I take my hands off the controls, but apparently that's not actually the case at all. All right. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit snuffly. The temperature outside is outside is uh, not good. It's like two degrees outside, which is revolting. Celsius, in case anybody's uh, watching this in the future. Also, I fixed chat. <laughs> I fixed it. Great, so we'll take all of this wealth over here. We will try and make ourselves as many of these Cloudium things as we possibly can. We should probably get a bucket. <clears throat> Probably get a bucket so we can keep the Cloutium and the Iron together. Whee! Vertigo time. Very good. Hello there, Blah Hush. Uh, I fixed chat! I fixed chat. It wasn't showing up in the uh, top left-hand corner, but I fixed it. I don't know how I fixed it either. It just started working. Crazy. I absolutely hate that. <laughs> Alright, so we have about 400 kilos of Cloutium here. We're about to get ourselves some Tier 2 machinery. Let's see how much we need. We need, okay, so we can get ourselves four items. We also need a thousand kilos of iron, which we actually have in the truck, strangely. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, uh, I took a little bit of a break. I drove Yinset to a an appointment and uh, we had a bit of a chat on the way. It's quite nice. Quite nice actually being able to hang out with my girlfriend during daylight. But uh, now she's at her appointment and I got nothing better to do than mine up a storm. <coughs> I am wearing a hoodie, probably for the second time in my channel's history. I usually don't do such a thing, such an act, such an action on this channel, uh, on account of my hulking guns, but I feel like it attracts people. I don't know why, but it's really, really cold here. Okay, let's take this iron. I'm pretty sure we've got like 16,000, no, uh, 1,600 kilos of this stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to make at least a couple of Clausium injectors. But if we have to go back to Ember's Cradle to kind of get more resources, I'm happy to do so. Lahaj. White box? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I tried to fix chat. I basically... So, this whole stream, chat wasn't working. I had an overlay basically set to read chat. And it just would not take. It just wouldn't take. Okay, here's our first tier two item. Boom! It is a big... Uh, I think... I don't think it's a thumper. I think it's a... Huh? Swallower. Uh -huh. Looks like a swallower of some sort. Uh, let's go around all the slats so we can fall around. So, yeah, uh, chat, I try to literally stick it in the chat where it usually is because I it changed the source at which I'm now reading chat. I'm now reading it straight off of my recording software, which is the first time in history I've got it to do that. So, when I got that working, I was like, okay, fantastic. I'll get, I'll get chat to work around this. Uh, I input chat and it didn't actually uh, pick it up. For the last, like, four and a half hours, it just refused to pick it up. Okay, here's our first Cloudium set. Nice. So, what I did was I uh, stuck in a different browser to read off of, and it uh, read that just fine. Then I stuck chat back in, and works absolutely perfectly now. Well, Hush, I was way back into the live stream. Jet ski thingy? Jet ski thingy? I have no idea what that means. Okay, uh, we need 500 iron and 50 cladium for the next one. Pretty sure we've actually got that maybe in hand. And if we don't, again, we can still go back to Ember's Cradle and kind of manage that. Did you see we've got a house? Did you see we've got a productive enterprise set up at Ember's Cradle? And we've also built a house, which is going to be safe for this series. Okay, we've got another grinder. Perfect. That is A-OK -okay to me. Probably should have brought a cart down here or something to kind of load everything up onto, but I, I think it should be fine. These machines aren't actually too much of a hazard to kind of load up onto the truck or anything like that. 
Okie dokie. Now that we've got that, let's also get these things here. We're also going to need to get a bucket up in this bad boy so that we can start carrying these ingots um, a little more efficiently than one by one. Two by one would be ideal. Okay, good. And hopefully we've got enough. Nice. Okay, this is our second Clausium set right here, which we have just fully completed the construction of. We don't have enough Clausium uh -huh. to continue construction, however. So we're going to set up these tier two miners down in MILF's aquifer, and we should be absolutely golden. I should probably... I'm not going to leave the uh, resources here, honestly. I probably shouldn't. I'm going to put them on the back of the truck so that we actually know what's in them. I think that's going to be the, the best way of doing this. Okay, good. And we'll stick that there, and we're good. Well, hush, I did not. I was stopped at the pass with you doing something IRL, and there were like four cauldrons. Yeah, I've got a new idle screen because I realized that it's probably unrealistic for me to be able to uh, stream at all hours of the day, so... I've got an idle screen now that's hopefully at least pleasing to look at. Did you at least like it? It's all of the machines kind of pumping resources in Ember's Cradle. That's what we've got so far. Uh, we are about to create a new crown and glory, though. We're about to create a new really big crown and glory over at MILF's Aquifer. Okay, good. And I'm going to back this truck up so it's not so difficult to get all of the things into the back of it. We also got the upgraded truck and we have uh, so much money. We literally do not have anywhere to spend it fast enough. We've got 169 buckery booze. That's insane. It was good? Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to grab everything else instead of just leaping into the car. A boing. There we go. And boing. There we go. And one more. Boing. There we go. And we also need these bars right here. We are spitting hot bars. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I also meant to grab the iron ingot right here. Very cash money. Good. So now we probably don't need to go back to Ember's Cradle. We could probably actually just kind of drive over this hill right here. I think that that'd be the, the way. Let's do that. Let's just drive over this hill and hope for the best. Oh, would you look at that? It's a gigantic MILF's aquifer. Okay, uh, I don't know how much you've missed. We let off a couple of nukes earlier in the stream. Uh, we completely polished off Ember Cradle. We're not going to go back there, except to basically just harvest more resources and sleep in our house. Uh, we are here at MILF's Aquifer. We are basically digging out... We were digging out this tier one kind of mining area right here, but I don't think we're going to keep on going with that because down here, we can now set up tier two machines, which would probably actually be better for our time spent to do so. In fact, if we move all of these pipes, we could probably just set off a nuke down there. Okay, so what we... Oh, poos, I fell down. So we actually need to set up a conveyor system down here. I was thinking about having it come up into kind of this little pothole right here. Because we're in a bit of a, a, bit of a pickle with this part of the map. Um, there's lots that way, but there's really nothing that way. And it's actually quite slender, if we can get to the right spot, at this point right here. However, that way... And onwards, it is actually just magnificent. It is area for days. So we're going to be kind of pushing in there with all of our very, very new, I suppose, machinery. And we were going to make some machinery that came up there. But honestly, at this point, I don't really think it's worth our time anymore. So let's go ahead and just start setting things up, I suppose. Where do we want to do it? Probably closer out this way, closer to the nuke hole. And we probably want to actually... Let's just go ahead, we'll go into town, we'll buy a few more nukes and we'll set them off down south because that's going to be the quickest way of clearing out that area. Lahaj, I stopped at first nuke trying to find every ending in Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. There are a lot of endings in that one. Believe me. I'm, there's like twice the endings than in the base game, isn't there? I think I saw it last time I was researching the, uh, the game for myself. It's going to go up in a stream at some point. It looks really fun, I can't wait to play it. Okay, uh, we have a lot of money. I think that maybe we could get like four or five nukes and still get away with it being an absolute wealthy piece of garbage. Let's do that. We're swerving all over the place still. Okay, we're in. Uh, let's back the truck up. Oops. And this'll get the nukes into the back of the truck a lot easier. We don't have our cart at the moment, unfortunately, Explosives so- no longer come with a warranty. Oh, really? I was gonna return my last two nukes. Right, let's grab these bad boys right here. That one can go down there. We'll grab this one as well. I found a little bit of a, uh -huh. a cheesy cheat with a cart. You can actually load up everything onto a cart and then buy everything after putting the cart on there. And then you can load the cart up onto the back of the truck. 
So we're probably going to do that at some point as well. Yeah, there's like 46 endings. Wowee. But the OG one, there's only 12. Oh my god. That is, that's actually insane. But I got this weird glitch. No way. What was it? Is it game breaking? Do I have to be wary of it? I hope not. I hope I don't have to be wary of it. Okay. I'm going to take a more relaxed stance. I'm going to get onto my truck right here. Hopefully I can read the, the levers from here. No, nope. I'm going to have to do a little bit of black magic here, unfortunately. One. Uh, please, lever. This one right here, sure. There needs to be like a flint and steel for this game. That isn't just a bunch of levers. I mean, they're cheap enough, but placing an item to detonate a nuke is a little bit obnoxious. Okay, we'll grab this one right here. And let's hop over here. Good. One more. Right here. This bad boy will do the trick really huh? nicely. Huh? Huh? Okay, what's this going to sting us? Oh, this is where the wealth we left was. It's in the nuke land. Tried to of course it is. Before. That's where we lost all of our money. Shocking. Okay, I'm going to drop this in there. Or not. Or maybe I'm not going to drop this in there at all. Okay, we have to move the truck forward a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny smidge. Okay, let's drop this into the money bucket. Boop. And it's only going to cost us a uh, $130,000. That's actually chump change for us at this point. Okay, let's put these... Whoops. Put these bad boys back on the truck. I keep hitting Q for, like, drop. Instead of E. I gotta get out of that habit. Okay, nuke, 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 nuke. Lever, 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 lever. Couple more. I stepped out of my office and looked back. It was a grey wall, then I stepped in, and there was now a void, so I didn't step too far into it, or else I'd be soft-locked and looked into the office. There was another void, but I stepped into that one, and I was back into a regular starting office. That's strange. Maybe you got the ending where you, um... May have accidentally, uh, glitched out of the bounce. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's a supported ending, but wouldn't it be cool if it was? Escape the boundaries of the game that literally make up the entire story of the game, which inherently skips the story of the game. That'd be pretty funny, actually, and very meta. Okay. We'll push on up here, up to the MILF's aquifer, and we will set up all of our rigs after we detonate a couple of, a couple of big boys. Come up here. I think this way is the way to the MILFs. Yep. And then we have to take a little shortcut off the road, which is probably not going to damage any machinery or trucks. Uh, good. It didn't damage anything, and we didn't take any hits. Okay. Let's park this bad boy up here. So, now we have lots and lots of wealth. I'm going to sleep real quick. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I jumped myself. There actually is one lol called the Zending by the devs. Ah, that's kind of cool. I do like that. I like when uh, developers put secrets in their games that, you know, you would only or ordinarily find by playing the game organically. Uh, so, I'm going to push this one into this hole right here. I not really fit it there. There it is. Okay, we'll put that there, and hopefully we'll be able to stick a lever. Actually, let's grab this pickaxe right here, because they're annoying to replace. We'll unstick ourselves, and we'll put everything... Kind of far away from where I think the nuke is going to detonate. Uh, we need a lever to detonate this bad boy. And we are good to mine. Excellent. Uh, we have basically mastered the art of the drop hole as well, by the way. Uh, damn, I think we are actually going to need that gosh darn pickaxe. Huh? Yep, huh? we are definitely going to need it. Huh? Okay, let's bring huh? it in here or not. I know it's really close to these pipes. Uh, we can always buy more of these pipes, to be quite honest. Uh, we don't have any of these other Cloudium pipes, though, so we'll just kind of spear them for now. Uh, pickaxe, please. Yes, we'll jump down here, and we should be in a very, very good place. Boop, there we go. Good. Very good, actually. Okay, uh, probably... Here we go. Wonderful. And now we're going to unstuck ourselves so that we can stick our pickaxe out of the blasting range. Let's actually hold this crap pickaxe. No, this is a common pickaxe. This is the good one. Let's go and get the crap pickaxe. And we'll hold this while we detonate the nuke. Because it may actually be a thing to uh, kind of save us from losing an item. If we're too lazy to go topside. Which I, quite frankly, let's face it, I am. Alright, let's hit it. No, it's not working. Okay, let's, uh, let's put this up top. Because we know we're going to lose it. Which will just be annoying. Uh, and we'll go all the way back down Satan's butthole. Is it this one? Is this Satan's butthole? Yep. 
The Saturn's butthole. All right, we're blowing it. Three, two, one, impact. Nice. Also, I have a big thing. When you play the parable first, I think, don't go into the place labeled escape red because it basically spoils everything in the game. Okay, I will keep that uh, in mind. Oh no, where are we? Oh, it didn't actually blow up any of the piping. Ah, so it's got a, a nominal range of around about eight meters, I would say. We can actually use this to our advantage just by kind of like blasting all through the area. Let's, let's use this. Okay, good. And we will go ahead, we'll get the pickaxe. The good pickaxe. And we'll kind of mine in a little bit further so that we can get ourselves access to the bottom floor, which is going to have the best resources. I think maybe like straight down at a 45 degree angle-ish would be ideal about up to, oh, I don't know, say here, maybe? Ah, here we go. Water. Great. So uh, we'll detonate a nuke down there and a little bit further ahead as well. I'm going to crouch down just so we don't accidentally connect holes. And let's put a big hole in there and then we'll mine this out. And this will be our nuke hole. Nuka holer. We'll call it. This will be the nuka holer. I'll be right back. Going to take a shower. You do you, my dude. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Let's get another nuke. And we'll jump down Satan's butthole, of course. Whee! And down we go. Whoops. Too far. Damn it. <laughs> Way too far. We're also going to have to kind of like mine out some egress to get to the conveyor belts down south, which will be a little bit frustrating. Okay. We'll look where we're going this time. And here we go. Nuke right nestled in there. I think that's going to be a good place for it. Let's unstuck ourselves. We can't get out otherwise, and we will get ourselves this lever right here, this logic lever. And down we go. We're going down, down. And we want to logic this up right there. And three, two, one, impact. Oh dear. My ears. Sweet Jesus, my ears. What is going on here? Is this supposed to be like nuclear fallout? Oh, we've hit the edge of the map. Surprising. I hope that didn't cost us a whole nuke. Maybe it did. Maybe it cost us a whole nuke. Well, this is deep, actually. This goes even further than I thought it did. No, it doesn't. This is actually the edge, I think. All right, so we just detonated a nuke. The hell? Kind of in the middle of the place. Let's go ahead and unstick ourselves. We'll get, uh, is this our last nuke? No, we've got two more nukes. Let's go ahead and take this down south. I think maybe we should probably go out this way with the pickaxe and we'll drop a nuke in there. I think would be the best idea. Okay, we'll grab this and back down the butthole. We jump. Whee! Here we go! Oh, damn it. <laughs> I can't believe I've done this to myself as well. So, uh, to plan it out, we need a system of conveyor belts that kind of lead topside, which is going to be separate from the... Machines that we are going to be using to mine. Let's go ahead and see if this leads directly into the middle of the map with our little crouch exploit here. Uh, yep, that looks pretty accurate, uh, but we are going to run out of water sources pretty soon, so maybe we'll just dig straight into this way. We'll blow this nuke, and then we'll use the last one to kind of like try and mine out a really, really good platform for us to stick our conveyor belts. That might be a really, really good idea. Kind of hard to see down here, isn't it? I am crouched, so we can't see through the map. I'm only really using it to survey. I'm not really using it to cheat or anything like that. We're, we're only surveying. Surveying. Okay, uh, I'm stuck. Let's fix that. Damn it, I am stuck. What the hell? What am I stuck by? Okay, good. Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and put our nuke into this hole right here. Right, we have to crouch like a sapper would. Funnily enough, that's actually what my great granddad did in uh, World War One. He was a uh, sapper, kind of person that digs underneath like munitions factories and detonates explosives. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Wish I got to meet him. But at the same time, I uh, I'm also glad I didn't because he uh, came here to New Zealand to settle because he had PTSD. Probably a little bit too TMI, but okay. Three, two, one, impact. All right, we did it. 
We blew down to the water, which is going to be absolutely filthy water because we just detonated a dirty bomb right in front of it. Uh, we are right at the bottom, though. We probably could do with kind of putting a nuke down here as well. Because I've got a sneaky suspicion that maybe, just maybe, it's going to be the one to save me. Right, uh, one last nuke, and I'm pretty sure we dropped our pickaxe up here. Or did we? Oh no, did we blow up our pickaxe? Oh, I think we did. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I love these, like, mushroom clouds. I love the mushroom clouds so much. Okay, uh, last one. Oh, the pickaxe actually survived the impact. Oh my god, nothing else did, though. Good grief. Wowie. Yeah, we're pretty much at the... At the stark edge of the map, aren't we? Okay, so let's do the sappers thing of coming down here with a pickaxe. And we'll try and blow out... Oh, maybe actually we just blow out this area here. Maybe we stick a nuke in between these two to just kind of open up egress. Down to the bottom floor. Because we do need to get down to the bottom floor. That's where we're going to set up our best machines. Actually, we could probably do this ourselves with a pickaxe, to be quite honest. Excuse me. I said, excuse me! What the hell is going on? Am I, like, stuck on this ledge or something? Yes, I was, actually. Okay. Righty ho! Let's continue on through here. Maybe we can get ourselves into the next little portion of the map. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Excuse me. Rock, I need to get through here. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Uh, we'll mine this out. We'll try and look through the map again to survey all of our surroundings. See what our elven eyes see. Gotta, gotta angle it downwards, don't you? Okay, we can't stand, which is a little bit frustrating. Gotta get rid of that little bit right there and that little bit right there so we can see through. Okay, so there is actually a way deeper zone just down here. Let's actually go ahead and start mining towards this so that we could, I don't know, blow a nuke above it? Sounds pretty good to me, honestly. Let's blow a nuke above it. All right, we've hit the, uh... Wait, what the hell? Is this tier three? Oh, I think we've actually hit tier three. Okay, so we want to set up the Klausium Miners. Basically, where we have kind of ended up up here, we don't want to go into tier three territory because that's going to be core stone. We don't have the tier. We don't have the tier for that. Okay, I glitched up there a little bit. That was weird. So in here probably is actually the best place to detonate our nuke. Actually, the, the first the first little theory that I had is going to be the best one. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> we are stuck down here, apparently. Hopefully not forever. Nope. We're not going to be stuck down here forever. Good. And let's go ahead and also start mining up here. Because we probably want to start piping all of these pipes down on the bottom floor at this point. Or maybe we just kind of blow out a lower level with this neat. Nuke. Actually, that's exactly what this nuke is going to do if we kind of nestle it in here, so let's just do that. Stick it in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our... Okay, the crouching is uh, a little bit confusing at this point. Might have to use the unstuck button. Wee! 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 Nope, don't got it. Okay, let's unstuck ourselves and we'll go down Satan's butthole again. Try and give ourselves access to that pickaxe, because we need to dig out the lever. Actually, while we're up here, we may as well just grab the last lever as well. It is... Is it that one? No. It's that. Right there. Got it. I pixel hunted it out of the car. Right. Uh, I'm going to drop that down there. Pickaxe is going to come with me. We want to mine out enough room to put the lever right there. Right there. Okay. We're not going to blow it just yet. We're going to get this pickaxe out of the way. And then we're going to do everything else basically by hand. And by hand, I mean by this pickaxe that we already have. All right, three, two, one, impact. Oh, that's nice. Let's unstuck ourselves so we can see above ground. Ah, mushroom class, that's what I like to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another Satan's butthole, or maybe actually just kind of like extend this path out so we can drop down a little bit easier without going all the way down to the bottom hole. Good, 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 good. Wonderful, even. Okay, I'm dropping down. I'm actually going to widen this hole a little bit so we can drop a few more things down. Good, that should be fine. Right, so this is probably the first place we're going to want to set up our machines, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's on a weird, annoying angle. So let's go ahead and maybe mine out all this way. 
try and join it up with the machines that we have already planted down here. Sorry, the piping, not the machines themselves. And we'll see what we've got to work with. Because it, it might be a lot of kind of tunneling and infrastructure that we need to do to kind of get this place up and running. I see the exit. Exit. Alright, good. We are kind of tunneling our way through. We've probably got a lot of little anthill tunnels all over the place here. Alright, great. And we're through! Very cash money. Alright, what is this? This is just the pipes, and they are actually on a diagonal, which is a little bit of a damp fart. Probably didn't have to remove the Cloudium Injector. Probably not necessary, to be quite honest. Although it is on an annoying angle, so we're probably going to have to, instead of going this way, probably going to have to go straight down here, right? And we are also going to have to set up some intake pipes to manage the sorting system too, which we kind of want to pop out at the entrance of the zone here. So if I can maybe spend the last of this session at least piping all of that in, we can definitely go into town and we can set all of that up in the next session that we play. Alright. Got some seeds stuck in my teeth. I had a sandwich right before I came back to the live. Okay, that was weird. I got a little glimpse of the of the void. Got a little bit of lapel de vida right there. If anybody knows what that is, then a uh, big high five to you. But also, I'm really, really sorry that you know that. <laughs> okay, got a bunch of crap here we're mining out. We've basically mined out a sewer pipe at this point. But this should be in line with the injectors. Nope, we missed it. We mined out a little bit for ourselves. We didn't mine out enough of the injectors. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. It is what it is, though. It's fine. So we'll come all the way down here. Gonna basically set all of this area up as mining facility, I would say. I know we use all of our nukes to kind of, like, find the best area instead of kind of pathening a little bit, to quote Valheim, but... I think we definitely used them in... We didn't use them irresponsibly. We didn't just blow them up on the topsoil to kind of see what was beneath it. We didn't do that, which is very, very good. We didn't have to do that, which is good that we didn't. Okay, uh, a little bit stuck in here. Let's mine out a little bit more egress for us. So basically what I'm doing now is mining out some pipes here to power some machinery. And we're going to work on conveyor systems maybe later. We're going to need like a big spiral of conveyor systems, I think. And we're definitely going to set up like a gem sorting system in this place. That's definitely going to be something that we want to do here. Because we're going to get some enormous rocks from this area. Okay, so. We don't need this pipe going all the way upwards. Let's uh -huh. take this elbow. Oops, let's drop our pickaxe in the water and lose uh -huh. it immediately. We'll drop that elbow because we don't need it. And we're going to start piping, I think, basically through here. And we still need the the intake pipe, don't we? We still need the intake pipe. We don't have access to that. We still... <clears throat> There's a lot of things, actually, that are going into play right now. So what we are going to need is kind of like a big zone in here. We'll dig out for maybe the first couple of machines. And we're also going to want them very, very close to the... Uh, sorting system, which is way back that way. Maybe if we glitch through the map a little bit, we can see which direction we should be mining, which is that way. Have we already mined that way? Yeah, so this is hopefully where the sorting system is going to go. Right up the jacksy up here. Okay. Let's actually get the... Yeah, let's come down. Let's uh -huh. put this uh, pickaxe down. We'll put this pipe all the way down here. We'll go up top and we'll go and get the cart that has all of the parts in it. Including the outtake pipe and that T-pipe that we've just kind of left on the ground there. Wait, where is it? We didn't blow it up, did we? Oh no. Oh no, please tell me we did not blow up the cart. That had 30,000 bucks worth of pipes on it. Oh, where could we have possibly put it? Might actually be down south. Okay, we'll go down south. Uh, I'm going to leave the T-pipe here. Probably most likely to be down here, given what we were doing down here. Whoops. I thought there was a way down there. Turns out there's not. There's no way down the molehill. We didn't leave it at Ember Cradle, did we? Okay, uh, gonna put this near to where we want to go down to. Let's go ahead and do a save. We'll jump ourselves, skip through the night. 
We'll go check out Emma Cradle. I think that we may have left our cart there, which probably wasn't the smartest idea, but, you know, it's part of the course with this playthrough. It's probably the least destructive thing that has happened to us in our entire Hydroneer journey. All right, uh, we'll come all the way through here. It could be covered in building materials, to be quite Oh, that's right, it might actually be at the store. We may have left it at the store. We may not have actually put it on the back of the truck. Let's just make sure that's the case before we take the enormous trip to Ember Cradle. We also need to go ahead and buy a bucket that just stays on this truck at all times. I just hit somebody, and that bucket is basically going to fill this place. All right, where would we have put it? Probably ahead here. No? Oh, yeah, there it is, actually. Fantastic. Okay. We still uh -huh. haven't bought the stuff, which is weird. Oh, I think it's because we lost all of our money, right? We lost all of our money, so we couldn't buy it. We got caught in a bit of a doom loop. Give me that. Give me that 72,000 buck repos. Wonderful. Put that there. Uh, we'll grab this cart, and we will stick it on the back of the tractor. Right, yep. Good, 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 good. Wonderful. And let's put it here. Good. And it's welded. Good. So we've also got a bunch of platforms that we can also place down. Maybe we'll do that right at the bottom, but I don't think we really want to restrict ourselves to the water down at the bottom of the MILF's aquifer, to be quite honest. Might not be the thing we want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and go left for the first time in forever, and we'll go right again to go straight to MILF's aquifer, because I know exactly where it is at this point. I know exactly where it is. Okay. We are here, so now we can go ahead and... We'll get the cart. Ah, oh, bugger. I just realized that there's so many of these uh, platforms right here that probably needs placing to... Yeah, we're going to do that. We're actually just going to place all of these here. One here and one here and one here and one here. Uh, we dropped that one. Let's try and stack them as best as we can. Oh, we can actually place them as well. Why was I not just placing them? Okay, we'll do that. We'll make a, a gigantic furnace. I know how funny that sounds, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's no laughing matter to be an engineer. I know there's butt jokes and there's dick jokes and there's all kinds of jokes that you can make as an engineer, but sometimes the best thing to do is just not to buy into those things. I also don't know how I would write furnace into a joke, quite honestly. <laughs> it, so it sounds like a couple of dirty words mixed together, to be quite honest. All right, let's drop all of this up here. We've made a wall. Excellent. Trump would be proud. Although, do we actually want Trump's pride? I don't think so. I don't think any of us want Trump's pride. That is not something we ever want on this channel. Okay, so we can take this down into the hole down here. And we're going to go all the way down into this little crevice. And we're going to start filtering up the conveyor system, I think would be the best option, right? So we're going to need the intake pipe, which we've actually left up top like an idiot. Uh, there it is, right there. We'll take this one, right here. And we'll drop down Satan's butthole. And here we are. So, we want to not line it up into there. We kind of want to drag it up through here, I would say. Maybe we stick it... We'll put it... We'll put it here, uh -huh. and we'll turn uh -huh. it in... Whoops. We'll put it there, right? And then we'll put a straight pipe onto it. Whoops. If we put a straight pipe onto it, kind of facing out this way, then we can put a, a valve on it. Or maybe even a T-junction. Let's put a T-junction on it, actually. Probably the... No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Because we need a straight on it to put the valve hook on it. Good, let's see if this lines up to the hole. It actually does. This is working out really well in our favor. Let's hook that up. And now we probably want to start elbowing upwards in a, in a weird little pattern, I think. All right, let's stick that there. And we'll also stick this one up on top of that right there. And another elbow right here. We're going to need a lot of elbows, by the way. And another elbow. Uh, lost my... Fingers there for a second, right there, and one more elbow. Yep, good. And we're probably going to have to turn it very, very soon. Actually, it is uh, kind of butting into the ceiling there, so let's go ahead and find our pickaxe, which I'm pretty sure we left downside. Is that it? No. Where is it? Where did we leave it? Do we pick it up and, and leave with it? Okay, we've got a few pipes there. Right! That's not our pickaxe. No, 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 no. Where is our pickaxe? Ah, there it is, in front of the wall, laying in the shadows. Must be a hot day. Okay, we'll come down here into Satan's butthole, and we will start picking out the garbage. Oops. 
That is the dirt in the way of progress, of capitalism and progress. That's what we're all about. We're all about capitalism, baby. That's exactly why we started this game, to capitalize. Capitalize on the fact that we're the only ones capable enough and uh, not lazy enough to actually get this functioning. We're making, we're making Hydrogenia great again. So many Trump references. God, he's such a quotable dickhead, isn't he? I absolutely hate him and everything he stands for. God, he's so quotable. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. What an asshole. Okay, uh, we'll put this one right there. And we will also kind of like walk up these. Oh, we can actually walk up these. Nice. Put that there. And we're kind of getting out of earshot of these here little dudes. Go ahead and grab that. We'll go back up here. Let's put this one here. Uh, I'm going to change the album. I'm going to change the album to something a little bit less country, right? I know everyone's probably enjoying the country. But let's go ahead and put on some Seether. <laughs> let's get some emo angst up in this up in this engineer playthrough, like an actual engineer. Because I've worked with the actual engineers and they love their angst. Especially at work. Especially in an uncensored format that uh, nobody can can bother to be around. Okay, we're really excavating this place out. We've made a real mess, honestly. We've made an absolute mess of this whole zone. But I think that it's not so bad, right? Because we've got a platform here that we can kind of, like, now walk onto. That is about tier one soil, I would say. Throw that in the dirt, in the soil, in the water, in the mud. Had to kind of, like, uh, think about what soil and, uh, and water was for a second there. Okay, put this here. Good. And this one right here. Let's go ahead and plant this bad boy right here. Good. We're probably going to have to mine some more out to get ourselves access upwards. And this is basically going to be exactly what you think it is. It's going to be a really, really uh, kind of gratuitously long uh, sorting system. This is going to be the conveyor belts to the sorting system. And the reason we stuck the, um, the intake pipe right at the bottom there is because we can stick more intake pipes going further up the chain. Okay. We're going to go straight up until we can't go up anymore. And then we're going to start kind of snaking around, I suppose. All right, good. Can't reach that. Let's go ahead and continue giving us a little bit more wiggle room. We're pretty close to the top surface, I think now. I just saw a little bit of top surface poking through. Okay, good. And let's get more elbows. I'm glad I got so many elbows now. I wasn't going to get so many elbows, but now I'm really, really glad I did. And we're going down here, and we'll get some more. I'm actually going to take the card, and we're going to drop it off onto this little ledge right here as well, so it's a little bit easier to get these pipes. Or we could just get them one by one down here. Yeah, let's do that. We don't have a tier 1 pickaxe, so we'll just dig through the tier 1 dirt into the tier 2. We don't really want to mix that up necessarily we don't we don't want them mixing okay let's grab this and up we go very good right there nice and one more up here good and we'll put this one right there conveyor system probably doesn't need any water purifiers it doesn't really make a difference so we're not going to bother with the water purifiers on this thing right here but what we are going to bother with is water purification on our uh, kind of main mining uh, situation Okay, I fell off. I fell off a little bit, unfortunately. Okay, let's go up here. We'll dig out some more egress for ourselves. We should be close to topsoil, by the way. We should be really, really close to topsoil. Okay, good. I mean, we're basically snaking up the edge of the map right here. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the edge of the map. So we're actually pretty close to the edge of the map. We're kind of reaching the limitations and boundaries of what we can actually do with ourselves. Man, this is a deep-ass hole, isn't it? Oh my god. Wow. I was expecting to have hit topsoil by now, but it seems like we're... Maybe not even close. No, we're definitely close. There it is. Okay. I was a little bit skeptical for a second, and I should have just kept my skepticism to myself. I should have just... I should have just stayed confident that we we're about to find the exit. I'm gonna dig it all the way to the edge so that we can actually see where the edge is. Good. Okay, and now we're going to go down the stairway to hell, and we are going to continue elbowing all the way up into topsoil territory. This is going to be uh, basically kind of like a long, a longer version of the Ember Cradle. Because basically there's only really one way to set up all of your pipes so that it's actually mining effectively. 
You go all the way to bottom soil, and that's that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on here. Very good. And we probably only need a few more. I don't know if I got too many elbows, but we're definitely going to need them when it comes to actually sticking in the... The extractors, the mining utilities. Okay, good. Come up here, and we'll drop this one on top of this bad boy. Lost the key for a second there. And we'll grab... Oh, I actually highlighted a, a T-pipe, but we grabbed an elbow, which is most fortuitous. Uh, we're kind of stuck. Go ahead and pump that forward a little bit. Uh, we go. Good. There. Good. Okay, now we need to get our pickaxe, because we can't actually get ourselves out of here if we go up here. I think we'll kind of, like, treat this as the path that leads us to salvation every single time we're actually down in the hole. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but we can see the sun every time we go up this way. I don't know if that's going to be the case every time, because it seems to be moving, but... Hey, it's a nice view, right? It's literally the light at the end of the tunnel. Good. Hello? Okay, we have made it exactly where we have wanted to make it, which is just the best. I love that so much. Let's go ahead and get some elbows, and we will kind of plug off what we've already started, or we could just continue <laughs> upwards without plugging anything. Okay. And we'll take this one, and we'll fall off the pipes. That was all intentional. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. That was completely intentional. We all saw that coming. That was part of the plan. All right, and right here. Good. Now we're really, really close to top surface. So let's go ahead and finish off this lift. And then we'll see what we've kind of got to work with. No! Okay, we're going to unstuck ourselves because we know this is right at the top over here. Over here, by the way. It's over here. And now we need to think about how we want to orient the sorting system. Because I think we kind of want to snake a little bit this way. And then kind of have it pull facing inwards. But over here, like in a line. No, actually, we don't. Let's not do that whatsoever. Let's have a big line of crap that just goes along here straight at the entrance of this place. And from there, I think we kind of just have all of the resources that we could possibly take facing out this way, which probably actually means we could get a better lift going in here. So let's go ahead and go down here. We'll get a pickaxe. We'll start orienting ourselves in a different direction to kind of save on the pressure. Maybe about here. Yeah, maybe about maybe about here. We'll start digging upwards towards topsoil. And this should save us a bit of pressure, which means a quicker egress through the topsoil. Okay, good. I don't think we bother. I don't think we bother with, like, uh, super, super deep, intricate efficiencies. I think this is probably good enough. So let's go ahead, finish off all of the lifts that would lead this pipe here up to the surface. And that'll save us some pressure, which will give us a little bit of leeway when it comes to kind of backtracking along the other end of the T-intersection that we already kind of committed to creating down at the bottom of this here sorting system. Okay, I'm stuck on that. Good. And up here. Good. All right, we made it. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go down and we'll start kind of backtracking the pipes. Actually, we kind of need this one to... Pipe into this one, and then... No, actually, if we take this one, turn it sideways, like this. We'll take this one. We'll turn it like that. Good. And this should snake up that way. We're also going to need a straight here, I think. No, we're going to need a straight down there. Okay, so let's put this one, instead of there, we'll put it here, like that. So we're going to need a straight pipe in between these two. Uh, so let's stick this one there. This one can be a straight pipe. And then we'll start kind of like feeding up this way, I think, would be the best idea. Uh, this way. Good. Let's plug that in there. I'll go ahead and take this. We'll replace it with a straight pipe. It's worth it. It's actually going to be worth it. Get a straight pipe. And we're up here. Good. Good, good, good. And we'll turn this sideways. And now we'll start kind of like uh, unplugging all of this stuff up to the top right here. No, actually, we need the, we need the pickaxe to kind of like dig out this path right here too. So let's do that. And then we'll basically have the path for the sorting system. And I know it might be the better idea to kind of first create the actual machines that are mining. But I do think that this is probably going to be worth it. 
here we are. I'm going to dig into this side right here with a crappy pickaxe that I found in a bush somewhere. It's absolutely fine. Dig in through here. Yep, there's the uh, one we accidentally placed because we we're a little bit stuck. Okay, good. And we will go all the way to the top here because we are diligent and we don't leave anything to chance. Yes! Okay, good. And let's go ahead and whack all of this up here. Oh, that's where the good pickaxe is. Exactly where I wanted to drop that one. That's funny. Okay, uh, let's uh, go ahead and connect this bad boy up. Yes, no. Yes, there we go. Okay. And we want to start maybe unpose. Not unpose. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say we're going to start unplugging things up top. We're going to jump over ourselves, or maybe we're going to have a restful sleep tonight. That's not like us. I hope we're okay. All right, very good. And let's go ahead and start plugging things in from here. Nope, wrong hole. Nope, wrong hole. <laughs> uh, from here down into this one here. All right, and a little bit further down. We can't do that because of the, the mud. Oh my god, so much mining goes into this. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll dig all of this out. Again, let's not leave anything to chance. Let's just leave it at the nuclear option of just dig everything that could potentially be in the way out. And hopefully our estimations are good. Okay, good. We'll drop that there. And we'll go ahead and plug this bad boy over here. Right there. Very good. We'll have to go up and over to get to the other pipes again. Where are they? Not in there. There they are. Okay, we'll grab this one. And done we come. Excellent. We'll plug this one right here here. Good. Let's go ahead and start backtracking up these pipes, because I'm pretty sure that we're falling through the map. Okay, let's go ahead and <laughs> unstuck ourselves. We'll come down here. We might also want to start sticking cement blocks underneath everywhere that we could be working. Would be really smart, to be quite honest. Might be really, really smart. That one goes there. This one here can go there. This one here can go even further forward. Or, yeah, it does actually fit. Good. And now we jump up here. Good. Excellent. Okay, a little bit stuck. Wonderful. So, let's put this one right here. Awesome. And we, now we only need a couple more elbows, and we should have access to all of this right here. So, uh, I do kind of want it all to go in a line just along here, I would say. So, I'm, I think we may have wanted to start the kind of sequence of pipes a lot further back back than we did, but we still are pretty close to it. Let's not worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves so we can work at the top side. Uh, getting a little bit of frame drop. It's probably because of all the things in the back of this, this car that we have on our back. Okay, let's grab the pipe right here. And I think maybe one more lift. Yep, good. M one more lift this way. Good. One more. This is it. There we go. So, now we want this to come a little bit further this way and snake into the road that way, I would say. So, let's get another one of these here. What's my doodles? And we'll put it, hopefully, orienting the right way, maybe. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, wonderful. Uh, also, just realize how aggressive this album is. I'm going to take it off. Go ahead for Dragged Under. They're pretty good. Okay, so, straight pipes now. We want lots and lots of straights. Uh, where are they? Where have we put them? We put them here. Good. We could probably actually just plug them in from here, right? Yep. Good, and good, and good, and... Whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. We can just uh, rechamber it. Good. One more over here. One over here. One over here. And one over here. And one over here. Nope, that's a T-pipe. We don't want that. And we want this right here. Good. And we want this right here. So, we're actually getting a another kind of ore from here. So, we're going to need an additional auto smelter. So, we're going to need five auto smelters. And we should be good. Oh, you know what? I actually know exactly the album that we should put on right here. It is... Oh, what is it called? Uh... It's the most recent Try Not To Bop Challenge. Right here. 
This one. This one right here. Good, okay. Hollywood Undead's Chaos. We're going to be doing that one for a bit. Wonderful. Uh, let's bring up my streaming software. I'm actually really pleased that I managed to get chat working on the streaming software itself because I didn't think that I was able to do that at all. all right, I'm probably going to need to plug that in with a cork. But now we just need lots and lots of conveyor belts, basically. That's all we need now. So let's take this cart and we'll start kind of backtracking down into Satan's butthole to this way. Okay, let's put this here. It's, it's probably blocking the way, but I think it's probably fine, honestly. Go ahead and get a straight pipe right here. Now, that's diagonal. That's not good. We don't actually want it to be diagonal. That's going to be really, really annoying to pipe in, honestly. We could probably just, like, do elbows side to side over and over again until we kind of, like, reach this area that we'd already committed to setting up all of the machines. In fact, you know what? Let's actually blow another nuke. Let's blow another nuke down there so that we've got a lot of area to work with. I think that's going to be a good idea. We're going to go ahead, get our pipes up top side, and we're going to go into town. We're going to buy some nukes. One nuke, actually. Just the one nuke. Maybe two. Maybe, maybe one. Maybe two. Maybe one. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. They're $24,000, and we still need the levers as well. But we probably also should get a lot more of these Clautium Elbows. Because we obviously need way more than the game's giving us. So we will go and get these. That's the thing though, right? When you actually get to a certain point in the game, money is completely trivial. Alright, uh, we want to go up here. Maybe we'll get two nukes. We'll blow two nukes so that we've got a lot of room to work with, I think. Just in here. And then we'll kind of dig out the excess by hand. I've got, I've got a good idea of, of how to kind of gauge the nukes, I would say. Let's go ahead and drop a couple of nukes onto this cart right here so we can buy them quickly. Never forget. Yeah, good. Thanks for thanks for huh? that. There we go. And we will come over here. Boop. Let's get this bad boy. Drop that right there. And we also need two levers right here is one of these levers that I was just talking about in the same sentence that I'm currently saying right now. I'm going to drop one right here. Excellent. Uh, let's get a bunch of these elbows, too. Well, oh, no, we can't, actually, because they don't sell them here. Okay. Let's go ahead. We'll take the money. We'll drop it in here. We are actually spending a lot of money. Oh, my days. We've already blown a hundred grand. That is insane. Okay, let's, uh... I don't know if we should be more f more thrifty, though. It's, that's the thing. you got to spend money to make money, and it seems like this game is one of those games we... Oh, no, the card just fell off the back. That's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this again, and we'll come all the way through. Go back here, and the cart's on just fine. Wonderful. Okay, good. And we're off. Probably to go and get some more Cloudium Elbows, because quite frankly, we need a heap of them. We're going to need a lot of them. No, let's actually blow the... Let's blow that Popsicle stand before we actually decide on just kind of zigzagging our way through like a, like a couple of dunces. It might not be the answer that we actually apply to this situation. Okay, don't know what I hit in the road right there, but it almost cost us a drift. And we are home. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, let's keep the truck pretty far away from the nukes. I, d I don't know if it blows up or anything like that, and I don't want to find out because it was expensive. Although in saying that, with all of what we're doing right here, we've probably all already kind of generated more money than we had before. Oop, I fell in the hole. This is actually where we want to be, though. Very good. Okay, so let's go all the way down here. We'll drop off this uh -huh. cart. And we will grab one of these nukes to go down into the hole we've built right here. I'm going to put it right here. And the excess towards here that we kind of need to dig out, I'll dig out by hand. All right, let's stick this one right here. All right, three, two, one, impact. I'm blind. I am literally blind. I cannot see. I don't know if we did something good. I don't know if we did something bad. The world is on fire. <laughs> uh, I, I can't see. Where's the exit? Oh, this nuke has dis, dis, discombobulated me. Is it down here? Oh, perfect. Uh, did we just blow up our card of things? Oh my God. <laughs> Suppose we're about to find out. No, we were pretty, we're pretty far off from it actually. 
weird. I'm actually stuck in here now. What? Seriously? That's so weird. Okay, I don't know if we want to keep these straights, to be honest. We can probably just throw them back into the cart and then blow this whole area out, right? We'll stick it. Yeah, we'll stick a nuke right there, I think, because we have hit an edge over here. That's not a great place to set up the mining items. Pose. We actually need to go up topside. Okay, let's go and grab our tier 2 pickaxe right here. And we'll go and head into the piping system. We'll try and backtrack as far as we can through here. And we'll let ourselves out through here because I think that maybe the geometry has shifted a little bit. There we go. Good. And I'm going to leave this in here. Let's go ahead and grab this here wagon. We'll come in through here and we will take the straight pipes. We'll whack it back onto the wagon, I think would be a, a really, really good idea. One here, one here, and can't really reach the rest of them, but we don't really want to go back and purchase more of these pipes right here. So I'm just going to grab all of these and we are going to stick a nuke in that hallway. Here we go. One nuke right here. I think this is probably going to be the best place for it too. One there. Actually, let's get it a little bit higher. Maybe here. Right there, I think. Uh, let's get the cart away from it so we don't lose all of our crap. Uh, we'll get over our pickaxe because it's actually blocking where we want to put this cart. What do you mean? What? Drop it! Drop the cart! Is it because of the pickaxe? Come on, man. You're better than that. Huh? What? Seriously? Okay, it was the pickaxe the whole time. Great, uh, let's grab this lever right here. The cart's far enough away. I don't really care what angle it's at. And we will plug it in right here. Three, two, one, impact! Okay, we're discombobulated again. Uh, good, but we actually know the way out this time. Excellent. Uh, that thing's useless. It's scrap. We don't want it. Let's go ahead and get our pickaxe out. We didn't really go through the points we wanted to, but we do have a clear line of sight to kind of like pipe in some more efficient piping, I would say, than we did before. How many nukes happened while I was gone? Uh, two. Only two nukes. We just kind of used the last of our money to blow out some points at which we are going to set up some machinery. Mainly we were just setting up the conveyor system to go topside. So when we go and get the conveyor system, We'll be all good. All right, let's uh, mine all of this out. Chip it all out, and we'll be able to basically park our cart in here in case we ever need to blow another nuke in this region. And we're almost through. Almost through. Very close. Oops, I just had to twitch snipe the actual uh, points. I don't know why, I just had a spasm in my wrist. It looked really weird. I'm aware of this. I'm aware that the spasm looked weird. Okay, good. So about 7.5 minutes per nuke. If you want to kind of like ratio it per minute, then yeah, you could say that uh, from the time you were gone. Although there was also maybe two nukes per minute in the time it took us to actually blow the two nukes. We were kind of like, a, a, we, we just kind of spent a, a little bit of money on, on some nukes. We treated ourselves. So we didn't have to spend all of our time mining all this out. Because it seems like we're going to have to like, we're going to have to get like, uh, it's a little bit annoying to explain as well. We're going to have to elbow these diagonally all the way down here, which is just going to be hell on the pressure as well. Okay. We'll bust through here. I think in this one here is probably where we want to start setting up our... Uh, what are they called? Our, uh, our machines. Our munchers. Our ore munchers, I think. Okay, we'll bust through here. Looks pretty good so far. I'm going to clear out this entire egress right here so we can actually... Kind of access it a little bit easier than we ordinarily would. Gonna mine out a little bit of a a nice wee manageable chunk for myself, and then we're gonna get to work on this bit right here. Probably also do with a bunch of TNT. But at the same time, it doesn't actually blow that big, so I think it would actually not be worth our time to use TNT whatsoever. I think nukes are the way to go, especially when you're just getting into a landmass for the first time. Luckily, let's bust all this down. We're also gonna need a bunch of torches, because I can't see Dick Diddly down here either. So there's only two people watching. Where did Gunner and Z30 go? Uh, Z30 is a good friend of mine. I know that he has finished work. Gunner maybe went to sleep. I have no idea. Everybody I know is on different time zones. So, uh, yeah, I'm just busting through. Z30, I'm the one watching while I play Destiny 2. Oh, of course! That's exactly what my stream analytics were telling me. 
Right, right, right. So you're the one playing the Destiny. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. All right. So we've got kind of like the, the yucky part of all of this out of the way at this point. It is a yucky. It is a yucky job, to be quite honest. And we've got an egress hole right at the top here, which we can just bust down at a moment's notice. So we can probably also start setting up the machines down here, which are going to take their own intake system as well. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe we kind of like... Yeah, we are going to have to elbow all of these out this way. And the reason for that is, unfortunately, we've hit the edge of the map just over here. We could probably actually just make it a little bit more effective by kind of getting rid of this stuff and using straights to get all the way to the edge of the map before we actually elbow outwards from it. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So just Gunner is gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to make people sit here and watch the stream. No idea where gun is gone. Uh, he had a, uh, a heated exchange where he uh, tried to defend the power of nuclear physics to me. Uh, I wasn't having it. Maybe I scared him away. Maybe I scared him away with the clean and green New Zealand attitude. Okay, all the way through here. Good, 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 good. Very, 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 very good. Let's start getting straight into the hole right here. Uh, we might also not be able to... Can we duck these? Oh, we kind of can. We kind of can. Uh, let's stick this one on here. Do we need to do another one, maybe? Yeah, we probably actually need to mine this out a little bit better. Just so that the... The Watson Madoodles have a little bit more room to, to play. I'm also going to move the Clousium Injector probably closer to the middle of the map. Because I'm realizing now that maybe sticking it quite far away from the machines would really slow down the amount of ores that we get. Uh, kind of like filtering topside. Go ahead and mine out all of this crap as well. Also only 15 minutes until American Truck Sim is done. I'll find out how to have you playing video over the top of my game, I guess. Um, there should actually be a little... Are you on Opera GX? I don't want to sound like a generic streamer, but Opera GX, I gotta say, is probably the best browser I have ever used. It's got a feature on YouTube called Pop Out, which gives you a little icon on your YouTube videos, which allows you to pop the videos out and that will basically just sit over any application that you have open, including video games. So if you want to watch YouTube with, sorry, if you want to watch YouTube with a game running, uh, you can actually stick the YouTube video kind of like in a non-invasive part of the screen. It's literally click and drag. Super handy. Super, super handy. Best browser ever. Honestly. I'll never go to another one again. It's also got RTX on uh, YouTube videos, so you can actually artificially sharpen YouTube videos for better quality if you're running at lower resolutions. For example... I like to watch my YouTube videos at um, 2K, 2K quality, no, 4K quality. So I use RTX to kind of like bump it up from uh, 1080p up to 4K. Are we out of straights? No shot. No, we've got a couple here. No, that's a T-pipe. Damn it. Damn it, game. <laughs> We're going to need to get more straights, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and let's move this cart. Why is it leaning sideways here? Can we duck? No, uh -huh. we cannot. But we can put it right here. We can duck through, and then we can grab it and drop it here. Good. Yeah, I'm not seeing any straights here, unfortunately. Probably going to need to go out and buy some more. We've got a lot of elbows. But again, it's hell on the... Oh, here we go. We've got a straight. We need an elbow to kind of like turn, don't we? Right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I tried that before while playing a game, but I clicked on the game. The game went over top, so I used Microsoft Power Toys to pin it. I've never heard of Microsoft Power Toys. I just found the feature through Opera GX. It's so cool. It is such a cool feature. I don't know if many other people do it, but man, I will never go to another application again. I don't even use the like streamer noises. You know, the like the, the moist critical moans every time you open up a new tab. I don't even use that crap. Why would I? Why would I use that crap? Okay, uh, one there. One there. We are running out of straights actually at an alarming rate. We probably don't have it enough to elbow our way all the way through where we need to elbow. I'm gonna get an elbow over here. Good. Go ahead and move this here cart back a little bit. And I see a straight right here, so I'm gonna pick it up and we're gonna jam it in there, right there. And down here is gonna be our first set of machines. So we've almost got to the point we need to be at. Sorting system, I suppose, doesn't need to be particularly fast because as long as it's on, it'll still be generating money, but still don't run a waste pressure if I can help it. To be quite honest. I don't want to waste it. Alright, good. And here. And you know what? I actually, I'm going to go all the way down here. And I'm going to swap this one out. 
Let's go ahead and replace this T-junction with this here straight pipe. Whoops, it's sideways. That's not going to help. But I don't want to spend another 30 minutes just downloading Opera GX. There is a thing on Google Chrome extensions that does the floating player. They're really cool. I don't know if other browsers do them. I used Google Chrome for a bit, but while I was using it, it definitely didn't have the, um, the kind of... Uh, the pop-out player. And there's also a couple of, like, YouTube things for Firefox, I think, that also do it. But I've never seen those ones work properly. So I've got a little bit of brand loyalty to Opera GX now, unfortunately. It's also surprisingly light on RAM, which honestly was the deciding factor before I even realized there was YouTube pop-out chat. Uh, where is the elbow that I dropped in the water? I'm pretty sure I dropped one in the water. Or maybe not. Okay, we'll grab this one right here. And turn this bad boy around right here. Great. So I'm actually going to put the intake pipe here, basically. I'm, I'm going to put it closer to where we actually need it. But we're also going to need to access it. Ah, what's better access than right next to where the uh, outtake pipe for the... What are they called? The uh, the, 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 the other things. The um, the machinery. The ore generator machinery. Let's put it right here, actually. Let's just jam it there. All right. Are we ready for the obnoxious drops? It's on. The obnoxious drops have, have begun. Uh, we'll jam that there. Probably need to mine that out in case some ores get stuck on it. Let's go ahead and find our pickaxe really quickly. There it is. Good. I hope this is not, like, heinous to watch. Me just, like, fumbling around in the dark. If you want to look for the elbow, look to the left and right of your arms, I think. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. What crack are you smoking, my dude? <laughs> that, that sounds like good stuff. Go on, hook, hook me up. Hook me up. Hook me up with that, that good crack. That good crack you're smoking. Oh, they sick of all the uh, <laughs> pipes on here. Uh, I think we probably want it to run up the guts of where we want to put the machines, which maybe might not be uh, right along here. Unless we want a bunch of T-junctions that kind of like flow pipes to the sides. Might, that might actually be how we do it. Let's put a T-junction here. And this can be one output that we put all the straights along. We'll elbow it onto a better kind of angle for the straights. We do actually have a lot of straights. I was being a little bit facetious when I was saying we're out of straights. Okay, and we want an elbow right here, right, right there, coming out this way. And we're also going to have another one coming out this way. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, hook in enough machines. Oh, that's only two of a gap though, isn't it? Do we want that a little bit wider? Yeah, let's go ahead and stick this that way so we can pipe another couple out that way. This one can be an elbow for now. I don't think we'll want to put any more any more machines going that way because that's where all of our uh, sorting systems going. So, this is going to be conveyor belts, I think. Let's go ahead and get our pickaxe just so we can make sure we're actually not butting right up against the edge of the map really quickly. Okay, good. And we are nowhere near the edge of the map. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and extend this one out. So I think we've got two lots of machines that we can just install right the second. We'll put this one there. And now we have to convey it all the way back. Actually, you know what? Why do we have all of these bins right here? Why don't we just put it straight leaning into here? Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's put a T junction right there. So if we want to pull out this way, we can. Excellent. All right, uh, this one here can go here. And we need probably more straights, like this one right here can go there, this one can go there. We'll make it a little bit more effective, that one can be an elbow, I think. And we've just saved ourselves a bunch of piping that we can realistically just swap out later if we really, really need to. Which we don't. We don't right now. We literally do not have enough to justify it. Okay, we'll put that there. We'll put this here. And we've got an elbow all the way over here that we don't necessarily need to plug in yet either. So this, this uh, T-junction right here, that's going to split off into another series of pipes that are going to create basically a 2D web of conveyor belts. Good. This is good. This is exactly what we want. Let's go up topside and we'll see what the configuration for these new machines are. I guess I could try Opera GX. I don't have like a creator code or anything, but it, it's definitely a really, really good browser. It is actually worth checking out. You'd be surprised. Uh, we got a T-junction up here. We don't really give two hoots about. Let's look at these machines. This is the grinder. Yep, that's grinder, so that can basically go on the... Where does the input? So, bottom... 
right there. I think that's lower than usual. I think that's lower than the other machines. Got another one of these grinders right here. Look at it from a distant perspective. Now mm -hmm. this is, I'm pretty sure the harvester. Let's just call this the muncher. Because it looks like it eats the ore. Where does it come in? Where does it pipe into? Ah, the side. That's strange. So the configuration would be about here. One pipe comes in the back and one pipe links in up top there. So we've actually set up all of our conveyor belts in a really, really good fashion because it's one it's one block above floor level and we can actually leave floor level for these grinders here, which will just eject, hopefully, yeah, it will eject onto the conveyor belts, which are a lift up, I think, or not. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that, actually. Strange. Huh. Ah, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get downside. All right, let's uh, maybe put these on here so we can figure it out in real time. Whoops. Okay, let's go here and put that back on the cart. And we want this one right here also on the cart. And we also need another intake pipe, which is something we don't actually have. So, you know what? I'm just going to make a quick run back to the... No, let's not. Let's, let's go get the quad bike. Let's grab our money. We'll go and get all the things we need, which is a single intake pipe, and then we're fine. Also, I had it, but I uninstalled it because I didn't like that I had the Aria thing. I didn't even use it, but it would open randomly. I don't use Aria. I, I, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to be using a virtual assistant on a browser. That is just... Honestly, if you volunteer to give up your data that readily to a, to a third party with no verification or privacy policy, you probably deserve to have everything uh, <laughs> that they do to you. But at the same time, like, Aria, I have no idea what it does. I turned it off in my browser. It doesn't do anything. So I, th I think you may have had just a little bit of bad luck, to be quite honest. There's the quad. Wonderful. It's good. You can, uh, the thing I like most about it, honestly, is that you can customize the homepage in such an easy format. They, they kind of look like plugins, the websites that you stick on it. All right, what are we here for? Uh, intake pipes. Plautium intake pipes. Right here. Uh, let's get the money. We'll stick it in the bucket right here. We'll get the intake pipe, which is right here. And I think while we're here, we'll also get uh, two of these valve hooks would be a really, really good idea too. One, two. Good. Oops, forgot to pay for it. 802 bucks later. Uh, that is the <laughs> petrol tank. We don't want to stick it in there. Uh, that was strange. Take a look don't know why we... Goods. Don't know why we just uh, jumped in like... Why does it look like it's really, really heavy? Huh? Oh no, I think I may have broken it. What the hell? Seriously? We can't stick even one of these things on the back of a quad? You are taking the piss. There is no shot that that is the case. Okay, that's not the case, actually. Good, and we also need this, and we want to put our money on the back of this as well. Huh? I'm pretty sure it's huh? just a ChatGPT clone, but I just go to ChatGPT website anyways. I've got no idea. I've got no idea about what it kind of uses. Uh, but to be honest, I don't really trust anything that, like, has you ask it questions about your personal life. Whoops. Like, I've got a Google Assistant, and that's probably about as invasive as I'll ever let my, um, my private questions be, to be quite honest. I mean, it was up until literally maybe this March that I allowed a browser to save cookies for the first time in my entire life. I was going to access my school account because it's... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I also have Chrome as a backup if I ever need it. I haven't ever needed it, but also Firefox. I kind of want, like, secure browsing. And I'd like to use Brave. I'd like to use Brave because it's supposed to be the secure version of Firefox. But Brave is just such a clunky piece of garbage. It's yucky. All right, we want this. And we want to drop this onto the back of the cart, which is looking laden. Looks absolutely laden. Wow, it just will not take my pipe. Please? Please take my pipe? Okay, let's flatten out this... Uh, this cart right here, because I think that's the issue. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy, and we'll drop it here. Okay, let's manually take this downstairs. Save ourselves a little bit of time. We'll duck under all of these pipes, and we'll go all the way to the end. So we want a valve on here, and we don't really care about the water quality necessarily. So let's drop that bad boy right there. We'll go ahead, go up top, and we'll go and hook in our first machines. There they are. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, is that the one we want? I think that might be the one we want. Yeah, it is the one we want. Okay. Good. 
Let's go ahead. We'll work backwards, I think. We'll get the machines hooked up backwards. So this one right here is the the muncher. So we kind of want this one. We don't care about this one, actually. Not yet. We want the output to be kind of like one block higher. Oh, that's frustrating, actually, because if it's one block down, then there'll be things in the way of the conveyor belt, which I'm actually happy with. Let's just move the conveyor system down one block. Honestly, it doesn't make much of a difference. One there. We'll put this one here. Good. And this one can go here. It's not going to take too long, honestly. We'll just move everything here down. Well, we've got so many straights that it's it's just going to take no time whatsoever. One there and one mm -hmm. there. Oh, that's a tent mm -hmm. section and it's being blocked off by this here. Muncher. Mm -hmm. I don't... I gotta jump when I drop this muncher because its teeth kind of get in the way of everything. Right, that goes there. Actually, you know what? We could do this better. Let's not lose our way when it comes to this thing. We'll go ahead and we'll stick this on top. And we'll elbow it in from above. I think that's actually probably going to be the best idea. Because we'll be able to see the pipes a lot easier. Whoops, put in the wrong place. And this one goes there. Good. I don't think we stuck the hooks on the part, but we're pretty good for now anyway. Let's go ahead and grab an elbow. Good. We need an elbow right here. We need a few things here, actually. No, just an elbow. We only need an elbow here, because we're moving this one down. One. It's just going to link up. Uh, right there. That's what we want. And this one can go there. Good. And this one goes there. This is going to be so much easier to navigate. I don't know why we didn't do this earlier before, honestly. Why am I so stubborn? Okay, there, and this one can go there. Wonderful. And this one can go there. This one can go there. We're going to need an extra elbow to get it up onto the conveyor system that we have already kind of installed, though. That is going to take ages to, to change. We don't want to change that. Good. And this should be an elbow. It should that. Honestly, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some elbows. And we will continue to work knee-high in the filth and dirt of this place. All right, we only need two of these things, so I'm not going to bring a whole card over. Uh, we only need three of these things, sorry. We don't need too many of them. There we go. Good. No, we only need one more elbow. Okay, and then we'll pipe in one of those two straights that we already took off. One more elbow, which we will find somewhere. We've got a lot of T-junctions, frustratingly. Oh, we're not out of elbows, are we? No, we're not. We have our last elbow right here. Perfect. Uh, which means we're going to need more to kind of pipe in the other machines we have. Uh, that's what we want, and we also want the straight one... Probably sideways makes most sense. Okay, good. That's really easy to jump now as well. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and move all of these down. And then we'll think about installing these drills. So, this one here is not only going to be on the bottom layer, so it's maximum output efficiency. We'll also go ahead and face the mouth right here. Good, so it spits it out onto the conveyor belt. Now... I think that maybe we're going to have to pipe in from above, because this one seems to not want to play very nicely with anything beside it. So that's going to have to be an elbow. So we're going to have to stagger them one by one by one, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, but should be able to manage. Should be able to manage it. Okay, uh, I hate that we're thinking so long term about this, by the way. Uh, we're out of elbows. Oh, no. We only need one more elbow, I think, to actually get this piped in. We're probably actually going to need a bunch of elbows. We'll probably need an elbow here, and then we'll kind of use a T-junction here, and then we'll want another elbow to kind of hook around here. Another three elbows, actually. This is annoying. This is an annoying setup. We can probably stagger them if we've got multiple machines, but as it currently stands... Oh, no. Let's go ahead and face this one upwards. No! We don't need to. We don't need to do that. We need to put a T-junction here. And we need a straight to lead under. And then two elbows to lead into this one. Alright, so we just need more pipes. That's okay. We can go ahead and do that. We will unstuck ourselves. I never liked any other browser. Firefox is too weird to figure out. I Firefox was my main for a long time. A long, long, long time. It does get easier to use. It's just a little bit fiddly, especially if you don't have the right plugins to kind of moderate it. Edge as well, Edge. Yeah, no one ever use Edge. No one ever should use Edge or uh, Safari or anything. Actually, Safari is kind of okay now, but it's still... It's subpar compared to other browsers. By itself, it's okay, but 
Not really compared to other browsers. Brave is clunky. You don't like the gamer brand of Opera GX? You'd be genuinely surprised at how much love and attention the gamer brand gets. You would be genuinely surprised at the amount of attention. Uh, I don't think we grabbed our money, did we? We need a lot of Come elbows, we need a lot of tees. No, I don't think we grabbed our money, but it should technically still be here after our last purchase. Ah, oh, bugger, it's on the quad. All right, let's go ahead and go back home. We'll go back home, get our money. I know, like, gamer things is not really a, a great thing, and I understand for, like, Mountain Dew and gamer subs and Doritos and... Oh, we're actually out of water. We're gonna have to walk back ourselves. On foot, I can't believe this. I did the setup thing, now I remember why I fully deleted it. The first ad blocker you... Yeah, okay, so you can actually turn the ad blocker off. Those Pan Clung brothers are... Big. Oh, it's employed a stupid three-strike thing in their no more YouTube. I've heard of that. I have heard of that. Uh, but I did... I just whitelisted it. I, was, I whitelisted YouTube on my Opera. Firefox also has kind of like an inbuilt ad blocker as well. I'm not a fan of it. Chrome tries to do it, but it's not very good even when you have like a third party ad blocker installed. Uh, we just manually went home and bought our money, by the way, like a chump. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that an absolute shame? Okay, so we should be able to buy enough pipes. Should be able to buy enough pipes to get at least those first two machines piped in, and once we have that, all we need is a billion conveyor belts. Actually, to start with, we only need two. We only need two conveyor belts to get the machine pumping onto something that's not a bucket or just the ground. So we'll go ahead and do that while we're here as well. And we're not going to worry too much about kind of like overspending, because we still have billions of dollars basically being generated back at home. Is that truck? Oh, there it is. So, we, oh, that's right. We actually need to go and buy a bucket, first of all. Thanks then we need to fill it up with water. Where would we find a bucket? Right here. Good. 12 bucks, right there. Good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill this bad boy up with some water so that we can recharge our, our fuel. Which is a little... Whoops. Almost missed it. Uh, good. All right, let's go all the way back to the car. And we'll drop this in the top chute, and then we'll drive this thing back so we have it a little bit closer to a fuel source. Maybe we should get some pipes to just basically drip water consistently. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna, on the sorting system, I'm gonna get like a carport to kind of like constantly drip money. Not money. Sorry, the, uh, the music in the background just uh, gave me a Freudian slip there. We want it to drop water, basically, over and over again into the truck so that it never goes empty, so we never have to recharge it by the bucket. Because it's annoying. It's annoying to do. We're going to do that. I think we'll set that up at some point. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of the pipes that we need in here. We need lots of elbows, I think, and we also need a bunch of straights. Okay, one. Whoops. Didn't mean to drop that on the ground. Uh, sure, let's just put them on the corner here. That's actually very effective. Four, five... Six. I'm gonna get 20. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one for good luck. Twenty-one. Good. And uh, let's get some straights as well while we're kind of like conscious about it. I know I've got a couple left, but I don't want to pixel hunt for them. So let's let's just buy a bunch. Here, and here, and I think we're going to have to pixel hunt for them. Four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. I'm going to get 30, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12, and 13, and 14, and 15, and 16, and 17, and 18, and 19, and 20, and 21, 22, 23, whoops, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30! Great. Let's pay for this. It's probably going to be extortion, right? Oh, actually, it's not that bad. 12,000 bucks? It's chump change. We only have 6,000 bucks left, though, I need after setting specific. up all of that initial infrastructure, which honestly is not so bad, considering it's all of the tier two stuff basically generating money, and we just plug and play the rest of the machines. Ah. Did that guy, like, not pay for his scroll or something? His scroll disappeared out of his hand. All right, let's uh, get into the truck right here. And I think, oh, let's get a Clausium intake pipe while we remember, so that we can drip water topside. Whoops, forgot to pay for it. Into the car. Unless we're gonna like filter it out from the 
what is it called? The, the sorting system, but I don't necessarily think we want to do that, do we? Let's just get its own dedicated refueling station. I think this is going to be the best thing for it. Huh? Uh, let's put this here. We'll go ahead and we'll grab the money out of the bucket right here. And now we're off home. We're off home. Oop, there we go. Great! I installed a whole new browser just for it to give me the suggestion of Google. Uh, the more you fiddle around with your browser, the, the more you realize that Opera, Opera GX just has the most amount of control that you can have over a browser. Unless you're using kind of like the, the command prompt of Google. Because the Google Chrome does have a command prompt for its browser. But that's probably more for like web developers. I can't see an actual use for it for anybody else. Okay, good. Oh, if you get Opera GX, hit F11. You'd, it'll give you a laugh. It's not like a jump scare or anything like that. It's an actual feature, but it will give you a laugh. It gave me a laugh when I found it. It's the, uh, it's the whoopsie button. <laughs> okay, uh, we're down here. Wonderful. And I see exactly where we're supposed to plug all this crap in. So let's go ahead and start plugging all this crap in. We want a straight, a single straight, come along the back here. And now we need two elbows to plug into this right here. So I'm actually thinking that maybe just having a bunch of T-junctions going along the bottom here and then piping up from this point might be a really, really good idea. Because we don't really need to do anything else, to be quite honest. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's, let's just do the T-junction thing that I was talking about right now. Because then we can plug and play the next one right beside this one too. Okay, so the grinder is now powered with water. We still need a straight to go up top to this other one right here. With that and an elbow. Right here. Done. Everything is now currently powered. We didn't get those two conveyor belts. That's absolutely fine. Probably don't need to bring the entire cart along with us to do that necessarily. What's the whoopsie button? It's the uh, I've, I've been watching Cornhub button you you press f11 and it like opens up an instance of like twitter or facebook or instagram or something like that it's really funny it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a button for wankers basically <laughs> that's the long and short of it okay so we could probably actually plug and play these next machines in sequentially to what we've already got here which is pretty good nice but we are going to need two conveyor belts so we're going to go back and we're going to buy some conveyor belts hopefully as much as we can carry Ah, oh, the panic button. Yeah, 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 the panic button. That's what it's actually called. I forget about that. It's so funny, though. Every time one of my friends discovers that one, they're all like, Oh, dude, Gibson, have you seen this? Have you seen the whoopsie button? The oh no, I need a Kleenex button? <laughs> the are you winning, son, button? <laughs> that last one, someone actually did refer to it by one of my friends, so I'm not going to dox. Uh, we're after Conveyor Nation, which is just back here. Good. We are going to buy from this lady with absolute garbage at her feet. Yuck! That's not wealth. That's debt. That's literally a liability at her feet. Her feet are literally getting cancer from the radiation of these energy crystals as she sits there, wondering what they're going to be used for. Okay, uh, let's just get a bunch of these here. We need two. We want more. <laughs> we want way more. We're probably business. actually going to spend next episode almost exclusively setting up the entire infrastructure for the sorting system. We'll get like, we'll get 10, I think. Or so, to begin with. Probably also going to need a bunch of bins to kind of get around the spaghetti snake that we've already kind of committed to making. All right, one here, and we'll get another one over here. I know uh -huh. we're stacking them not very efficiently, uh -huh. but we are stacking uh -huh. them quickly. That's the thing. We're doing it quickly, and the, the quicker we can do it, the quicker trash. we can load them onto the truck. Two grand? Nice. Great. Let's go ahead and load these up onto this bad boy. One, and oh, two, and three. I'm just looking at the mess we made. And four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve. Great. Let's actually buy some more. I don't think twelve will get us very far. I'll basically plug these in, and then I'll call it for the night, because we won't leave ourselves anything to do for the next stream. Okay, good. We'll put that there, and we'll get another one right there. That bad boy can go right there. This one goes right there. I'm kind of setting these out so we can maximize the amount we can buy at once. All right, now, do we have enough to afford all of these? 1,980. Uh, we could probably get another half a stack higher. Right? We could probably get another half a stack, I think. Good. And did we just pick up one we already picked? No, we did not. 
Maybe this one here. What have we got? 2.8k. We got 3.5k. Let's just maximize the amount of money we're spending. Uh, we probably get another two of these right here. Let's do so. Huh? 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 Drop it. 3520. Done. We are left with four buckery boots. That is. We blocked it. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get all this. Nice. 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 That's a lot of conveyors, honestly. We did actually just buy a heap of conveyors with the last of our savings, with the last few thousand from that one block of gold. I'd be excited to see what the next block of gold is going to hold for us. Okay, good. One there. Huh? One there. And one there. One there. And that should be it. Except for our four bucks. You know what? Here you go, you lady. For the radiation your feet are currently be. experiencing. Enjoy. Don't spend it all in one place. You big bastard. Okay, let's pull out of here. And now we've got everything we need to basically make a refuel station. We have everything we need to pipe in all of the uh, assets we have. We don't have any lighting down south, but we could probably just get some with the next bar of gold we get from Ember Cradle, which is probably sitting at about 150,000 at this point, I think. I should have called it the Willy Wanka button. That's a better name for a panic button. Okay, I'm on Opera GX. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have converted anybody. It is really good, though. Like, and a number of my friends just will not choose anything else, and I'm definitely in the same boat. Go ahead and get the cart. Whoops. When did you put a hoodie on? Uh, I went off for a break, and I came back, and I realized that outdoors it was about three degrees, and my heater in my office was just not cutting the cheese. Okay, well, uh, unstuck from the cart right here. What the hell? Oh, hello there, car. We'll go ahead and we'll put the car right next to this car right here. We're getting a little bit of frame dip, which might not be good. Uh, let's go ahead and just move all of these conveyor systems uh -huh. onto oops, onto the cart right here. It's probably going to take a wee while because we've got to wait for the items to stop moving before we can stick the next one on. Otherwise, they'll flip into each other and my girl will go, huh? Uh -huh. There you go. little example uh -huh. of that. Uh -huh. Huh? Good. And a few more. I think we're down to our last, like, five... Maybe four, three, two, one. Mm. Nope, we've got heaps more. We've got so much more than mm. I thought we did. That's a good thing, though. It's a really good thing. Okay, gonna play American Truck Sim. Uh, I won't be able to respond. That's that's absolutely fine. I hope you're mm. just enjoying the stream, honestly. Mm. Conversation's nice, but, you know, I'm here to make people smile. Okay, we've done it. We put everything in the cart. It seems like the smiles are coming from the satisfaction of this game recently. We're also into mid-game, by the way. We've, we've passed early game. We are in mid-game. This is mid-game right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start whacking in a lot of these conveyor belts. We want them going that way. Actually, let's just, let's just whack in what we can. And then we will just kind of move the card if we need to do so. One there. One there. One here. And one over here, good. And one over here. Whoops, didn't mean to put that one on the corner there. Uh, we basically, by the way, have enough now to get us through the arduous task of shipping everything up top. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and find the input valve. And we wanna turn this bad boy off right here, which we haven't done because we haven't stuck any of the valves on here, which are probably top side up here uh, in the truck, right? No. Are they on here? Yes, there they are. Wonderful. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. Or we could just drop the hook on the bed right there. Whoops. Okay. We are just picking up the bed. Okay. Little bit of a, uh, a translation error there with the, with the controls right there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this down into the conveyor system. Because after we do that, we can actually turn these machines on. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to put this sideways right there so we can access it really easily whenever we see it. And we'll leave this egress re right here closed. We might even build a staircase up to top side from there. Uh, let's put this back on the... What's my doodle there? Uh, let's go ahead and start sticking the rest of these conveyor systems. Oh, poos. Ah, I see an issue. I see an actual issue. That's not an issue, actually. No, it's not an issue. Let's go ahead and drop this down... Here, we'll output it there. We'll put this one going out this way. Whoops. This way here. Good. And we'll move these ones back by one. One there. 
uh, one there, and now we just need a single elbow to bump that in so that we can actually use the conveyor system without anything being blocked right there. Good. And that's going to be a bend, so let's go ahead and point that the right way. And this one as well. We're probably getting to the point now where we want to move the cart. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right this second. I'm making the executive decision. Uh, actually, now that these are all piped in, let's turn this off before we forget, and we will pipe in these systems here. Let's put this right... Move that pickaxe. We'll put it right here, and we'll make this a T-junction. Uh, we will put a straight right here, though, so that we can stick a valve on that bad boy right there. Okay, let's take this out, and we will hook it in. And I think this will be patient zero of the machinery. I think that's going to be a good thing. Good. Okay, so now we need to turn this on. We also need to put some some uh, some mud into its bum bum, don't we? Okay, uh, everything's all plugged in. We still need a valve hook from up top. And we also need a shovel from up top as well. This one's already got some dirt in it. I don't trust it. Also, it's a crap shovel. We need one with a, a blue band around the, ha the handle. Almost just hit my head on a pipe. Where are my shovels? Where are my good shovels? The hell? Where are my good shovels? I was certain I had one. I was certain I bought like two of them. Two good shovels. Oh, here they are. I've run them over. Uh, yep, that's the one. That's the one we want. Okay, I am going down, down. Here we are. And I am going to put some mud from the wall. Up this here muncher's bum bum. We're gonna we're gonna stick it right in the the, the bum bum of this muncher right here. Are you happy? No, it's not happy. Okay, let's put some mud on the other side of its bum bum too. Right there? How's that? Are you happy? More? You want more, you say? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay, so we actually need to stick it on this thing right here. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Let's get rid of the rest of that dirt so it's not all congested and gummed up and stuff. Good. So it's going to be mining this. What are we looking at? Some huge ore already. Wow, that was a huge. Good grief. Okay, we'll go ahead and we will put down the rest of these conveyors. And then we will plug in the second machine. And then... We're going to leave it for the next stream because we have basically done everything in the stream that I wanted to do, which is set up the mid-game of the productive enterprise that we kind of had in the first place, right? One here, one here, and we're going to need a bunch of bins, and we're also going to need a bunch of lifts when it comes to these conveyors in the next session as well, so we can't forget that. Uh, probably before I forget, I'm going to take the pickaxe and I'm going to mine out that bit that's already blocking what we don't want blocked. Where is it? Here it is. Good. I'm all the way over here to mine all of this stuff out in case something gets stuck on it. Let's go ahead and drop this. Probably in the cart would be the huh? make the most sense at this point. Yep, there we go. That's easy to access. One here, one here. I think we may have bought too many straight lit, uh, too many straight conveyors, but we can always stick them. We can always stick them topside. We're never basically stuck down here, are we? Okay, uh, let's actually leave that down where we wanted to leave it. And then we will go ahead and use the pipes here to pipe in the next one of these machines. We'll go up top side, we'll get the grinder first, and down the gigantic nuke hole we go. Good. And we want to kind of prop this up maybe here. We kind of have to alternate the stacks, unfortunately. Uh, no, that's not going to work. So... Can't put that there. Can't put that there indeed. Maybe we need to have this pipe piping out of this middle one right here. Might actually be the best idea, so we're not congesting everything else that we need to, to function. All right, one there, and I'm just going to move that out of the way real quick. Put this one down here, put this. That needs to be an elbow, actually, because we want to be able to pipe in from above. We don't want that low into the ground in case we lose it. Uh, sure. Yep, that's good enough. Let's see if we can just pipe straight into this thing by dripping it. No, we can't. Okay, we definitely need ourselves a second elbow that goes directly into here. And we'll pipe in all the machines from underneath, I think. Uh, this also has to be moved back one slot so that a straight can go in between so we can shut off the machines if we ever need to do so, which actually does happen fairly frequently sometimes. So, pretty good. 
Righty ho, so now that we've got that set up, we want a T-junction right here facing upwards, just like we had in the last machine. We want... Okay, this can't pipe into that one now, because there's T-junctions here to go upwards. Ah, I'm starting to see the issue. The issue is starting to pop up. So we could put the T intersection going into this one here. No, we can't. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky, actually. And it's starting to flood in here as well. Okay, so we're going to put this down here so that we are reminded in the next session of that we actually do need to pipe into that one. Uh, the T pipe should realistically be under here, honestly. I think it should be under here. And then maybe we should try and elbow sideways up top here. So maybe this one here should actually be the T intersection. Right here. Nope, that's an elbow as well. Want a T right here. Good. And we want this one piping in as well as the one at the bottom because we need both access. Right here. Good. And now I'm going to swap this one sideways because we've got elbows for days. Right there. Good. And now we can basically just use more elbows to pipe in from up top. I know it's going to look a little bit ugly, but I think this is the most effective way of doing it so that we can sideline all of these machines with each other, right? Right, that one should be powered now. Is it powered? Let's see. No. No, it is not. Okay, let's turn this off for now. This one, okay. We need to elbow into this one, or at least T-junction into that one. If we want to kind of like put more she machines going out sideways there. I'm just going to use a straight, I think, for now. Or an elbow. Which do we need? We need an elbow, actually. So we're not going to use a straight whatsoever. We're going to use this one right here. And it is going to plug in. Right here. Okay, that was loud. I didn't expect that. And let's turn this bad boy on. And we should be Gucci to go. You know what? Let's take that off. Let's put this uh, straight pipe right here. And we'll actually start piping in from this side here. Probably makes the most sense, actually. Because we have access right here. We're just not using it. Okay. Uh, we'll elbow into this one. Elbows, by the way, are basically the end game, I think. Uh, in this game, it's got to be said. Elbows are end game. Uh, we've got another T-junction. Don't want this. Probably want a straight right there. Very good. Put the straight right here. Good, and we'll pipe into this one right here. Awesome! So all of this is now powered, and we can still pipe it in from up this away. Righty ho! This could be more effective. This could be more effective. Oh, we just got some core stone from the harvester. Awesome. So that's our first tier three ore. Let's pipe into there. Oh, we actually still need to be able to pipe into all of this stuff as well. So maybe instead of that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Key junction right here. I think that's the answer. Maybe like, no, like that. Right, T junction like that? No. T junction like that, right there. And we'll have this coming in from above. And hopefully, we just put that in and put a straight underneath it, and it will be absolutely good to go. Good. Is that working? No, it's not. Okay. We're going to have to elbow in from above, it seems. So instead of that straight pipe right there, let's go ahead and remove these. We'll elbow in from here. Annoyingly, a little bit of a pain, but, you know, whatever works, works. There's no wrong answers in this game. So that's all powered. That doesn't need to be an elbow at all, whatsoever. Which means that doesn't need to be a T-junction facing upwards. It needs to face sideways right here. Good. So that grinder is now working. Let's go ahead and take the the muncher. Where the hell is it? Is it topside? Did I leave it up top? Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. And down we go. Put this one right next to the lover of it. Facing that way. Good. And now we need to get a T-junction. Why are we facing this outwards? Doesn't need to be, right? 
If we stick it here, then we can just elbow up without wasting an elbow. Oh, but then we need to pipe in next to it. So this one has to be like this. Good. That has to go like that. Needs to be a straight right after it. A little bit fiddly, but we have kind of found a way that works. That we can kind of like plug and play in sequence. It costs a lot of elbows though. Gotta be said, costs a lot of elbows. Right there. Probably one more would do the trick. Before we can start maybe just getting the shovel to shovel up its bum bum. There we go. We're going to shovel up its bum bum right now. Using this dirt that I found. In a cave. Excellent. We've got two core stone. No. Yeah, no. Cloud stone machines. We've got huh? two cloud stone machines generating money. Now, we uh, don't want to lose that shovel right there. So I'm going to leave it right there. Awesome. Are they both outputting? Yes, they most certainly are. Excellent. Okay, let's go up top right here with our cart. And we'll try and plug in the last of these conveyor belts onto the top of the sorting system right here. Also make sure that there's not like another straight pipe along this chain. Because that would be very annoying. Okay, that's not... It's not going to work. This one has to be a bend. So it would have to be further back. Okay, uh, uh -huh. we can't drop that anywhere. Bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. Go up top, as top as we can, I suppose, and we'll just drop that there. So this actually has to be a little bit further back. It needs to be like this. We can put a right splitter there. This one has to go pipes downwards. And this straight right here needs to be a elbow. Needs a, again, the rule of the day needs another elbow. We're going to need so many elbows, I think. By the time we're done with this uh, clout stone feature. Right there. Good. It's all plugged in. I'm stuck. It's fine. So we don't need any straights along this entire chain down here now. So we can kind of start putting them all along here. All the way up to the point at which we actually want the sorting system to start, which would definitely, we'd want that closer to the entrance than farther, further away. I'm thinking maybe like there. And then we need five sorters. One, two, three, four, five. One little platform here that kind of filters into a bucket all of the excess and that's perfect okay we only need a bunch of bins now and we have completely sorted out the conveyor system the conveyors not the sorting system itself but we've got the conveyors to kind of uh pipe top side we are going to need a fair few lifts however which is probably going to cost a lot but i think it's going to be worth it we've got a lot of money back at home okay so uh that's it for the stream thank you everybody so much for joining me i am going to be back tomorrow at the exact same time as today, uh, oh, 1 p.m., I'll leave a little live alert on the... Here, I'll get myself out of the way. I'll leave a little live alert on the YouTube so that people know exactly when I'm going to go live or they get a wee notification. Or I might just pin a wee post to the community tab of my YouTube so that everybody knows when I'm streaming in case they want to check it for themselves. Either way... Whatever I decide, I will be back here tomorrow at the same time, probably doing a shorter stream. I'm only doing a longer stream today because I have kind of taken a little bit of a a dip backwards when I uh, kind of drove Yinsiet around. Gotta be said. Okay, I'm basically going to go home right now on my quad, back to Ember Cradle, because we don't have a house set up at the MILF's Aquifer. I'm going to go, and we're going to uh, kind of like sit and think about what we've done today. So we've got automation. Let's check out how much gold we've kind of accrued while we've been sitting here. We have in our pocket, we have a nice tasteful, oh my god, $155,000. That is too much. That's absolutely too much. Okay. But actually, let's check out the core stone as well. Uh, Claudia. Not core stone. Right here. Let's see how many machines we can build. We can build another, maybe one machine with the Cloudium we have at this place, but we are now generating Cloudium at the other place as well. So once that's set up, all the sorting system there will be uh, basically generating money for us for free. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am going to dip. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I am off. I am off. I'm going to go have some dinner. I'm going to go and uh, spend some time with my girlfriend, and I will be back tomorrow to stream. So thank you so much for watching. Again. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, the outro. That's right. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for the fixed Hydroneer game that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down under here is not only the chair I'm sitting on, but also a link to my Discord that you can join whenever you want. And I do respond on there 
pretty actively, at least once a day, if not multiple times a day. And until the next episode, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye!